Plasma's no plasma's, a, plasma's a phone, but he's he's not gonna sweat. <clears throat> All right. Hello, hello. Kiko, I like your profile picture. Uh, do you want me to look at your settings for you? Uh, yeah, please. Uh, yeah, what does hand do? What? Fast hand. Oh, fast. Okay, uh, I can explain that. Uh, rivers to average. Um, Fast hand uh, makes it so that. Do you do you know how intercepts work? How what? How what work? Intercepts, with planes. Okay. No. I'm gonna assume you don't. Okay, so, um, paratrooper. You know how they can, you know, launch and then just land somewhere else. Yeah. So you can't para drop with XCOM or paratroopers until after halfway through the turn. Similarly, you can't turn on intercepts ha over like until halfway through the turn. So, some what some people would do intercepts are essentially a way to let me look. Uh, resources five. We are not Baba. Um, yeah, I keep going down. Um, do, do, do. All right, cool. Yeah, this looks good. Um, intercepts are a type, are something that fighters can do. It's a type of plane. So you have bombers and fighters, and or triplanes or whatever. And fighters, what they do is if you set them to intercept, the hotkey is I, <laughs> and you are defending another bomb attack, and someone bombs your unit, like a, let's say they bomb a cav, and your intercept is on with your triplane. Your intercept will intercept that bomber and blow it up. So what people would do is they'll, they'd wait to use, um, I mean, this is like super fucking grief and unfair, but when you're attacking someone with bombers, you know that they have triplanes. So you build your own triplanes to sweep their intercepts. Okay. And then once you see the word or the term and you see the term, you know, uh, no resistance. That means they don't have any fighters or anti-air rifles or whatever in that area. And then they'll start bombing. But what people would do is they take off intercept and then they turn it on mid turn and blow up all the bomb, all the bombers. So it was really fucking annoying. So now with fast hand, you're, you literally can't do that. It, they don't allow intercepts to turn on at that point. So it's a, it's a good, uh, balancing way so that people don't like do something really, really overpowered at the very end of the turn. Um, but yeah. Wait, so intercepts don't do anything if you don't have it done the previous turn. No, yeah. no, no, no. It, it's just with or fast hand, turn. you can't turn it. You can't turn on intercept. Oh, um, at the second half of the turn. So you can turn it on. Oh, okay. You could first move intercepts and I would right. definitely recommend you do that. But, yeah. but you can't wait until people start spamming bombers to turn them on, <laughs> which was a thing. And it was absolutely infuriating. For some reason, the bands vanished. Yeah. Um, so you guys, if everyone can turn on stream, that'd be great. Um, and then I'll do your bands for you. Uh, no band. Belgium, Denmark. Okay, cool. Look at you. You're so prepared. You already did. Myanmar, Inca Congo. Um, <clears throat> all right. Now, question for you guys. What do you guys want to practice? Like, do you want to make it to late game? Do you want to do just focus on sim? 
like these kind of, these rules are stuff that we can kind of adjust as as we want. So if you guys want to do what we did last time where there was no war until industrialization, we can do that. Um, or we could turn it on even later, like no war until modern or something like that. Like completely up to you. Uh, what do you guys want to work on? I'm down for no war until industrial. Okay. Yeah, Doesn't matter to me. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Is that can... industrialization the tech or just industrial era? Industrial era. Okay, so you can still go straight up. You go. You can go already. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Yeah, because uh, getting arted in uh, NQ lobby is possible. Well, I mean, you can get crossbowed in a Q lobby, but I. Yeah, the... uh, but like for sim purposes. Yeah, exactly. Also, I feel like the real reason why I decided that rule would be good is because a uh, draft is in uh, draft one, by the way. But the reason that rule makes a lot of sense and it's good is because when you go crossbows against someone, the game state is completely fucked. <laughs> it, it, when if if two people are irrelevant by crossbows, the, like oftentimes it just results in a scrap all out. If two people are irrelevant after Artie, the game does not scrap and you play until the end. So this is kind of like a way to guarantee it gets there to that point. Um, but yeah. And all, you know, NQ rules apply obviously, but this isn't an NQ game. Uh, where can I find a link to master list of all civilizations? Uh, it's in draft one. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Come on, buddy. Come on, panda. Yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> I didn't look up there. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> <coughs> true. Yeah, get with the program. All right. What a stream am I missing? So we have Sue. I just noticed I forgot to turn off the flag thing. Oh, flag manager? Yeah. Does it take long to turn that? That'll take two minutes. Oh, um, you have you have to resave though. I'll just turn that off. You have to restart save. Actually, okay. Let me figure that out real quick. I mean, I I don't blame you guys for not knowing. That's not you literally wouldn't realize unless you played multiplayer, because <laughs> the AI obviously isn't gonna do that, right? So. Is it true? And I'm back. Or did I miss Tico leave? Uh, he's restarting, so. Oh. I'm not sure if I'm blind, but I don't know. Can you define it as in lack of Discord discussion? Um, if you, I can show you where it is. Go to assets, DLC. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
then in your DLC folder, you'll see the EUI, right? You'll see where you install the EUI. It's in the UI folder. Yeah, and then you go to UI, and then it's called Unit Flag Manager, and you just delete it. Okay, and the folder. Uh, yeah, you can delete the whole folder. I can't seem to join the NC chat room. Is there any way I can get added back somehow to the room? Or is that hard? No, uh, if you're in the group. I am in the group, but for some reason it won't let me enter the yeah. group right now. Go to your like Steam profile, then press groups. Yeah, yeah, groups, and then NQ, or Sib no quitters, and then it says enter chat room, and I can't enter it. For some you can't reason. enter it? Oh, what the fuck? I'm clicking enter. It won't give me in. You could try I had it a couple days ago. I think you just restart Steam a couple times and it fixed it for me. Just you could right. just just add someone. Yeah. What's your? Uh, let me look up Kiko. What's your what's your Steam Kiko? There's like a million um, Kikos. <laughs> yes, Kiko. Uh, hold on. <laughs> uh, you can Kiko go to. St I I see Mel in the group chat. Just you can go to oh, okay. go to the group chat and then add Mel. That'd be that'd be greatly appreciated. Oh, I'm host now. Okay. You might wanna, Kiko. You might wanna relobby, but save this game. Save the game. Here, let me show you. Um, put up a stream. And... Wait, what the fuck? Is your stream not loading for me? Um, if. If I go Mauria, is it Mauria? The fast worker, Siv. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, do I need to go Pottery first? Yes. Uh. It's sad, but it's yeah, a... Yeah, it is sad. <laughs> it is a worthwhile investment. Um, I've, I've saved uh, the settings. All right, cool. Then just re-lobby. And then add Mel, if you have him already. Yeah, all right. Okay, so we're re lobbying, yes? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But this is uh, a straight up liberty, so. Or honor. Or honor. I mean, even. Uh... White piety. Yeah, or white piety. And Morse, Morse, Morse. I love Morse, yeah. They're really good at kind of everything. Yeah. And these castles do, if I get them, like when I take them, do I rush them or? Yes. 
Yeah, because 10% is huge. I mean, you become Aztecs. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> but a bit later, yeah. A little later. But but the sieve is, it feels amazing because you just, uh, guys, uh, he, he's re-lobbying. Um, you can like, you can do some crazy stuff with Moors because you'll always have the, the hammers, you know, like to build every single thing. So you won't have anything in your build queues. It's amazing. Well, I just build units. <laughs> no, as in, as in like you can afford to build your castles right away because you won't have anything left. Yeah, true. Uh, Mel, did you get added? No. Did I get added? Oh my god. Who do I join, I True? I haven't, I haven't gotten added. Plasmus, can you add Mel? And then invite them. I think I added him, but he's offline. Oh, wait, accept. <laughs> no, I can join after you, hopefully. Uh, well, I tried to join Kiko, it's uh... Try joining Plasmus. Okay. I don't know why. Sometimes um, when you're joining a game, it just doesn't work. So you just yeah, join. He's offline. He's offline as well. I just turn off offline. Oh. Should you... be in. Yep, you're in. Thank Christ. You can't. You're not. It doesn't say you're in game, bro. Plasmas. Uh, you can join Jack. Jack, are you in here? Are you in the group? Yeah. yeah. You just join Jack. Join. I joined uh, Fire Street. Network. Yeah. Yeah. You can also join Fire Street. Plasmus is in here because we couldn't fill the fucking lobby. Kuba, why is this taking so long to start? Uh, I don't know. You had the host leave, and then they. they had he he needed. He that. said he wanted to remove flag manager. Yeah, but yeah, but he host left, and that that is a mess. Yeah. Also, I did ignore blank, who sent me the same message as he sent to you probably about casting. Oh, I didn't even see it. I've been doing this shit all right we it looks like we only have one coast but i mean Fuck. it's plasma he's gonna no as in like it's the map spawn's gonna be weird um a little bit <laughs> boy that actually <laughs> you'll play with your ears only i think you'd get shit on if i'm honest I don't see how you do that. <laughs> uh, Lunaris, I uh, am hosting a new lobbies. All right, I first thing I see is the the CU spawn, and uh, man, this this is one of the worst CU spawns that I've seen in a while. What are you working? Worst CU spawns? Yeah, it's yeah, it's a CU spawn. <laughs> would you have would you have moved onto Lapis? Uh, no, I don't think so. I Tundra Lapis. Forever, I'm saying. And it doesn't really gain TPs, and 
yeah, I don't. What if you went on to the other lapis, the hill? Uh, then it's awkward. Uh, no. Like, then then we are growing in five, and then we are growing in eight, and then we are probably free popping. Yeah, or you get a, you get a skill ruin. Yeah, if, if you uh, Mega, you, we know you would have Mega. Don't worry, bud. I mean, that's uh, it's three first ring TPs in coast. All right, let's go, Kiko. All right, this is. I feel like this is tricky to play on Maya. But if you if you play Maya like a vanilla sieve, it's really easy. Does that make sense? Mm, not really. Because, like you, you at least for me, like I'd get baited so hard to um, go for Theo first and like skip like an important tech or whatever. Oh yeah, don't do that. All right, can we go? Uh, let's go Plasmus real quick. <laughs> so oh. <laughs> plasma okay so plasmus has to play with um he he can't we needed to find a fit a sixth person we needed to find a sixth person really bad and so plasmus is like I'll, i can play i'm like okay whatever so he's only allowed to build one wonder per era and he can't war anyone all game. Normal restrictions do apply for these lobbies, so you only can go... Um, what was the rule? You only can attack if you're in industrial. Ergo, that one. Ergo, I didn't even make that up. Someone else made that up. All right. Um, let's go to Mel. Oh, that sucks. I feel like I'd move off the hill, but oh yeah, th this I I don't like growing in five. Growing yeah, in five is sadness. Yeah, but maybe I would have moved on one of these coppers actually. Oh, there's a flatland copper. I would probably move on that. The sketch, but yeah, we should. Uh, players hopefully should know that it's a uh, the orientation of the maps inverted because of how much tundra like they see in their land i'm you know we don't really have a full picture yet but we kind of just can tell all right let's get jack real quick i uh i didn't uh, i don't tend to figure this out uh until like i meet two players and be like mm -hmm. oh right I normal restriction like no war until industrial and then normal and key rules i love jack start this looks so good yeah this is uh, i guess it's not sun god but uh, it's still really, really good. Yeah. Granted, last time we did this, the jungle players just did not build enough workers. So yep. Jack needs to know that he's supposed to build three workers. And the so pop let's... ruin. Oh my god. Okay. All right, and then I think but Panda. Like, uh... Panda just turned his stream on, so let's check that. Yeah, I. Okay, let's check that out first. Okay, this looks uh, just good. Uh, this is great harvest. Like. It looks like he just got a tribute too. Oh yeah. yeah, that is really really strong. And this might be another tribute. Uh, ooh yeah. It is. This is more tribute. <laughs> okay. Oh never mind. No, never mind. We don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I wanted to ask, uh, which one was it? Uh, Jack was working like surprisingly many hammers. Do you like that? Like he was working those gears over the sugar and the banana. I mean, Sorry. so I think on f three, when he hit the pop rune, I think it's fine. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he's got jungle iron too. That sucks. This lag is pretty obnoxious. I mean, I, I think it's doesn't... totally doable, but definitely not as low ping as the last game. <laughs> that last game yeah. was ridiculous. I, yeah, I, so I think I think what I was saying for for Jack is like, I, I when he hit the when he hit the pop rune, I think it's right, but before that, it's definitely not because you grow in five instead of four. 
Yeah. And you kind of need to work all those. I mean, I do like having cameras here, but uh, I'm inclined to agree that just more felt better. Uh, and Jack, but, uh, it looks like your first move down that there. Ruin. I don't think that is an explorer. Yeah. Some weird scouting from Jack, I feel like, but it's not too bad. It's, it's all right. Would you? What would you go on his start? I feel like this is. You could play either. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's sugar. If you I have you have on sugar south. Good. On sugar south looks really good. You have that city to your left, immediate left. You have min distance north, like on ivory or something. So you could play liberty here easily. Uh, looks like you have quite yeah, a bit of space too. I think this would be a preference thing. Uh, and I think he couldn't decide. That's why he delayed that worker so much. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, I think you're completely fine playing either traditional liberty. And just, uh, I think I think Trad here is also play. like he. I think he's like feels from frustration. I guess I, I just saw him like angrily yeah. shaking his <laughs> his mouth. Shaking but his screen, yeah, yeah. I I I I don't. I agree with you 100. percent I think him going. That's a weird mountain range. Um, is he going to go to five here? No, you can't. Uh, you could. And what? And you make a settler on seventeen? Uh, yeah, but the settler is going to be like a two or a three turn settler because, because you're you, going to chop so many. Because you chopped a bunch of stuff. I would like to grow a little faster though, because I don't think we're working the banana pile. But uh, I guess we're not gonna do that. Uh, go on anyway, the hill. I'm interested. Go on the hill. Go on the hill. I'm interested in the Maya start. Uh, okay, but let's the go back. Path is in here. Yeah, let's see that. All right, uh, we have pottery. Yeah, that is pretty important as Maya. And uh, we are going bronze. I don't know. If when do you build that. the shrine here? Um, after this worker probably. Is, this is definitely Trad uh, Trad Maya, or it could be Piety, I guess. But I I would play Piety because I don't believe in Trad Maya. Really, Trad Maya is great. You just need to want. You just need to get a lot of wonders. You know. Okay, that, so that's not this start because we have jungle truffles. I mean, there's a good amount of hills. If you take food from camps, like you could do it. Yeah, I mean, I think I want to take food from camps anyway, but I think I want to be fighting before that. Oh, God. Just, uh, it's it's always improve horse. If it's improve horse, then it's by, uh, it's by the truffles, the hill truffles. I mean, this is... Uh, I don't think any of these truffles are hill truffles. Uh... This is the problem that Kiko is going to run into, that like he's taking bronze, uh, and then he's going to get calendar, and even after that, I think, still wait, I, I think Kiko auto-to auto to scout and then forgot he auto-did. Oh, yeah, that happens. <laughs> yeah, that happens. That's funny. Yeah, Hoi, I agree with you. I think the play is definitely make three workers and then start. Um... Okay, let's look at Mel. Looks like she's lib, or he look like he, <laughs> looks like he's lib. Hold on, let me tell them to. Hey guys, can you um turn on streamer panels? Thank you. How do I, I do, that? To do that? Um, to the left of your mini map on the right, there's the little scroll. Right above the scroll is three little arrows. Um, okay. Yeah, Lib, I will not complain about Lib Uruguay. Uh, I will never complain about Lib Uruguay. It's just so good. I mean, this and is hey, not, this is not like out. the best Lib Uruguay game though, right? Yeah, if we don't have, like, if all of those uh, weeds were deer. Yes, be then, better. then we'd be talking. Yeah, I mean, I will say, so this really land good. looks fucking cracked. Yeah, that. That's the Iroquois experience for me every time. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know, like every like if you consider every forest tile a resource tile, then every land looks cracked. That's so, true. Uh, yeah. I mean, so if you are if you're if you're Kiko here, do you settle on hardwood, probably, right? Or uh, yeah, that looks good. It's just fairly open, right? Like. I guess that's kind of the benefit of these games. Like we can afford to be a little, um, you know, less aggressive. Yeah, so but yeah, I mean that city is gonna be open no matter where you settle it. I feel like. I mean, maybe you could settle it on the scout. Yeah, something like that. But, I don't know. Does, does that even have first drink tiles? Like I don't think so. I guess so. it's like the bison from the cup. I, I I mean I it, it's probably just on whatever but I I'd be tempted to go either on force or, or on hardwood. You wanna pick up both the luxes. Yeah, yeah. We're even right of right of horse doesn't look bad, right? You get um, a lot of first ring tiles, but obviously we want the tempo. That's why I mean on, on hardwood just looks yeah. so obvious. I mean, all of this, all of these cities are pretty much the same city. <laughs> <laughs> True, yeah. And and Mega, I agree with you. I think uh, I I also like how how Mel's playing this. You know, not getting a pop rune definitely hurts. Um, I personally would have added a little more food to my my bar so I can go into starvation to finish something. But in general, I I don't have any quorums with this. Like, yeah. I think he's just put his mouse over that. Like, Anna Olives looks so good, and yeah, yeah. I can't. I no no complaints whatsoever about this. All right, let's go to Jack. Okay, so this is bad. Oh I, no, we have uh, three workers. We just did not grow to five, which yeah. Uh, we should have worked a little bit more food. Just like put like a turn into a shrine, you know, just to grow. Or better yet, you're sitting on a lot of gold by the, by the lake. <laughs> that way you can actually grow in time, you know. Or by those. Like, or by the sugar. Trails. Or by the sugar. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's even. That's so much better. Um, yeah. I. Can we check on Sue? Yeah, absolutely. Let's get Fire Street. Or, yeah, it looks like a fire streak. Yeah, the Thunder region, right? This oh, looks like Hawks or this looks like Hawks resolution. Holy fuck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, this Sioux land is not I, I don't see any TPs. This is sad. Okay, well you have you have on like, coconut down there. The tundra up here looks so good. Yeah, you got to, like, the thing with Tundra is it's good if you know how to play around it. Do not move your... You, like, you need to be able to supply food to those cities, and if you don't do that particularly well, then uh, it's not going to be a good time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, this, this spear is not doing... Hey, it looks like he's multi stealing yeah. Oh, God. You should really be oh. buying this, this iron, chopping the iron. And I, I think on Sue, maybe this is an exception because you have incense. But even then, like, probably would just go straight to trapping, right? To get the get the TP up on on the bison tile, right? I mean, this this on coconut city looks great. Um, I would also go one up from dyes so I could get that chop, and I w I actually kind of want the dyes tile to work. Yeah, that that city looks kind of terrible. It otherwise. looks so sad. Yeah, I agree, Con. This land is fucking trash. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Disaster. Disaster. I mean, it turns out that you can get bad land on Sioux. Alright, let's let's maybe go over to Moors. Okay. Okay, we have a city. Um, 
What are we playing? We're playing Lib. Yep. It's kind of awkward. Uh, but I guess... Mm, okay, I, I won't complain about this spot. It, like, if I, I, I think, think about I, it for long enough, it's fine. I, I, mean, I think this I is fine. Do I, I, I do think the... The pyramids rush in this city is a little ambitious. It's very ambitious. <laughs> with I, I one, it, yeah. Just, and we were only on, we're only on one worker, worker, man. Like, if you didn't go two workers, if you went two workers and you already had one there, and you had two on your cap, then I think it's fine. But if we go straight for Granada and we tried chopping out triple, like all this, this like these pyramids and stuff, we are gonna fall really behind in terms of happiness. So. <laughs> Not only that, uh, we might lose this one there because this does not look like a good build to me. Did he settle settle on marble? That's a good question. Um, he settled on something, and I don't think that's a. Gold. I feel like it's gold, gold. No. Yeah, it probably is a gold. I don't see a six gold otherwise. Yeah, it's probably just Lux. Con, aren't you in a game right now? Oh, your game again? Oh, you drew? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Building pyramids first in that city is just. I mean, I'm, it's tough. I just. You're green. You're really. You're liberty. really hurting your early game by doing that. Yeah, I just want some other liberty player to beat into pyramids. I mean, what? I like, do what, when does that get? Strategy. When does it get it? It's gonna get it around, mm, like, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, the fastest it possibly can. And that's yeah. considering the fact you just hurt your game tremendously to do it. I yeah no, it, it's not good here. Even if you get it, it's not good. I mean, even if you get it, if you get it, it's fine. But you just put yourself back to do it, so. I'm I'm not the biggest fan. All right, let's uh let's move to Kiko. Let's look at Kiko. Uh, let's, actually, this is a perfect time. Where did he where is he planning in the city? Okay, so he's not going on either. He's going. This is the first spot. It's defensive. Uh, yeah. Probably the most defensive way to plant it. Yep, I agree. And he saw that perfect. He saw the the Zoc with the the spear. That was great. Yeah, that's a great piece of micro. Uh, the issue is, as I said before, the issue. Uh, no, the issue is he doesn't have a sense. he doesn't have a shrine right now. Oh God, we are Maya and we're playing without the shrine. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I we should probably stop this settler right now in the cup and build a shrine. Shrine's yeah, really we need, we fucking need a shrine as Maya. Oh, uh, we think it's terrible. Blank. We think it's absolutely terrible. Um, there's a lot of rising stars in NQ already. Yeah, well, you know, there, there are many, and they all vary in skill level, so... Plasmas is demanding a luxury. <laughs> Let's look at his sim. Where is he walking this 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 settler? Uh, probably to the burp camp. It looks like he got a settler taken, <laughs> or a worker taken. Yeah. <laughs> 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 He's about to lose that scout, man. I think that that's that could get high rolled. I think that could get high rolled. Nah, he's good. I I don't see a point for this scout being. There. Yeah, I agree. Like, just move it, <laughs> move it back. 
All right. Okay. We're, we're done. Um, let's get Jack. So Jack, uh, the main thing for Jack when he's watching this back, did not mean to rhyme. Um, the main thing for him, definitely grow to five here. There's almost no reason not to. We love the, we absolutely love you building a ton of, uh, a ton of workers. I think that was beyond necessary. And it looks like Fire Streak didn't go on that coconut, which is very bad, in my opinion. Also, Jack does not realize that <laughs> the city state could see him. Um, oh. Yeah. Because it, it, its borders see it on the tobacco tile. Yeah. Hateful cat. We're not hateful. What? We're <laughs> Hoy like actively trolls me and I know he is and it still bothers me like I still fall for it I always take the fucking bait <laughs> like I literally always take the bait yeah something um uh, is something like I, I don't really like these settles that much on him I, I think this is probably like five city trad gaming you go one on sugar, you go one exactly where Santo de Cuba is, and then you bring this rightmost city down onto hardwood or uh, onto hardwood probably. Then you can settle like somewhere north, whether it be you know touching Bardi Camp, touching wheat or something like that. That looks pretty good. I mean, I, you could just not settle north. Um, or you just don't settle north at all, yeah. Yeah, and just be on four. That seems pretty good to me. All right. I am slightly annoyed about the Sioux City. Okay, let's go back. Let's go to Sioux. Let's go to Sioux. Yeah, yeah. I, see, this is this is one of the things, right? Like, we need whoever said we should make a tier list for, um, for like new 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 player civs. Like, we def I, and I, I agree with that hundred percent. I forget who said that. It was smooth. I, I think it was me. Oh, it was you? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because Sue is a sieve that I would not recommend to any new player. Because yeah, it it you have to have Sue mind for you have to have a Sue brain like it's a yeah, completely like have, different experience. Yeah, and you have to think about so many different things when you play this sieve uh, than you otherwise would because you have to think about all of these TPs and where your cities go differently than normal. And it just yeah. Why it's are so we not buying this play. iron? By the way. Um, because we don't like it. Uh, maybe we're waiting for it to get cheap or something. Or we're just not thinking about it yet. Oh god, that city looks painful. What does that even fucking mean? Um, hoy. Rising Stars tier list. Oh no, not doing that. Oh wait, uh, she was about to get their solo taken. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. Okay, yeah. The this is something that happens more often as to you because you're thinking about all the TPs and all of the awkward cities that you're gonna settle, and then you just like walk the settler, you don't pay attention to a unit, and uh, yeah, that's just this information overload. Uh, yeah, uh, that's rough. It's it's rough to play CEO despite just being a top tier so technically. Okay. Um but um that's an interesting game. The Kiko game was definitely the most interesting to me. Uh the Kiko one? Yeah. Let's go back there. Uh, or actually let's check Mel real quick. Uh, all right, yeah, you're right. This, this, this is a sip that I really, really do like. <laughs> so maybe I should be paying attention to that. Uh, I wonder if you're Mel. Uh, Look at this have... three pop fucking building a uh, a granary. 
perfect. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a good city. Uh, do you walk over to that hardwood spot uh, up top with the truffle? Um, because you are Iroquois. And, uh, it is a lot of jungle and forest over there. Probably do want it. I hmm. love the coastals, by the way. Yeah, I, where do you plant that one? Do you plant that touching first? Uh, yeah, I think so. And there's another coastal down on the center. Uh, there are actually two more coastals down there. Yeah, and touching, touching copper? Touching copper yeah, looks touching. so cracked. Like, yeah, touching that's, copper. that's your all thing. Like... <laughs> that's such a good yeah, city just cargo it and it's so insane yeah yeah this looks really nice Mel's playing this really well yeah I I love to see a good Iroquois game too <laughs> I mean one thing I would like to see is them have overflowed a shrine by now um, to at least get the Pantheon rolling but uh, we have incense. Oh, true. Yeah, never mind. No, oh, never mind. Ignore me. Yeah. Mm, so and he gets this clear. Okay, so that's that's a small micro thing, but a lot of people, especially like newer players, and Mel, the uh, you the the CS can see him or see her at that point, but the one thing I'll say is I feel like a lot of newer players, like they're very either. <laughs> you, you either get you get two ends of the spectrum. You get fire streaks where your settler gets stolen, right? <laughs> or you get the other end of the spectrum where you just need to escort it because you're so paranoid about it getting taken. And obviously, if you had to choose one, you choose the paranoid one. But you do lose a lot of tempo and a lot of, you know, I guess, ability to be more, not reckless, but more aggressive with how you're settling. If you don't kind of think about what the game is even allowed to do, right? So we saw him move his archer onto his settler, right? There, there, if the settler yeah. can't see the barb, it's impossible that a barb can take our settler that turn, the next turn, right? Because it have yes. to. So we can move our archer up and start shooting this camp down, and then potentially get this, you know, this 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 worker out of the camp like a turn sooner or something, just because we did that. So. It might not seem like a big deal at all, and frankly, it's really not. But I, I do think these kind of things do like they matter a lot. Yeah, yeah they they definitely do matter. Um, I I did make a video I'm on that. To say on that, and you're probably not gonna like it, is uh, the people that are over paranoid should probably play with one scout a little more so that they're forced to not no. be so paranoid. Oh, no, nope. where, don't where are you? There. Where are you putting this? Where would you put that city, by the way? Because you can't. Uh, one up. Oh, like on the deer. Uh, no, uh, just one up from there on the coast on the flat tundra. I did make a video on it, Blank. They <laughs> I did. Trust me, you can believe me. <laughs> that was one of the first videos I made. No, uh, and Gao, and, and that's and that's super, that's totally fair. Um, I will say, though, I don't think a lot of the people playing, at least that are playing in my discord are vanilla players. I think they're just like straight new players. Um, but I, 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 I do know what you're saying. Absolutely. So you go on flat tundra. Yeah. hundred percent, hundred percent. First of all, like you, you want to go on flat tundra anyway, because you're Iroquois, right? And you save the, yeah. the, the forest. And even if you're not Iroquois, you want to plant another one down there anyway. Um, Oh, yeah, that's, un that's unfortunate, but all right. Last settler going. Let's look at Jack. Let's look at Jack. I, I I think Jack's start had the potential. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't realize he's getting shot. Um. Okay. He figured it out. He figured it out. He figured it out. So yeah. now he sees. Now he knows that. <laughs> there's the settler. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> I I think Jack Start had the potential to be the most explosive. 
Uh, he got a, a pop rune at a perfect time. He did have jungle iron, but he's playing Cuba, and Cuba actually, because of how fast it gets its um, its tradition two policy, um, it's able to get the food from it. So you actually can convert a lot of the food on this start into hammers um, when you're making settlers, which is super relevant. Um, so I think his his start had the potential to be the most explosive one. All right, question. Do you take the... Do you return it? Do, yeah, do you return it or do you take the worker? I would take the worker. I mean, yeah, obviously I would take the worker, but in... Oh! Oh, we were going to be nice. What a nice guy. <laughs> so, I'm surprised you didn't go to sugar there. So I think we're, it, it looks, I'm, to me, it looks like we're a little too focused on chops and not enough focused on getting our luxes up. Um, yeah, we are, we're struggling on happiness. And we, we've we seen Ryan stream on uh, Clicking Oracle as tradition, uh, but and this is Stonehenge into Oracle too, but we're going to, we're going to be doing that <laughs> while being happy. Uh, okay. Let's look at let's look at Kiko. So we we ended up building a shrine just late. Like Maya is an, Maya is actually I don't know Sue's up there, but I think Maya is definitely the worst. I think Maya is the least new new player friendly Civ in the entire fucking game. Uh, I think Maya is the most difficult Civ in the entire game, actually. And I think I think that's a totally fair and reasonable thing to say. Um, it's just, it, it does like the thing. The things it does are so ridiculously powerful, and at the same time, they're so different, and so like it makes you play the entire game weird. And, mm -hmm. Agree, hundred percent. Yeah. So, uh, what pantheon are we gonna be looking at? Is this good from camps? Probably, right? Uh, I mean, your cap has an excessive amount of food, right? So, you're you, if you take food from camps, you're not really taking it for your cap. You're taking it for your expands. I think that southern expand would absolutely love food from camps. The fact we haven't bought this first ring jungle um, truffles is a little concerning. Um, I, I personally would have like wanted to chop that out instantly and improved it, right? Like chop that one out imp and then improve maybe and then chop out the other one, improve that or something like that if you have two workers. But I... Oh, oh no, wait. Uh, a Pantheon just went and it was food from camps and... Uh, oh no. Um... Yeah, th this is what I was afraid of. Uh, see you took food from camps. Who did? Uh, see you. Oh my god. It's... Yeah, the t if you make a TP on a deer, it's not a camp. It's it's a little sad. Is that a hill? That that doesn't look like a hill. It's yeah, not a. Hill. It's not a hill. It is just a flatland hardwood. Yeah. I mean, honestly. No, don't click the button. <sighs> Do I mention? Yeah, does anyone that knows my videos well, like, does anyone know if I mentioned don't click the button in a in my 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 city micro video? I I feel like I did, but I'm not sure because I've seen so many people fuck this up. This button is so bad. Yeah, th this button should be banned from using, like, uh, from being used. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, did the pyramids work out? They, they did go. And yeah, it looks like they are in Granada, in fact. And uh, also, a lot of what you said is true. We're at minus four. We're struggling. 
and our cities are not very big. It is food from Camp Sue. Okay, let's let's go somewhere else. Where do you want to go, Kuba? <laughs> Uh, I was looking at the the pyramids for the sixty. Oh no! And now we uh, built all of our roads, and then we took the worker policy. So it finished thirty eight. Oh. You said. Uh, it finished thirty seven. Okay. It, yeah, it's decently quick, but I don't know. It does not feel like this game uh, benefited from uh, having the done the pyramids rush as much as it could have. Yep. I mean, I also just kind of hate that play. I mean, I, I like it if you do a worker before. I don't know. I like getting my cities going. It feels so much better to get your cities going. I guess so. Do you have a requirement for these games? Yeah, the requirement is if you've made it as far in the series as you as I start talking about this Discord, then you've seen all of the intro guides. <laughs> yeah, Turks, if you do you wanna if you wanna join, just let me know. I know you're a little rusty, but maybe you I think you I think you'd do pretty well. Honestly, you could put all kinds of memes on Turks and he's still gonna manage. Or all kind of yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, yes, I I think I could put <laughs> exceptions on everyone and they'd manage just fine. Yeah, Turks would turn them into like meta builds. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, Turks is the tradition piety guy, uh, and that that was a thing, as far as I remember. Uh, how, what do you think of this this start and like how he's playing this in general? Um, I, oh, uh, do we have a Pantheon? Okay, we, why did we hover, like, why did we circle over the Puji, noticing that we are working it, and we kept working it, when we have the Pantheon, I don't like that. Uh, I, I don't know, the, the happiness is an issue, I'd be locking these things. Isn't it weird uh, that the happiness is an issue? Why could that have been? Yeah, I wonder. Um, it, it could be anything. Yeah. Something about not having enough workers early on, though. Yeah, that, maybe. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's too early to tell. No, I mean, for real, though, like, going pyramids first really hurt your game. This, and when Pan is watching this back, like, it really hurt his game, going pyramids first. Um, he needed at least one more worker. I, I think you go two workers in cap if you're going to do the pyramid stuff, or even three. You got an early worker steal, which is fine, but I don't know. You, you wanted all this gold improved. You wanted all the cap tiles, like, you know, camped up and whatnot. Right now, we're, we're kind of just struggling. Yeah. yeah, it's also a mining start. You really want workers on the mining starts because you want to improve your mines because they're good settler tiles and good luxuries. Uh, Plasmas is here because we needed a sixth person and he's got a number of restrictions so he's struggling right now <laughs> he, he also lost his settler which was not a restriction no no, no worker we lost a worker oh that's the worker he did oh right his settler was just forced to awkwardly move around uh he's not allowed to play liberty he has to play tradition he's only allowed one one wonder oh, per he's playing piety He's only allowed one wonder per era. And he's not allowed to war anyone all game. Yeah, he, he did say uh, he's going to ban uh, Great Light and uh, Oracle. Oh, yeah. And he's also not allowed to ban Library or. And he's not allowed to get Oracle or Library. It's not. I, I, I know it's easy, but it's not like he's trying to win. Right? Like, that's not the point. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, the point is just... He's, he's just here to fill a slot. That's literally yeah. his role. Yeah, let those people play the game. Uh, and, and Plasmus like, gets that, and that's why I was totally fine with him doing it. Yeah, and he's gonna mess around with some things. He, he was talking about how he should also ban Apostolic for himself, and he talked about getting city of god or something so i think he's gonna do that yeah 
He also said something about going on or after and then planting citadels for science. <laughs> <laughs> How early when you play when you play whale start do you want to get your your lighthouses up? Pretty early. Like the they turn F tiles into like really good tiles. Mm-hmm. So yes. But I don't know. I also want cargo ships. Whales are awkward for me in that matter because on every other luxury I would just like get cargo ships and not think about the luxury as much. And I should probably do the same on whales. Uh, just yeah. I I like what he's doing here with uh, the cargos. I think he's piety. Yeah, he's piety. S City of God. I mean, yeah, you want to do cargos before lighthouse. I was just curious what you thought. Um, you know, one bad thing about being tundra on the coast is can't chop these tiles right busan would come up so fast if it wasn't tundra do you know what i mean yeah i mean it's so much science later though on the civ that also gets science like this man's gonna have a lot of science later on turks i like that too especially on lib lib like starlight loves doing that Yeah, All right, let's to do that. let's hop to Mel. Let's hop to Mel. We haven't looked at Mel in a little while. All right. This looks great. This looks so good. Forty-four hammers on turn forty-two. It's yep. not bad. Uh, and he took spirit trees. What do you think of that? Uh, I prefer the other one. I prefer sacred path, but I think it's fine. Uh, we have so much here. Okay, now sacred path had to be better, but. I think this is still an okay choice. Hoy, I like not building a lighthouse at all in my entire game, and I get free wins because I don't play coast. There it is, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wonder if Mel contested pyramids this is a good okay look at this this is perfect Os osanaka is gonna send uh cap food and it's just so fucking perfect yeah the and the cap really needs it too i mean the the one issue that they have is that we are building a caravan as we have uh, four coastal cities no but you need a caravan on the start yeah, like i i will actually stand by that i think you do need a caravan yeah, just something in the back of my mind that doesn't want to build that. But, uh, you're correct. And Mal is doing this uh, better than I This guy's game is good. It. I agree, too. This game is, game is very good. Please send it to Cap. What? Yeah. That Wait. was to Cap. <laughs> that was to Cap? Okay, I thought. I can't read. Yeah. I can't read. All right, yeah, I, I don't, I don't think we need to talk much about Mel. Mel's game looks fucking great. All right, uh, All right let's look at Jack. Skill? Let's look at Jack. All right, Jack. Okay. Oh God, did he get baited by li library? Uh, well, he's gonna get it. Yeah, okay. but we don't have. Oh, we went alter you, you. Just go full of X with Turks, it's good. Are we going Theo? What the fuck? Hmm. I guess so. Oh. I don't know. Maybe we did that because that was the most expensive tech that we could take. True. Uh, and I don't like this oracle. As as much as oracle is an amazing wonder, this oracle is gonna come up as we're gonna finish tradition. Did we lose another settler? Uh, no. I think we recovered that settler over there, and we're walking back with it. No. 
That Spearman is not ours, bro. Wait, who? I'm looking who at. Are we talking? I'm looking at uh, Sue now. Oh. <laughs> oh no. And he chopped a bunch of te- tundra deer. Oh uh, no. Uh. I need like to make an addendum or something to my last worker micro guide. Oh, where I no. just scream, do not chop tundra deer. Squirt <laughs> <laughs> <Court> settlers. <laughs> At least he's a good sport. At least he's a good sport. Did you do a barb guide? No, I didn't. That's gonna that takes so much time, man. Cause you have to set up the stuff perfectly, and like, I have to like set up a single player game where, fucking, all the stuff I want to show is happening. I uh, you can IGE in the barbs, I think. True. Oh, he did get that settler back. Oh no. Uh. Oh fuck. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Don't press the fucking worker road button. Oh, that's even worse than the... That button is worse than the other button. The, yeah, that button is the worst but Like, one of the worst buttons in the that's game. That's, like, the worst button in the whole fucking game. And I yeah, think the, Box the actually uses that button. Yeah, the scout's gonna die. Uh, I don't think the scout will die because the one of the spears is in escort mode, but we're not getting back this settler. I also, like, don't understand why we're building a, a circus. We need to be getting this shit back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait. <laughs> I mean, we have plenty of workers. The, the problem is that all of our tiles are, pil- are pillars. I understand he has two. Oh, I'm happy, bro. But. Yeah, no. But just, like, when I see a circus being built this early, I... I feel like something went wrong during the game. Mm-hmm. And, uh, wait. How many... So do we only have that one settler? Are we... No, I, I see three city spots that we could settle still. You know, I think he's kind of just... You know... <laughs> he's kind of trying to pick his battles. Like, maybe... <laughs> <laughs> I would, I, I if I were him, I would not want to settle more. I'm like, get me the fuck out of this game. <laughs> That's what I'd be saying. Wait, I think if you, what, bro? Oh no, we do have two settlers around. All right, you guys can see it, but Plasma's banned, Apo. I know he's trying his best. I saw the reason I'm like poking at him is because I saw him have a pretty nice game earlier in NQ. Um, so I know he's capable of, of playing much better, and I think he he's just very frustrated right now. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, it's I mean, this happens sometimes, right? When like especially when you're newer to the game, you you have some great games and you have some miserable games. Yeah, and this is just unfortunately one of the miserable ones. Uh, yeah. oh, I don't think he's ignoring it. I think he just couldn't get there. Yeah, that I I don't think he could get there considering how many bar problems he had. And like when uh, when you get one of your things stolen, then like everything collapses because like you have to get units over there, and then you want to send the settlers in the other direction, and then the, that other settler runs into trouble, and it's just all really really sad. Yeah, I mean on on furs looks great, on silver looks good. You could even put one in between them inland. So I mean, he has the land. Like, of course, I don't think he's denying that. I think he's just, if if I'm him, I'm mental boomed so long ago. Like, <laughs> yeah, just actually having the uh, the ability to recover this kind of game. Yeah, 
would be really impressive. Yeah, if he's able to come back from this, I it's gonna blow. I mean, honestly, like remember um, Bulgaria in our last game, like his start was so not uh, not ideal. Like a lot went wrong and whatnot, and still he was able to have a game. It wasn't like super competitive, but I, I he was he was definitely lobby relevant. I would say. Right. Yeah, that, that is true. So, if if any tree is going to prove that they can come back, it's going to be Lib for sure. Um, but yeah, I, I'm curious oh, yeah. to see how. So, for Jack's sake, when he watches this back, I think. Do you want to talk on why what makes Alters a good Pantheon and what makes it a bad Pantheon, or do you want me to? I I will say that Alters is not a good Pantheon, and you shouldn't click it. Okay, well, I disagree with that, but I do think that for new players, the what what makes altars good is the ability to contest fairly contested wonders in expands. You when you're playing tradition, typically you you're not taking altars if you're just gonna wonder spam and cap. Usually, you're having a very strong game in all aspects, not just your cap, and you can use your pantheon to supplement maybe some excess hammers you have like for instance if santo santo de cuba is a phenomenal city and the fact that it doesn't have its sugar chopped yet is a little infuriating to me <laughs> but um if you know if he was prioritizing the right things if he was chopping the right tiles right like buying this banana tiles you know it doesn't look like he has the money for it now but I, i'm I, i'm positive that he definitely had the money at one point to buy it and I think buying that banana tile is a hill banana. It's a great tile. Like buying the hill banana tile, chopping the sugar, like the city would be already caught up. It could be building a wonder or something right now. Um, it could be higher I, pop. I think we like, have the money for it because we have Stonehenge. I have an idea for a new format for this. You need a quick 10 minute therapy session for every player. Turn 50 and 10, 10. Talk about how stuff went and talk through the next 50 turns. That's a really good idea. Also, thanks for the raid. Heretics. That's a really good idea. Do you want it? Mm, yeah, we can we can do it. Probably not this game, but uh, in the future, sure. Yeah, maybe for the next one we do a half. Yeah, we call it halftime. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good yeah, okay, Max. That's genius. Okay, we're doing that. All right, I'll be right back. Give me like one minute. All right. Uh, what are we looking at? We're still looking at uh, Cuba. All right. Mm. Uh, what I like to see here. I mean, we are uh, we're making roads. I that's the the road to that city is pretty okay. Um, I guess we decided to not improve that luxury on purpose because we were gonna hit our golden age too quickly or something. Mm, all right, whatever. Uh, and I think we are still a little underworker. Yeah, we're not. We are on six workers and four cities uh, on a jungle start. That is, seems like way too few to me. Uh, so I would like to be fixing that over making like a library. It's like a small thing. Uh, I'd also like to be growing in this city a little bit more. And yeah, we could buy this banana as well. Uh, I don't understand where we're working the dice. We're prioritizing gold a lot more than at fourth. Uh, which I guess is a mistake that I see a lot of uh, newer-ish players do, where, like, they don't really understand that the hammers and the food yields are the most important yields, and uh, you should be prioritizing mostly those. I remember watching a Filthy video where he was talking about... It, it was when, like, I had gotten bombarded about making a uh, one of those videos where you just kind of, like over explain everything right even though that's yeah. kind of what my guides are um but i remember like watching one and then he was like talking about how like a silver tile unworked is four yields like two hammers and two gold and then an iron tile is three yields so he likes working the silver because it's four and i'm thinking that's fucking stupid like <laughs> Golden hammers are not one to one. Like <laughs> no. So if you're looking on a pure yield basis, yeah, like dies looks great. That's six fucking yields, right? Like that that's really good. But that's not yeah, except for Yeah, except for four gold trans transitions into one hammer. 
that's what I meant for task last game too. These games are pretty cool though. Yeah. So last game we did like an hour long session where we went over everyone's game afterwards. And we answered questions. We answered what they should have done, what they could have done, how good their land was, like all that stuff. But I, I like the idea of having some like midway point um, to kind of bridge the gap here. So I, I, when Jack watches his back, like I think his early game mistake was staying at four, like going to, going to five there is much better in general for your game. Um, I love the idea of going three workers. I thought that was great. The one problem I think I'm seeing right now is there's a lot of like worker micro mistakes and this is stuff that you, you pick up on and you learn later. So it's just a, it's a matter of getting enough reps and getting more practice in. So, you know, you're doing a perfect thing right now. Um, so just improving like your worker micro decisions, like watch this game back, see where you're putting your workers, like why you weren't doing certain things and whatnot. And then I think he'd be, you know, in a much better spot next time. Uh, let's look at, um, let's look at Kiko. Oh no, we still have one shrine? I... We were gonna do one hoy where everyone gets a mentor and then that mentor like does some form of backseating the in like the entire game. Or like answers questions or whatever. Um obviously that would be it'd be harder for me to stream that. Um but I I think it would be well, I, I, I think it'd be probably the best possible way that they that new, like a newer player could like get better at the game is asking questions real time directly to someone who knows the correct the one hundred percent correct answer. No, when I say backseating, I don't mean telling them how to do everything. I mean, you can't do that in practice because it's too many things, right? It's too much actions and too much stuff that you need to communicate. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Turks, do you want in? Wait, Hoy, Hoy, Hoy showed interest. I'll just make a short list right now. Turks, do you want in? So no Mega Keck W? No, I mean, Mega would be great at it. Yeah, Mega, Mega is one of the best backseaters for sure. Yeah. So Hoy Turks. Oh fuck! Wait, you're right. He took God King. Oh. I mean, comfort was gone. Uh, what else do you do here? Just something with culture, or like, like even like spirit animals. You have so much stuff. Like I, I wouldn't mind. Is truffles on that still? I don't remember. No, it's not. But I mean, you I, you could do regional pants. I, I don't know. Yeah, it, it is a little sad. Um. Yeah, we are gonna do an intermediate game. Like for instance, I think if you remember the last time, the Netherlands player is definitely good enough for an intermediate game. I think Kiko played really well in that game. Um, it depends if he'd want to be doing it, but even like normal NQ, some normal NQ players have shown interest. Uh, <laughs> you guys are fucking stupid. Um, like I think Toasty reached out about an intermediate game. I think Zolo did too. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh mega do you want to do the the coaching thing i'm, I'm already put you down kuba you don't have a choice mm, all right i'll <laughs> just be in the wrong time zone for you and then that will be fine yeah because hoy and turks are totally on the right time zone well turks is in a slightly different time zone <laughs> <laughs> okay 
foot plus throwers from you, I think. Uh, Discord streaming really doesn't use a lot of bandwidth in my experience. No, no, it's not today. It's not today. It's not today. It's a different day. Um. Yeah, it's it sucks. Like I, we should have gotten food from camps if we did the the right try and build order. You know what I mean? Like just it's just unfortunate yeah do we have yeah, theology um, there's no way we have theology no no we're just uh, we're just vibing of, bro we're just yeah, vibing we're just ignoring that yeah, we're, we're ignoring vibing. a lot of what maya does <laughs> yeah <laughs> i mean this is a I, this is a sieve where it's it's so hard to play when you don't know everything about it kind of I mean, even if you do know everything about it, it's really hard to. Yeah, it still is hard to play. Your yeah. game. Yeah. All right. Where do you want to go next? Uh, let's go to Mel. Uh, okay. Seventy hammers. I just saw Kiko check them out. So that's that's all right. Three pot building an aqueduct. Let's fucking go. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah, building all of the aqueducts. Gold bleed is. Definitely a little concerning, but I think it's because of how low pop is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, now no. <laughs> like, said that two seconds later. If we didn't get to use a whole lot of that Iroquois road, uh, road over forest thing, too, it's a little sad. Like, usually L literally your none of it because you don't have half of the roads well that's kind of the nice thing about that city that we were talking about earlier you know yeah but again this is uh, some slight sit specific uh, things I taught them well yeah I tried man they're just good learners there he goes he got there where did he? Yeah, he got there. Cool. Do we like Spirit Tree's pick here? No. It is a stereotypical Iroquois one, but on this land, I would not have picked it. I I generally don't like Spirit Trees on Iroquois as much. It's just it, I think the one culture is just a lot better than. Uh, one, one food and one faith on less tiles. Yeah. Yeah. I I do like a lot of how uh, Kiko, uh, not how Mel has managed this. I, I like how we chopped the iron at the start. Uh, and, uh, yeah, well, the cool. nice thing about Sacred Paths is that, I mean, you, you can talk about this more if you'd like, but in my opinion, it's like, you push culture, but you push it so fast that you can dip Patreon and still hit your natural. Uh, yeah, or you can, or you can just get your natural a little later. So um, he actually could road. delete this road right now, um, the one immediately left of the deer, right? Yeah, I don't think uh, he's realizing that. Iroquois is such a, you know, intricate sieve. I feel like most people don't. Yeah, a lot of these sieves that they they picked today are very intricate. And, uh, like Moore's is also very intricate. Sue is, Sue and Sue and Maya take it to a new level. But like Moore's is definitely plays very differently compared to a normal sieve. I think Cuba is definitely the most vanilla. Same with with yeah, but Korea. Cuba is vanilla because it doesn't really do that much. That's true. I, I think that the most friendly sieve in here is probably Moors. Really? Not Korea? Yeah. I guess Korea's coast. No. I mean, Korea is coastal and it's sad because it's slow. That's fair. Yeah, and, and Moors is just. Like, <laughs> Should have really just nice been sieve. six Yugos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something about that 
doesn't seem like it would be the best experience or the best <laughs> viewing experience. <laughs> Oxford Factories. Let's go. Isn't Euro pretty new friendly? No, because you don't want to chop. Yeah, or it might bait you into not chopping. Uh, sometimes when you would, when you should chop. And, and then you want to settle some awkward cities because you want to prioritize uh, forested deer and forest a little bit more than usually. And Max, the game crashes. Oh, does the game actually crash? It, it, uh, a lot of culture, it crashes on like turn six or seven or something like that when you meet everyone. Oh. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> and do you want to guess who found that out? Uh, Glosson? I don't know. Danny. Danny. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That sounds like Danny. Yeah. Yeah, I guess the the as you start making so much culture that the integer overflow is just too much. Mhm. Mm yeah, you, you start getting like millions of culture return, and it just crashes your game. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'd queue a wonder here in cap and then build a cargo. Yeah, we, we this guy has workers. This guy fucks. Yeah, this is your guy. Turks, this is your guy. I don't know how I feel about this this optics thing right now. Uh, we own lighthouses. I, I don't think it's correct, but for some reason we own lighthouses. I would definitely make you Mozo here. No, because you, you could... Uh, Moore's, you saw Moore's building Mazo like, a long Mazo time ago. ago. I wasn't paying that much attention. Yep, there's Mazo. Alright, let's check on... Let's check on fire, fire streaks. Yeah, the settler did not get returned. Oh no. Uh, Where are we going? Why do we have currency? Oh, uh, we like markets, apparently. Um, hmm. uh, we still did not realize what have we done to our city with pressing the button. I, I can tell him. Fire. Press reset tiles on the right side. Above above the unemployed citizen. Ah. I've always wondered I always get this glitch in single player sometimes. So. Yeah, so it's not a glitch. You're you just you hit the one button you're not allowed to hit. And that's the little mm. swap tile button. See how that horse has that swap tile button? If you click that, ah. that means the tile the city you're taking it from is gonna get this bug or this glitch. So now you have to go and click the horse tile in that other city. But yeah. Gotcha. Okay, thank you. Yep, no problem. Uh, should have made everyone play America. Might see <laughs> fire strikes game. <laughs> yeah, the next time we do this, we'll we'll have fire strike play America. America is actually probably the number one set to play uh, in this kind of format. Why? For them. Well, it's like, it, it is the, the best set uh, for new players, I I feel like. Dude, motherfucker, he just pressed the button. Oh, uh, no. It's the fourth. Bro! It's, it's so hard to break the, break the force of habit. I don't want to be that guy, but did you really just press the button again? <laughs> did I? I thought I reset it. Yeah, but now this one's broken. This one? The city? Yeah, because you just took the horse. Right. Bro, what are you doing? 
Wait, so how, <laughs> but aren't you supposed to? No, so what you do, let's say you want to give this city the lapis, right? All right, let's go to uh, cap. Go to cap. All right, unwork the lapis tile in your cap and work something else. Like work the, okay. yeah. And now go to the other city and, well, no, it's still broken. You have to reset the tiles. Okay. <laughs> you fucked this up. <laughs> um, yeah, so press reset tiles, press reset tiles. Okay, now let's, let's work what we wanted to work. So let's assign this stuff. Can someone roll the turn, please? Yep, you work that tile. Work. We're all the ones you want to work. I want to just show you how you should always be rearranging tiles. Um. So, let's and then lock that, and then like work. Yeah, hmm. and then work the other lapis. Okay. okay. So let's say we wanted to switch this lapis that we're currently on to the other city for whatever reason, right? So you can unwork the lapis here. So this one. Yeah, and it work works another tile. Like the incense tile or something. Mm -hmm. Now let's go to the other city. And now if you press reset tiles, now you only had to re re press reset tiles because of what you did before, by the way. But now okay. you can press this lapis tile. And if you click it twice, now, okay, so one click assigns it to the city. The next click puts the worker in the tile, right? So if you click it again, um, Yep, click it again. Now it gets assigned. And if we go back to our capital, it will not have been taken. Right? And, and our tiles will remain locked, you see? Uh, so gotcha. that's how you ha should always switch tiles. That's the okay. forsaken button. If I see you press it again, I'll kill you. <laughs> okay. okay. Good to know. Thanks, Ryan. I appreciate it. All right, where do you want to go now? Um, did we uh, see Panda? Uh, yeah, yeah, let's look at Panda. It's been a little while from Panda. Press red. Press it. Flashmas is such a fuck. Do you see the chat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys are crazy. Okay. I mean, this is fucking ridiculous. Wheat and maze game. Yeah, it, it is so good. And we are out of things to build. I mean, is it better than settlements? In this game? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I see nine. It probably is better. So it's probably better, yeah. Yeah, but it's close. I, I think I think that's kind of like the argument point, right? Where you're like only if it's only two more yields and settlements, then I'd say the border expansion is is definitely more, more important. But you know, once you get to like th th almost fifty percent more yield, like then then we're like, okay, <laughs> that's no joke. Yeah, the, the yield is good. The instant settlements thing is really good. Oh no, no, I mean the the instant if wheat and maize panth is also instant. I guess you could argue that you don't have it in your borders or something, but it looks like yeah, almost but... all of these are settled first ring wheat. Yeah, and at this third you have so much only so much bulk to work them, and and then you work more. Oh no, the the yield from yeah. like, the border growth is not instant either, and the border growth is actually very minor. It's not that minor, dude. It's actually pretty big. It saves a good amount of money. Why aren't we improving this maze? By am I missing something? Uh, no, I don't think you're missing anything. We're getting a lot of like. I see this a lot, but this would be a game to go civil first. And get Chichen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, 100%. Yeah, we are also Moors, so going civil first is probably better than usually. Really? Uh, 
Yeah. Actually, I don't know, because on Moors, you want to go aqueducts and then into medieval. And if you go civil after aqueducts, then it's... I mean, you could go civil before aqueducts. It's not that bad. I guess so. Let's look at... um. I mean, this game looks good. I... I think we see this a lot where there's a lot of like improved, not improved tiles that just have no reason not to be improved, right? Like, like why are there so many farms on tiles where we are working an unimproved one instead? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's just the the little micro things. Yeah, like for instance, like all the like there's like I think there's like three wheat tiles in his land that aren't improved that we're working, but instead we're building a farm. You know, like, right. look at the farm we're building in Toledo right now. Like, that, yeah, that, uh, this is just improve the wheat, though. you know? Also, we're no one, no, nothing is working this, this cow tile, and it's, it's kind of sad. That's a hard situation. What would you do? His, his stream's really laggy, so I don't really want to stay here, but, um, what would you do in that situation? Like, would you clear that barb camp and then improve the tile? Because if you, Clear the barb camp. You're likely going to get ship spawned on you. One science off, uh, off, off a deck. I would build a spear and I'll park, would park a spear on that. Oh, but I will and grow and pro dies. probably get it right. Yeah, if if you grow, you're gonna, yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, one thing that I'd like to note here: uh, don't be afraid to switch off whatever you're building to build a workshop. Like the terracotta army should not be being built in Granada. Uh, actually, other than that, the, the other cities did good. I'm on Jack right now. Alright. Okay, we're doing Kaya for religion. I think Can I get rid of the that. Logitech notification? I don't know how to fucking do that. And, uh... Oh, I guess <laughs> we... Hmm. We're not growing these cities particularly fast. Yeah, I mean that's the Santiago that's the problem, right? System. Like, why is yeah, why is Santiago for six pop? Yeah, like that city is much. Better. That should be ten pop by now, minimum. Yeah. I'm not yeah, pressing my fucking DPI button. I swear, I'm not. I don't know what's happening. Uh, I feel like we should be. Buying more tiles here. We have 190 gold. We should be spending it. Okay, that's that's one way. That's <laughs> that's one way. That is one way to spend it. <laughs> I mean, of all of the ways, it's not the worst way, but yeah. it's certainly not the best way. Yeah, I, I mean, buying workers is something that took me a long time to get used to. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Jack a hint. Jack. Hello. Can you click Santiago de Cuba for me? Okay. Thank you. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, what <laughs> That's his hint. That's his hint. <laughs> That's his hint. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he said, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah, it's just working the wrong tiles, man. You, he needs to buy the fucking banana. Yeah, he needs to buy the banana, work the lake, work more food. Like, tradition cities need to grow. This watermill's not that important to have your hammer it down. Yeah, and we are bottom demos. Actually, the demos look pretty good in this game. If 89.57 is the bottom, that, that's just good. Please don't tell me Panda engineered that wonder. Oh, no, he did. Yikes. Anyway. <laughs> what did Panda do? Engineer Petra? He engineered uh, Petra. 
I think this is such a big bait. We see a lot of uh, a lot of players make. Yeah, the, like this wonder is not as good as it used to be in vanilla when like no lamp was useful for anything at all. Mm-hmm. Like this this wonder, it's still good. It's not engineer worthy. Also, religion. Uh, what do you take here? I feel like it's always t- slot. Oh, if if Salat's there, yeah. And he's looking for ceremonial. Uh, I like ceremonial a lot too. I it is my second pick, but I don't know. We don't have enough faith to justify ceremonial. It's not gonna come online quickly enough to make the difference. And I think Salat just makes a lot of difference here. Yeah, and gold is clearly not an issue. Yep. You take tithe, Truller? I I mean. Tithe is something that like it scales so well, and if, if you're taking it purely for the scaling, I could I could see it. I like why aren't we improving wheat? I think we are just we have a blind spot for that. May uh, me yeah, sorry. May style. He should buy CS. Yeah, hundred percent. I think he has Ormus. Yeah, he has Ormus as a friend. Oh yeah, absolutely buy that. Please work the workshop. Please work the workshop. Please work the workshop slot. Right, um, Guru's gone. I mean, this is your, this is yeah, your I need a. Where's Glosson? Someone fucking message Glosson. We need to make this this part two video. Because we only did it for the we only did it for the piety players, and now the liberty players don't know what to pick in their religion. <laughs> Because there's some pretty clear options, in my opinion, which, like, I would take. Well, okay, let, let's go. What would you take here? Ceremonial and Guru is gone. Uh, I think um, I think I Mel see. took it. Yeah, Mel I took Spirit Tree, the... Ceremonial Guru. What, what would you take? I don't see the land, but uh, maybe Peace Garden has received two waters. I exactly, don't like yeah. These choices. I, I don't think there's a good choice, per se, but I do think... You know, Sacred Waters here is very good. Every single city is on a oh, river. Yeah, okay. uh, um, Z- Zakat, River Happy. Zakat, I, I don't think we need Zakat. We have plenty of money. We're on Gold Regional. I, I think Salat is... I mean, I'm, I'm just a Salat monkey, I guess. But, like, I don't know. Salat's so good. Salat's so good. Like, It's also just a good deny. Like, everyone wants it. What? <sighs> he needs to be working Workshop Slot and Cap. Frankly... I mean, the library is pretty late to get up, but I, I feel like, at least in the capital, the rest of the cities shouldn't have libraries, in my opinion. But I feel like his cap should have a market, too, because we want to be working that uh, mer- um, merchant slot because we have Mazo, and that's just a really um, fast merchant spawn. At least if you can afford I, the I pop. I think that's that much of a priority because what are we using this merchant on? I guess allying the CS, maybe? Okay, it's not maybe it's not that great. I guess. Uh, we should speak, we should really be fixing this happiness by allying Ormus though. Like, at, at any time you're unhappy in a game of Sith, that's not a good thing, and you should be dealing with that immediately. You can't take city states. You just you're I'll, not you're not allowed to war each other. Until industrial. <laughs> in order to call someone as yes, they need to have one city. Okay, fine. If you see the rules, OCC is also banned, so. Yeah, so you can't do that. <laughs> Yeah, Hoy. Um, in my in my Discord, you're not allowed to play OCC. It's banned. I'm sorry. We only allow relevant players here. Uh. 
Harvey back in. Okay, so I, I, I like Panda's game. I think it's pretty good. Um, this is the kind of game that kind of tells me I want stables pretty fast. That being said, he's having some happiness problems, and I think it's just because he's, you know, not really prioritized the right things in some of his build cues. Uh, I, I don't know how I feel about the shrine. Maybe he's going to be like, you need to go Coliseums in every single city right now. Like every single city should be going Coliseums. Um, but anyway, uh, let's move over to plasmas real quick. See how he's doing. Okay. It looks like he's contesting an all thing. This game looks pretty fucking slow. What did he take? He took Disciples. Okay, that's funny. City of God Disciples. Messiah. Oh my gosh. No more Theo Russian to Inland Expo. Hey, Petro. Petro. No NG point. Yeah. That sucks. Petro does look really good for... For Moors. I don't know why he was so insistent on doing honor. He's on enough cities. It's just... I don't know. Let's check uh, dynamic... Well, dynamically, let's look at Kiko. Curious to see how he's doing. So Kiko here is looking for if he can contest... Um, okay, so we got Zakat, and then this, in my opinion, should always be Divine. Okay, that's perfect religion. So he's starting a four turn. I think we want, Kiko's tempted to queue up Chichen as well. Um, we'll see what he opts for. This is 100% stable. Whenever you see a two-style stable and you don't see anything that's really calling for you, whether it be... Oh my god, look at these tiles. They're so bad. He like this is a writer's guild. This is writer's guild 100% of the time. You you know that um the wonder spamming tradition player is just going to be contesting that. So opting for Chichen is just kind of a waste. Also, this is a very late turn to get to get sailing. You you want those those caravans up much sooner than that. Um yeah, like, I think I think hopefully he sees Chichen start in the in the Cuba city, and then he's less inclined to. I, I hope he doesn't continue it rather, and and he built Writer's Guild and Cap instead. I, I, Writer's Guild is just so important um, when you're having a slow culture game. Additionally, you have so many useless tiles in Cap. One it, writer's guild would help you grow to them first of all, but second of all, it would also just give them give those give those citizens something to work that's not complete garbage. Then he's gonna send this to Chichen Itza. That's great. Um, if I'm him, I'm trying to look for a a, a Coco so I can trade it. Um, we saw that CS quest. Man, he's only gonna get the migrate person for turn seventy seven. Sad. Yeah. Thanks for the follow. Um, no, I, I agree. I, it, it is, it is really not, not ideal. Um, whoops. Who's tech lead? Uh, it is most definitely our tradition boy, uh, Jack. Look at this. Expand Aya. That's fucking perfect. He needs to be buying these tiles. Like, look, he, he has a. He still didn't buy the banana tile. He needs to buy the sugar tile. Anyone watching, like, guys, the a lot of the use of money early on should be for tiles. You should. This is one of the reasons why America is such a good sieve. Um, 
is because the tile buying is so important for everyone's game. Why isn't Arvius in this lobby? Uh, because he's not a he's not a rising star, brother. His tiles are still thirty gold. Yeah, he's got. He also has Stonehenge. Culture looks very good. This is a mix of the Cuba bonus as well as um, just uh, divine. Faith looks pretty strong. Let's see if uh, let's see if Kiko noticed that he started Chichen. Doesn't look like he did because otherwise he surely would have swapped. Um, anyone do anything fun or interesting yet? Uh, not really. Mel is simming very, very, very well. It, it, it depends what you rate as fun and interesting. Um, Fire, Fire Strikes lost two settlers. So that was that was pretty interesting. Mel was in my game with text. Yeah, Mel. Mel looks like they're doing really, really good. I would not. I don't agree with some of the tiles they're working though. Like this one-one over a two-one. That's a little weird, but you know, whatever. I, this is always stable here. Um. You never need a lighthouse in that city. Okay. They're listening to me confirmed. Exposed. Uh, another stable in that city as well. I I think, um, yeah, Mel, Mel's game looks, looks quite strong. Definitely, definitely relevant. Um, okay, let's look at what let's let's see what Kiko takes. So we we just got our first profit. We're gonna get another one on seventy seven probably with Maya, but not rushing Theo as Maya is really bad. At least on tradition, when you when you play something like Liberty or um, like Honor Maya, if people do that. I mean, I've done that once and it was not worthwhile. Whoa, missionary zeal is not it, brother. Um, okay, what do you guys think they're going to take? What would you guys take? Did Maya get Maz? No. Mazo went to Moors. Yeah, thanks, Unreasonable. We don't have the faith for a building. I need to make this fucking guide. Liturgical, maybe? I, I don't mind liturgical. I need to make this guide. Alright. So we, it looks like we brought Chichen down, but again, I think he's going to get beat. Yeah, he's going to get beat. It's not worth it, right? Like, if you're starting it on the same turn and it's a five turn and the other guy has. Um, altars, just pound for pound, you're not going to get that, you know? This is a uh, clear, strong game from from our from our tradition friend here. He's going honor second. Not sure if I agree with that. You know, it it's a clear sign of aggression. Um, Interesting Boro. I, I don't think Boro is necessary, personally. Um, like please buy the please buy the tiles. That, that, that does look like a, a lot of honor in this game, which a little bit surprises me, uh, considering we don't get to do one of the two timings that honor has, uh, which is crossbows. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, and we're building both the safe place. Weren't we building Haya and the cab? Uh... No, I isn't expand. We were building Chichen. We just got it. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I agree with Hoy. Usually, on average, you start Chichen on turn 59 or 58, and then you finish it on 61 or 62 or 63. So I think it's a little... It's definitely late, but, you know, that's kind of the point of these lobbies, right? They're not supposed to be meta. I mean, they took... I think they took that we can attack a Cavardes. We must attack a Cavardes. No, because no one attacked Cavardes last time. Except Kiko, but that was after schools, so... Curious to see what Mel takes here as a secondary. I mean, even as attacking, like, attacking as one of these middle players sounds like a attacking, I guess, uh, Kuba can attack into Sioux. Mm -hmm. uh, like attacking into Plasma is, is just not a good idea because they, they know that Plasma is a good player and these people that are good players usually destroy you at war, so really don't want to be attacking into that. <clears throat> and, uh, no, I, I agree completely. This is a per perfect Writer's Guild, by the way. What a beautiful Writer's Guild city. Let's just hope they work the slots. Am I weak? No, Osinka. Osininka. Or I'm on, um, oh, sorry. Okay. I'm on, I'm on Mel right now. There. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. That's so great. I, I love to see that. What we what would be really big brain is if in cap we take the maze that we just gave up. That way, because we're about to finish a stable, and then we can grow a turn sooner as well. But these are kind of things, you know, just... I, I say this in my videos, but when I'm looking at cities, I'm not looking at their city names. I'm looking at the bars on the left and right of the, right of the city. So if you look, like, right here, you can kind of see that bar is just about full. On the 13, like it says two next to it. So you know it can grow in one. Like you know for a fact it can grow in one. If he, if Mel hovers over that, if Mel hovers over that 13, you, you, he'll be able to see that he can grow. But yeah, it does take like a lot of experience to be able to notice those things. Uh, well. I know, Mega, I'm well aware that food goes before the stable, but it's just about, I want to pass this tile off it's a 3-1 i'm working another 3-1 anyway and i don't have to think about trading it over later anyway also it helps me grow yeah it's, um i noticed that a lot when i play like a two city or a three city game or whatever it's like a low city count game where there is so much micro suddenly that I'm like unlocking that I'm usually not doing as live. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it just, just gives you an idea of how difficult it really is uh, in this game. Yep, I agree completely. Oh my, what a tile. Oh, did uh, Grant Beaver build an elven, right? Yeah, I ended up taking it from... <laughs> <laughs> took it. Well, it, I think that's the one that Plasmas wanted to go for for the era, and he just didn't uh, get it. No. Oh, I thought he built high up, but I guess not. Yeah. No, Plasmas only has. Um, I think they have Coloss. I think he's got Colossus, and he's got Great Lighthouse. Um. Yeah, I I saw those too. Let's look at fire streaks real quick. So we're six city lib. And that sounds a little sad, but honestly, considering what our early game was, you know, it's, honestly, it's, not we'll as take this. yeah. With workshops yeah. teching Theo, um, doesn't have civil though, so I'm curious why he's teching Theo. Um, probably I don't know. We have enough. Oh, we have a religion. Yeah, I don't get the Theo. I mean, Theo, Theo TPs are definitely a thing, but we don't have many TPs, so uh, that could be a problem.
Mm, yeah, it's not going to help that much. Like, he's making so much money right now. I would buy these TP tiles to the left of my cap instantly. Yeah, he was looking at buying TPs before. And there goes Panda's the... building trebs. Is he going to take a CS? Yeah. Oh, I don't like that. You don't like what? Taking a CS right now. He's honor. I don't agree with the honor pick, but he is honor. I don't agree with the honor pick either. We're struggling on half you. Why are we taking a CS? Oh god, we're building Circus Maximus and we're still. Oh, we, we cannot take a CS. Wait, who are you looking at right now? Uh, oh, did you not say Mel? I guess Mel is not building traps. So no, 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 no. No, um, Moore's is building traps. Oh, okay. Wait, do we have four honor players in this game? Oh, no. <laughs> honor. Yeah. Honor. Honor to. Everyone two. except for Seal, who doesn't honor. have a policy. And uh, Plasmas went honor. Yeah, Plasmas is. Well, no, 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 no. It's it's three honor players. It's not honor. Kiko. Oh, it's Kiko. Okay. All right, Kiko has not picked yet. <laughs> okay, wait. I thought Boro just went. I thought Maya just got Boro. Uh, yeah, Boro. I don't know that. Was it Maya? Might have been Maya. Yeah. Oh, why didn't we buy this offer? Did the... It's not in range of any of the Iroquois cities, right? No, it's not. Uh, we could buy this offer. <laughs> That's for sure. I agree. Also, I did not know that Palenque is 19 pop. That is surprisingly a lot. At this I mean, look moment. at the tiles. Yeah. <laughs> it is just wild grassland farms. That's true. It would be so much pop if we got jump food, actually. <laughs> Alright, so five. surprisingly, our tradition boys are getting... I, I was expecting the uni timing to be much faster than this. Um, but I, I guess it's 40, 76 on Maya. It's 76 on Maya, 77 on, on uh, Alters, man. Yeah. Uh, does Plasmas have Phoenix already? I don't think so. Plasmas game looked no. depressing. I mean... His science is very good, though. Speed. I will say his science is very strong. And he's also getting used at around the same time. Why isn't mad? He's just disappointed. Why did people say that? <laughs> Cuba keeps not working feud. Yep. When he watches his back, uh, he will probably be disappointed with himself <laughs> I, I feel like he's been doing this on purpose where he didn't prioritize food because like he's been doing that since it turned zero right working those deer tiles on the cap yeah and maybe he took my like hammers over food meme on my like paint thumbnail a little too seriously name your city I don't know what I'm doing Okay. Good to know, Plazas. Where's Ponyville? Uh, he's not in the game. It's going to be an 80 unis for, for Mel. Again, I feel like this should have been faster. Am I crazy? Uh, I think it should have been. I don't really get why it wasn't. I guess these cities are, like, not that big and... Oh, I guess we did hit the happiness cap like really hard, considering we have Circus Maximus here. Yeah. Oh, I guess that's just not settling that copper. Oh, no, that's the duplicate. Uh, that's our regional, actually. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this land just doesn't have any luxuries and we didn't count that. I'm really surprised, though. Me too. 
I think they played well, though. That's the interesting thing. Yeah. I think the biggest issue with Pan- Mel's game is Pantheon. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, what is it? Uh, Sphere oh, Trees. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and we have what, Ceremonial, Devout. I mean, Devout's really good on this. Let's look at Panda. Actually, it's not really good. So Panda, you know, with, I think Panda's probably at the best tech game. Does they have Noter? Um, yeah. I, by the way, I really don't like going this Noter tech. Uh, we have free food C- CS next to us. We should just ally those. Yeah, like, that seems like such a no-brainer for... For Petro, especially when we had two of them as friends at the time. Yeah, it's just... I, you see, th- this is why I don't like Nodder. Like, Nodder would be great in your quest spot, actually. Like, that, that is the spot where we don't really have any CS nearby, and we are struggling on happiness. Here, Nodder is... Now, this is like watching Delta play, honestly, a little bit, right? Like... Going Nodder, building trebuchets to take city states. I mean, building traps to take city states always feels like shit. Yes. Yeah, but Sierra, the Kuba's point is that there's ways to remedy it. Yeah, we're like we're not dealing with the the uh, happiness problems in the right way, I would say. I don't know, like, do we have all of our Colosseums up? Probably not, right? I hope so. I really hope we do. That doesn't answer your question, but I hope we do. I mean, I if I were to take a guess, I would guess that Murcia doesn't have a Colosseum because the city's kind of meh. <laughs> and it's been working Fuji the entire game, I'm pretty sure. Petro or Honor second. Uh, on Liberty, I would typically agree with that, but... On Tradition, I'm also inclined to agree. I mean, it's just... Like, if we are thinking about... Uh, city states that we have nearby, I feel like Petro is always the better choice. Like, Honor second is for killing, it's not city states. Yeah, I would agree with that. Dude, Plasma's is such a troll. It's so funny. And now everyone, everyone will know about our evil intentions if we are Mars. And by everyone, I mean Maya, because <laughs> that's the only target. Yep. Let's see how Maya is doing. They picked Commerce. I don't mind commerce in this spot. Uh, I mean, I... Culture's way too low for it, though. Yeah, I struggle with having the culture. Uh, they did get a Maya Greek person. Oh, I, I assume they picked Merchant. Uh, maybe they spawned that one, though. I know. I I would not pick merchants at this at this stage. I would probably pick a raider or an artist, um, just because we don't get that many Maya great people here. Mm-hmm. And we're only expecting to get five, which is seventy-seven, eighty-seven, one hundred two, one twenty-two, and one fifty-two until the end of the game, probably. Yep. Yeah, that's like one of them is scientist, one of them's engineer. One of them is writer, one of them is artist. Yeah, I don't and think he's got any merchant one. points either. Because you think about what which ones could have went. 
He doesn't have any of the coastal ones. He doesn't have Mazo. No yeah, one got Machu. Machu's well, too late to spawn a merchant anyway. Yeah. At least uh, right now. Yeah, nobody has guilds actually. I do love that wonder. What do you do if someone wants your regional and war before Entrancer was banned? Uh, there's like a contingency that I have where if someone like egregiously forward settles, they can that the other person can ask me if they're allowed to go before uh, industrial, and then we assess the situation. Then it's usually no one's asked yet, obviously, but um, there. If I do allow it, I tell the whole lobby, hey, this game, um, someone's been given permission to attack before industrial. And then obviously they'll know it's coming and whatnot, but that's kind of the point. Or you're, you're trying to practice the warp. You're not really trying to practice winning. I like that you walk a settler behind them and buy their capitals. <laughs> yeah, that's that's good. It's a great way to make friends, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> Last time I did that, the player that I did that to would not want to play with me again. Hmm. Weird. Who'd you do it to? <laughs> I don't know, it was years ago. The guy was playing Polynesia and he did not settle cities. So I just kind of settled Liberty cities all the way across the desert. Uh, and I settled portals for Miscap because just figured why not. <laughs> he didn't want the tiles anyway. <laughs> You're a troll. You are such a troll, Sierra. He got Boro, man. Leave him alone. All right, who do you want to watch? Mm, who do I want to watch? I, I want to see Jack. What, okay. What they can not do. Looks like they, uh... Looks like they're not going Angkor and they're just doing all Hombra instead. Uh, they are going Angkor, just not there. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> I like how, like, his worst city is the one that's building it. Yeah, I, I, I love. Like I also love how this fucking banana still has not been purchased. Yeah, we are gonna naturally not do it at this point. Why are we working the f gold? No, there's no way. Yeah, gold's not a good deal. Just, just ignore it when you are working tiles, please. What do you think of his tech oh, path? I mean, I. I assume if we have an engineer, I don't know if we do. We should. Yeah, we, we will have an engineer. Two turns. Oh, perfect. Uh, then uh, then I like it. I like Sistine and Dance Halls are also pretty nice. I, I think they do something cool, right? <laughs> no, they, they give two happiness. Oh, yeah, we want that. Also, um, it's a sieve that if you go Dance Halls, um, You can you can get your an early musician's guild if you have the food. And it actually is significant because um, the musician's guild, when you spawn... What the fuck? Discipline. Oh. Uh, are we going to do the, the UU push? You did say industrial. <laughs> I did say industrial. Because that, that is an early discipline. That is a very early discipline. I, I, I guess the other thing... No, we, we want the, the garrison policy, right? Because we're not attacking someone for the next 12 turns. Don't take man deers. Please don't. I like liturgical here actually. We're gonna build dance halls, so we have to build amphis too. 
and faith-finding engineers or generals isn't exactly bad. Oh, no. And uh, Defender is always so... Oh, wait, what? We're gonna build that? Please, no. What the fuck? I, I would not be planning to build that building. <laughs> Unless we already have it, but I don't think so. <laughs> I love Jack! <laughs> I mean, is this uh, coherent? It's a Chad play, I will say. Oh, we lost time for Bad. Yeah, Plasma's cheated. Fuck that guy. Well, he did go deny his medieval wonder. <laughs> That's true. It's a good point. Hmm. Man, this is a sad medieval wonder to pick, though. <laughs> Right? <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> of all of the wonders. Yeah, I want Angkor. Okay. Maybe this whole man years plan is not as bad as I thought. Oh, hey, we're gonna work the farm. Awesome. Love it. <laughs> good, good. Alright, um, let's check on Plasmus. Yeah, we've been there for a while. Oh, are we just gonna... We're looking at islands. Are we just gonna settle all of them? Is that the plan? That fits in the rules, so he's allowed to do it. He is Explo second. Yeah. How did Plasma not settle that Petra city and pick Petra for his wonder? I want to know that. I don't know. Oh, I, I think he's gonna lose this wonder too. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would, I would assume the same. This is some sad, sad game. This is oh, very we're, sad. I guess we're gonna do our settlements here. Uh, because we're building operas, so this is the Hermitage, Hermitage. settlements. Yeah. Alright, I I think that behind that I don't hate that build. No, I I, I I think it's better than like settling with Explo policy unless you're doing Lib Explo. And we are not working scientists because we don't care. No, oh, no. Okay, we do care. That would be a challenge game where you're not allowed to work scientists. At all? Yeah. I mean, you lose a lot of... Uh, you lose a lot of yields just from not working the slots, even if you just deleted the things. Yeah, I mean, that's... That's the point. That's kind of the point. That's kind of the point, yeah. Yeah, and then you're you really are trying for the scientist wonders. Yeah. <laughs> Would you rush Brandenburg's Brandenburg over schools just because you're not allowed to work scientists? <laughs> On like a pacifist game when you're not allowed to attack either. God, this sounds like a miserable game. Um Or like pacifist underwater or whatever. 
Yeah. Uh I don't know. Maybe? Because the, the sin benefits from... I mean, like, for the war benefits from Brandenburg are huge, right? Yeah. Wait, is... Hold on. Is, is Jack not engineering Sistine? Um, I hope he engineers it. He's not first to the attack, so... Oh, unless... Do we want to finish Alhambra first? Well, he got the tech, like, two turns ago. Oh. What? Huh? Hello? <laughs> uh, hello? Oh, maybe we're valuing porcelain over that. That, okay, I could get behind that, but we don't have ratio. Uh, we have it in eight, maybe in seven, if this Alhambra finishes. Do we have our guilds up? Looks like we have writers, but... Uh, maybe. <laughs> hmm. Not the artist one. Hoy, to, what do you think the answer is to that Hoy question? I, I feel like it's around 75 or something because... How long would it take you to otherwise get a bunch of cities with all of those buildings up and our seven pop? I think it's before 80 is when you would want to settle those. Could the 11 pop engineer it? Yeah, it could. Yeah, just barely, though. Just barely. Only reason I know that is because I've 11 pop engineered leaning multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, wait. Jack is going industrial. Uh, right, what? Huh? What? What is this not engineering system about them? I don't know. I mean, maybe we just want acoustics for dance halls? Yeah, it could be real. I don't know. <laughs> No, no, we are going to engineer Sistine. We just waited to make Plasma's life more miserable. Okay. <laughs> Why do we have three warriors in Zeo Land? <laughs> <laughs> We're really worried about Sue. Alright, um... Eco, okay, hold on. Is this the same turn? Or do Plasmas oh. get one turned on it? Oh, he gets one turned again. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Poor guy. Point? Poor guy. It's okay. He has a lot of pretty tiles in his cap. That's true. He didn't do Unity, though. And he did, like, Pagodas, but... I don't know. I don't like that. I don't like it either. Plus 300 gold. That's true. Happiness is going to be an issue if we're doing resettlements. Mm, I assume we can fix that by like building Circus Maximus or something. But also, if we're gonna do our settlements, we need to like send those guys out because the islands are really far. Mm -hmm. You want to buy factories? Is that normally what you do? You buy facts? Uh, I don't know. I don't do this build ever. I mean, if you want to make the make it super fast, but like usually your production is what is copying you, not your um, ah, not not your science. 
or your yeah science i guess mm -hmm. so and by production i mean the production for the stuff that's before uh yeah no i, I know what you meant <laughs> okay these cities will have such low fa slow facts that's true he really needed all thing yeah this is planned gaming mm -hmm. we, we have disciples we have to plant an engineer <laughs> what's one more plant you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if we spawn a scientist, we should plant that too. Yeah, Plasma was actually um, playing Mega that uh, he wants to get backseated by you this game. So if you have some ideas to throw at him, just feel free. He wants Mega to backseat him? Yeah. Oh my god, we are so close. Wait, we could could we get that down? Uh what sixteen? Sistine? Yeah. Oh. oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's why I was a one turn. <laughs> Duh. Ignore me. Alright, did we check Sue uh recently? Uh no, we haven't. Let's check Sue. And then we'll check um Uh, then we'll check Mel. Alright, what's going on here? I mean, the cities look decent. Yeah, it looks fine. I mean, at least, the, you know, they're working tiles. They have all their shit improved. Yeah, I, I Tithe, Rel Center, easy. Feed, Karma. But he did Commerce. Oh, live Commerce. I don't like that. Interesting. <laughs> Yeah, no, this no. City really does need help. Plasmus is not considered a new player. No, Plasmus is here because there were five players for the game and we didn't have a sixth one, so we just uh, put a bunch of restrictions on them. Yeah, chopping tundra tiles is definitely sad. Oh yeah, we we did chop all of them, but it's just hammers it doesn't like it doesn't disrupt our ability. To He's not working any uni slots. I mean, he he doesn't have any unis. No, in cap. Oh, I guess yeah. Yeah, the uni this city. This tundra city really should be working uni slots actually. This Tundra City is three pop. No, the other Tundra City. Why is it three pop? Because it got planted super late. Holy fuck. That feels bad. That feels really bad. <laughs> oh my god, I did not realize it was that low. It's like a fucking skirmish city. It is a skirmish city. Like you could double caravan it and still not go through all this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, we're not going Arties as Cuba. I mean, maybe we're going for the EU. <laughs> maybe. The, the Amphis being built don't suggest it. But you never know. I don't going to kill anyone with two of those. Look at Jack. Yeah, look at him go. Oh, freshwater mines. I like that. That is that is kind of based. A lot of people don't do that. He realizes... The part where we're working these mines over freshwater farms is something that I like a little less. <laughs> <laughs> Like I, I I don't like how we're one GPT on brewery. Well, we Whoa! Brewery. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? Yeah, we did that. Um, yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I like how we're working this mine over the deer, which is just two more food. Yeah, these mines are. Hold on, hold on. I need to. I need to ask him. Hey, Jack. Hello. Do you like deer tiles? Deer tiles. Um. I like them when I have the um the pantheon, which um gives them more food. Mhm. Mm Personally, I I'd much rather work a four food than two food three hammer when I'm just making these kind of buildings okay thanks i i can't i don't know how many hints i can give you know what i mean like that's my report card we need it i like there's just <laughs> uh, okay let's go to mel <laughs> not america brained love it what the fuck does that mean <laughs> that's my report card <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh God. Mel sculpture is uh, looking pretty decent for this lobby, or compared to other players in this lobby, but suffering. Which... Yes, definitely suffering. Half that culture yeah. is coming from Grand River. <laughs> yeah. Wait, we have our umpties. We have all of our umpties up, I feel like. Plasma's That's just messaged me saying to. he's here. Wait, Plasma's dead? Yeah. Uh, no. No. <laughs> I messaged, I said, did you forget what lobby you're in? <laughs> Spicy. You see spicy things. We're taking. Oh, I guess we're taking steel. Okay, that's not so spicy. I mean, we steel, steel is so good on this, uh, with this, yeah. with this land. Okay, gunpowder. Oh, now we're spicy. Now we're getting spicy. Okay. <laughs> oh my. Actually, Himeji Iroquois. That sounds like such a nightmare to push into. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's really not. He doesn't have that many. Yeah, and I guess they're in the wrong places. They're mostly in the back of uh, their land. Yeah. We are also hovering steam power. I don't know what that is about. Nor I. All right, let's uh, let's take a peek at Panda. It's been a little while since we saw him. It looks like he's killing Hi. a CS right now. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. We're minus six killing a CS. Um, I'm not even sure that. that Is this our first CS? CS? No, we killed Ormus before, in the other corner. Oh okay. Oh, and that's not even a luxury for us. The one in Geneva. Oh god. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know about this. And we are building our unique building, which is great. But it's not very good for staying happy. He's freaking out over Nikola Tesla. I don't understand. Spirit Trees, non-believers in shambles. I think Spirit Trees is really good on Columbia. <laughs> and that's kind of it. <laughs> I 
Uh, spirit trees can be good if you have good land for it. If you got, yeah, I mean, but That's it takes small. very specific land. Yeah, but Mel's land is not a spirit tree land. Panda crashed, looks like. Yeah, and their, their stream also stopped, so... An issue. Oh, well. No, uh, I guess you really want to also do economics on this, so, though. So, do we just wait? Because all of these forest tiles are going to give one gold. Which um, the turn's not rolling. Panda, did you close out of your game? Is he in the Discord? Yeah, he is. Um... <laughs> His internet would be really fucked all of a sudden. I can't, yeah. I can't respond. Yeah. That's probably what it is. Okay, looks like it's rolling now. Nope, never mind. Um, you did crash, so... Who's hosting, Kiko? Can you try kicking Panda? Mm. That's going to mean that the AI is going to make all of... Hello? <coughs> yeah, I'm sorry. It, it, it turns not rolling. So, um, Kiko, what I want you to do is I want you to press control S. Or just press save, like save the game. And now just press save. And now press save again. And save again. Yep. And this is called a double save. And what this does is it lets you it makes it so you don't have to um, hot join when you guys reload. So you got uh, put up a new lobby and then reload this game. Okay. Everything good? Yeah, you, I don't know. I just dropped for, you just for dropped? a second. Okay. Yeah. yeah, no problem. Again. Great. Is the new Roomba? Yeah. I'm getting an error, an error drone on here. Um, is everyone getting an error or is it just him? <laughs> Fire. Uh, uh, error. Fire Streak, are you in? I'm loading now. Give me a second. Plasmas, are you in? I am in. All right. Uh, yeah. Try to join on Fire Streak. Oh, don't green up. Don't green up. Don't green up. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. It uh makes people like get error messages occasionally.
Panda, are you joining? Um, yep. Is it just me then? That was the only figure name. Wait, my stream is bugged in just a second. No problem. Uh, I cannot join through Kiko. No, uh, just try okay. someone else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Panda's slot is AI. I don't know if that'll make a difference. It's nope. Different. It should be fine. Uh, should I close and then reopen Civ without doing anything or no? Are you still not able to join on anyone? Uh, no, I can't I'm... join off of Kiko, and I still can't join. Oh, you're still not in the fucking group. Oh god. I'm um, I'm in the group, but yeah, I but just you can't close down. Yeah, just just try restarting Steam. Okay. I have no idea what what's causing that. No, I've had this happen before, but I just need to restart all this. Thing. Okay. Yeah, then it's fine. So, how's everyone's game? I've never no. had so many wonders, yet felt so far behind at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My you... game's happening. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's I'm it's happening. Fucking unhappy. <laughs> it's, it's happening. It's happening. You're unhappy, yeah? You know, yeah, I am unhappy. If it makes you no, feel not better. The game. No, most not people the game. are unhappy. <laughs> oh, okay. It does make me feel better a little bit. <laughs> So Notre Dame fixed happiness for two turns. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You were. It was so funny watching you pick a religion. You were so lost. <laughs> you couldn't. Because <laughs> Mel took the religion you wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like everybody took uh, something that was good for white play. Mm -hmm. I guess. That like all I regret it. Bad. I, I don't know why. what was the big there if I may ask now uh, I don't even remember what you took honestly I, I think for you it was sacred waters and something like uh, church property uh, or actually no you still had Salat up you could have taken Salat probably that Salat sacred waters I think I did Thanks a lot. Oh, okay. And Jack, I loved your religion. I thought it was perfect. Now, I would have what, liked what you enhanced with what you enhanced <laughs> yeah, with was yeah. a little sus, but I was like, I, really did it. I was like, wait a minute. I'm like, you can work these the biggest grief was definitely fire streaks, but that's Oh, 100%. <laughs> oh, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Not only just for my pantheon when I picked camp food and then realized, <laughs> fuck. I, These I are teepees. I have teepees. <laughs> they are camps. It doesn't count. Yeah. Kiko was not happy that you took that pantheon. I can assure you of that. I don't even, I don't even blame him. Like, that was just so grief for me. <laughs> I took it in, a, like, a turn later. I went to, like, make a teepee, and I was like, oh, my God. What <laughs> Plasmas, any comment from you? I know you're unhappy, but <laughs> how did how did it feel to get two wonders blown up by one turn? Is that was that nice? What was the other one? I can't remember. I think no. I I, I stopped all things. Oh, you stopped I all things? Yeah, I did. Oh. I realized that my eight dogs were going to cut against the Liberty Spirit Trees. Beautiful. Yeah. No, I mean that city looks beautiful. So. I mean, mine would have been nice, I guess. Yeah, no, they both uh, they both women good. Uh, Panda, you're on Prince. Oh uh, no, I'm not. You're not. No, you're no, Prince I mean, No. You could try rejoining, but I don't think it's gonna make a difference. Oh, well, now you're immortal. Just sit, thanks. 
just zip things. All right, cool. Good luck, guys. All right. Um, that was funny. <laughs> Firestorms is having such a miserable time. Yeah, I, I mean, it's not surprising. <laughs> it's not surprising at all, but... I would be in that spot and I'd be having a miserable time, too. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I don't blame him in the slightest. Bring back to faith. No. Spirit tree's good still. Oh, let's go. Can you guys can you guys select uh, production and stuff or no? Yeah. You can? Yep. Okay. Cool. Kiko, are your actions going through or am I crazy? Okay, so Plasmus, can you hot join? Uh, my computer is too slow. It's too slow? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll, I'll, I'll hot join. I think what happened was because the turn was stuck on roll and then you did a double save, it kind of fucked up. But Can you move now? Kiko? Okay, let's hope let's hope it fixes on on hot join. Otherwise, yeah. Yeah. I, think I think he has to join, and when he joins, he fixes himself. Yeah. Okay. Can you? Yeah, you're right. you have two minutes. I am looking at this, I'm looking around the map with Kiko right now, and I'm seeing a lot of cities that aren't allied to anyone. Mm -hmm. This is probably something that they should work on. Yep. Just like completing quests, and Kiko should be, he was trying to delete a worker, and he has a road quest for the prince, which is I think, yes, so. Yeah, I think that's what he's doing right now with Palenki. Oh yeah, okay. Um, soldier, yeah, there are additional rules. Um, not muted. Um, yeah, no new CC, no war before industrial. I mean, I think there's some other stuff too, but for the most part, it's just it's just like normal rules. Be a decent human being. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, we the 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 prior precedent set that should that has to be a rule now. <laughs> Um, I mean, you know, Kiko's GPT is pretty good, right? Like it's, mm. f it's 50. It's not bad. Yeah, mm. I, I like it. I, I also do see like 
There's so many buildings in that cap that just aren't done. Plasmas, don't end your turn, just an FYI. Until everyone's done. You know, it, it looks like his production is kind of suffering, which I guess was to be expected with this start. Yeah. Game could have been so different if we got an earlier shrine. Hell yeah. It's actually bizarre. It's just the little things. Have you, man? That's, that's not necessarily true at all. <laughs> no, that is funny because it is kind of like that. But. I mean, be a decent human being. Oh, no. no water mill. That's a little suspicious. It does like it does happen a lot of these tradition games where you're like building things and then you look at your cap on turn ninety and I'm like, oh, we don't have a water mill. Why it, I, I don't know. I feel like that that shouldn't happen on this kind of cap where you're. It is a very low production. But yeah, but like that's why. Yeah, maybe. I mean, he's not working those mines, I assume. There are actually so few mines in Kifa's Empire. Mm -hmm. A little crazy. Oh, we gotta ask them to restream. Hey guys, can you uh, turn your streams back on? Mm hmm All right, let's take a look at Jack. That's true, Mega. This, I agree with that. It does not look like Jack's gonna uh, go anywhere. Yeah, he's got a he's got a GT to build. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, like, I'm looking at his favorite turn right now, and I don't even hate that pick that much. Like, we're buying these man beers reasonably quickly. The, the Jizya thing is a little... Well, it's only because he built the temples and stuff that the faith's so good. Yeah, but, like, it doesn't look bad to build temples to get those man beers up. Like, especially if everyone's just going to be sitting there. It's going to be already finished. Mm -hmm. Anyone? I, I agree with that. Oh, and it looks like we're going to maybe get a text seal of Falling Gate. That would be nice. Right, and we also learned that Huey is a thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a pretty good thing too. Hmm, if you have lakes. Just just one lake is kinda meh. Like everyone memes on hospitals how bad they are, while Huey is like worse than a hospital. With one lake, yeah. But it's also culture. With one lake it's still worse than a hospital. You feeling Jackson collect Mr. Food Man? Mr. Food Man is a contested piece of real estate, Mega. Mr. Food Man also has a spearman. That's true. I'll stop it. Yeah. Did you think about that one? Bucko? Honestly, the the two uh, the two Gilies probably kill Uxmal if you. Ah uh, no, actually, Maya has Great Wall. If it wasn't for Great Wall, they would kill Uxmal. <laughs> Hospital would. <yeah. laughs> you kind of just got shit on Koopa. <laughs> <laughs> would it be an amazing building? If it, if yes, it, it would. Yes, it would. Two hundred and one hammers. 
That's true, actually. M, like, what, three or four gold? Lucas would still build it. I mean, Lucas built it in biology, so. That's true. Uh, let's look at Plasmus. So he's getting his Hermitage up. Um, expectedly. Why does Plasmus have an unequal gear tile? Where? In Junju. What? There's just a gear tile. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's completely not important. Uh, he's also building the the guys. I I feel like he needs astronomy to get this those guys in place. Is Korea gonna survive the unhappiness of resettlements? No. Of course not. Are you kidding me? Learn about the I'm just kidding. I, I think he will. Expo is going to really give him a shitload of happy. It depends how many Luxes are on the islands he's settling, I suppose. But they do give like minus what, seven when you settle it? Minus eight? Something like that. Yeah, it's worse than India. Well, yeah, but they're getting seven pop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's a little different. <laughs> I mean, honestly, as, as India would be getting the same amount of unhappiness from our settlement cities. Yeah, that's true. If only, if only India was coastal. Do you think India would be better coastal? Uh, yeah. You can just click tradition as India on the coast and just grow. That's an interesting idea. Who are the best coastal civs like to get put on coast? It's definitely like Morocco and Prussia are the obvious ones, but Morocco and Prussia are kind of shit though. <laughs> Solex loves Prussia. That's the one in the like when we do our like reassignments on the tier list, like. That's what he's going to be really pushing for, I feel like. Uh, maybe I, like, I don't see any compelling, I don't see any values that Russia has, basically. Like, I, I don't know, like, I, I guess it can get plus one movement on artillery if you really try for it. But you get a triple promote them to do that. I think I think he just likes it for the consistency. Consistency of what? Like the trade routes he was talking about. I don't know. Where is this deer? Uh, in uh, the left left city, leftmost. Oh, the leftmost city. Yeah. Plasmus needs missionaries. Yeah. And that's something you can kind of afford to build later. You just need one, and then you can maybe buy the missionary out of the city you spread to. So it's like... Is it something that you want to just, like, have hog up your gold? Like, it doesn't seem like a lot of gold, but... The no, maintenance I You're just going to be sitting on this maintenance cost for, like, 10 turns. It's, like, 20 GPT. It's, like, like it's like 20 gold or something. I don't know. It, it's obviously not that big of a deal. He's at... 1600 I just don't want to click the button every turn yeah That's why doesn't he have this deer improve what because he has a blind spot for it he's also not working it <laughs> he's definitely listening <laughs> <laughs> that's okay yeah it doesn't matter what the hell wait did you What? Aren't you piety?
Oh, he he was double pantheoning forever, and then he didn't uh, play. Oh, <laughs> Steam. You're allowed to stream snipe. I don't care. If you've got enough time to stream snipe, you probably shouldn't be in this game. Yeah, that, that is the biggest issue that these players are usually having is the turn timer. Mm -hmm. Should we go to Mel? Uh, let's just start a fire streak and then go across. All right. Science on fire streaks a little low, but not unexpectedly. Culture is very low. And Culture is extremely low, and he's also not working uni slots and cap. Maybe he's too worried about growing, which I could see, but. We, we got oh my go. god. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. What work the fucking uni? Yeah, hello? Yeah, there there you go. What well, sort of beliefs would you pick for a resettlements play? Whatever gets you there fastest. It doesn't matter. Um it doesn't matter, like there's no religion for resettlements, it's just like piety religion that gets you to resettlements. Yeah, these cities are already good enough. Yeah, you don't need to you don't need to buff them up. All right. Uh, let's keep on going through. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Did we want to comment on this game at all? I mean, I feel like he's building banks in every city. It just seems kind of crazy. Uh, like you, what are we building these banks over? Because it seems like we have a bit of production time. I mean, to me, this is saying I don't have zoos yet. I mean, we don't have zoos yet. We don't but have we zoos. could have zoos. No? How? By I guess we didn't changing oh, we our didn't tech path. Tech yeah. <laughs> what do you mean how? Yeah. Okay. I I forgot that banks are at banking. Right? <laughs> I, my mind, banks are at like industrialization. Or yeah. Whatever. In my mind, they're after fucking leaning because there's no almost no reason to go there first. I don't know. I, do we have Circus Maximus? Probably not. Oh, wait. We don't have a Colosseum and it's a feature, probably. There's no way we have a fucking Colosseum there. It, it has, like, four buildings, actually. Like, well, It's it, more buildings than Pog, which it built a I don't workshop. know if that's where you want to be. But. It built a workshop already. That's not yeah, bad. It has a workshop, an aqueduct, a monument, and something else. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah, it just needs a little bit more pop. Just needs a little help. All right, next person. All right, Panda's going arty. Or no, he's not. He's just building a knight. He's going economics. We're above minus 10. That's positive. Um, I don't know about killing the city state, though. That does not. You know, I have a feeling somehow more cities won't solve our happiness problem. <laughs> yeah, that might be true. We're, We're building the zoos, though. Yep, we'll 
help with our happiness problems. That's true. And we're, we're getting ideas, so that, that will help a lot. Big fan of zoos here. Yeah, we like we have so many things built. I, actually, do we have Amphis built? This culture doesn't say that to me that we have Amphis built. I can promise you we do not have Ampies built. Okay. Yeah, I, mean, I don't really like I I don't like this player feeling more cities at all. Like we really need to like get our infrastructure going before we start acquiring more. Well, Moors. it's not that. To me it's like you're playing Moors. Like the whole point is to build not units. It's to finish building everything. On my cues. Yeah, we have so much infrastructure to build. <laughs> yeah. But incredible. Uh, also, did we never improved that coral in Toledo? I think he has coral somewhere else. I could be wrong though. We still never improved it. We could trade it. What did plasmas better. do? Hold on. Don't see what plasmas did. That would be. He just said, "Why do I have an unimproved deer?" <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to talking about Panda. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I I feel like the the biggest thing here is uh. We could have allied this, like, it's a strategic sort of thing. We could have allied the city-states, and, uh, that way, and we could have scaled with wars, and that way we would not have these happiness problems at all. And every game would be so much better. I mean, I agree 100%. And it's also, like, what what's Moore's really good at? Moore's is really good at building cities and then growing them into late game, right, with the Aztec bonus. So yeah. you, you catch all your cities up after an early game where you don't have any bonuses. And then post post that, you just uh, you grow infinitely with, with your castles. But what this is telling me, it's like, I don't know what I w want to do. And I mean, that's kind of the point, right? Like, they don't know what they want to do and i'm just gonna have like the happiness i'm the the growth benefit i'm getting from my building is completely mute so you know i don't even mind his play for going noter of all the civs to do it on it's probably one of it's probably fine on on this one because you're gonna grow a lot I just really don't like this play to go honor, right? Like, look at the cities that we took. Geneva is a triple stable, and then that's literally all of the time. <laughs> I mean, it's got it's got an iron, but that's the irons in Seville. Like, it, it it's a fine city, I guess, but it, it stops at ten pop, and then it's useless. I mean, Geneva is like the most fine of the. I mean, Geneva is fine to me because it's uh, it's a five CS. <laughs> I yeah. just, and like, then we just bulbed through two industrial like for no reason i mean for the reason we built factories yeah but we could have been building other shit uh we want factories though we want ideology really i i guess we don't oh right we lose our production bonus yeah so. like i i want to finish the zoos here you know uh yeah i agree uh, Morris food plus CS food allies would have been so good. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. now Bangkok doesn't have a unique Lux Ormus and Geneva. Um, Geneva duh. Ormus and Geneva have a unique Lux though for us. Um, and then port au Prince does as well. So we would have been able to trade away. And the interesting thing is because it's a Lux we have in our borders, 
instead of rather just two of the same luxes, we could have traded the perfume away and would have been for happiness, assuming we allied the Bangkok. So taking those four allies would have been 12 happiness and it would have been a ridiculous amount of food. Mm, yeah. Uh, are there any other things you would like to comment on of this game? Is that that's the only thing that really comes to my mind. Is this? Yeah, I days? I think it's like more of a strategic thing and like understanding how you want to win. I'm not saying like taking more cities is bad. It just like, like this does not feel good. There's no way this feels good to be at six gold per turn, <laughs> minus five happiness. Your science is good, but. You have no play after after this right now. The Petra engineer, yeah, the Petra engineer was also wrong, in my opinion. What yeah, I agree. I mean, Petra engineers. I I just don't believe in Petra engineers. Yeah, me neither. All right, let's move on. Um, Kiko. So we're we just engineered. Oh my God, he's at a hundred hammers. Oh yikes. Holy fuck. All right. The the big thing for me in this Kiko game was the, the Pantheon thing. I feel like. And that just kind of threw us off. Um later on I I think a lot of these decisions were okay actually. It's just this land's not very good and this is hard to play and uh Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we do have Defender, so that's something. And uh, hopefully we don't die. We're building barracks, so we are aware that there is a threat, and we're like, kind of preparing. So we can put our awareness. It's just this this sifts hard, this land's not great. There are probably some little micro things, but I don't know. I, I like a lot of this game. Oh. Maybe, oh, we built that QE. That QE was kind of bait considering the buildings that we don't have in our cap, I suppose. I, I, okay, I agree with that. If, if, if he had more buildings, like, in his cap, then I think it would have been fine. Yeah. But. I mean, maybe we are going to catch up on this build queue because we're going to buy factory and buy school or something. GPT um, is fairly low, though, at least for a commerce standard. Yeah, I mean, this game is not, <laughs> not doing that great. Yeah. I mean, we, we did spot that someone has chemistry. I, I like that Pika is doing this a lot where uh, they're checking the cost of that. 100%. And, uh, it, it, it's a very good heads up play. I think this is kind of something you, you learn to do um, when you get when you get more reps in and, and you start having more time in, in your turns. A lot of people that are going to be playing these lobbies don't have the time to do that. And and that's fine, right? Like, <laughs> wouldn't expect you to. But I think this is kind of like one of the next steps you make once you're kind of developing as a player. You, like, start checking checks. You start seeing, like, oh, this person, who entered Medieval? Who entered? What did they enter through, right? Like, those are kind of questions you want to be asking yourself when you're playing. And, and it's great to see that he's already kind of doing that. Even when his sim itself isn't, like, like stellar, it at least... He's he's caring about things that genuinely do matter, such as um, having the awareness of like when an attack might be coming and and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like his sim was very very good that that last game we saw him. It's yeah, just, yeah. The, this game is very rough, and I <laughs> I mean probably both of us would have struggled to have good sim on on this script as well, especially if. Uh, if we missed camp food yeah i mean that, that that's such an integral part of of what this start wants to do um i mean it's not even just that it's like the the thing about maya that's so crazy is like yeah it's a shrine but it's a shrine with first of all it's got two faith on it but then it's it pushes you through these texts like of all the sieves in the game to have this start you're you're not gonna have a, a relatively slow start, right? You're gonna have all the techs you need. Yeah. Yeah, we did not build the shrines uh, particularly, really. So that's also a downside of this. Yep. 
Agree completely. Yeah, but, but that's just the nature of the Civ where this is incredible Civ and also incredibly difficult. I yeah. can't stress this enough. Yeah, no, no, I agree 100%. All right, um, we probably don't really need to talk about what Plasma's doing, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do Mel. I like this. Oh, well, Mel's going. It looks like. Mel is ending this game. Hey, I assume that goes into Maya. Oh, uh, yeah, 100%. He went econ. What? I guess for the, the gold, but... Maybe to s help the build cues could be a reason. Oh. Uh, huh. What? Maybe it's... We don't have industrial... Uh, okay. What? I, I am very confused. Why? About this tech file. What's yeah, wrong? Like, well, we have chemistry and we have economics. And we're yeah. Going... yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess but it does generate money for us to go upgrade stuff. And we were struggling with money before, weren't we? So I, th there is a point to doing this. Mm-hmm. I still don't like it. I don't like it either. Our GPT, though, is very, very strong. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's just your way for you at this stage of the game. It is so good at just making random money that you shouldn't be having. Uh, do you mean from um, the the uh, deer, well, like from, the deer tiles? From or? the deer tiles and uh, the lumber mills. Yeah. I mean, the, there is so much value in having a, an upgrade like like Expo, um, like Treasure Fleets, because it gives gold to a tile that normally doesn't have any, which means when you get a GA, you're doubling the gold on a tile that normally would have zero. So it's, it's, it's infinitely more gold on a like gold for gold basis. If that makes sense. Um, but so I, I, I like that's like some a good case for for lumber mills in general, I guess, is because like normal mines don't have gold on it. But and, and it's one of the reasons why Hittites can make so much money because um, when they turn mines into they they turn mines into gold, um, especially in GA. Uh, Morris food uh, does science more cities though. Yeah, scientist does go up uh, by five percent per city, but you know normally you're, you're each city is generating more than five percent your total science, so it's fine or it's about even. Uh, plasma went Taj over pork. I guess no ratio. Yeah, Poland is cracked. Yeah, I mean those are exactly exact. That's like why Poland and, and and one of the reasons why Poland and and Belgium are so good. Exactly. Uh, other than that, about this game, I mean, I, I wanted the Copper City, but maybe, uh, maybe Mel is smarter than me here because the happiness was just such a struggle. I I, I would have settled that hundred percent. Yeah. Did did we count the Luxes though? Like maybe it's wrong. If you're one Lux per, per city, you can usually sustain it. Especially with like ceremonial and stuff, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 I wanted that city. <laughs> um. Okay, so we'll, we'll tune back in here in a second, but let's just jump to Jack real quick. Yeah, I, I'd like to find a final word about Nellis that he's been playing, playing really, really well. And I yeah. Really like that. Yeah. No, I agree completely. All right. Uh, Jack. Building a Gatling gun, I don't like that. Mm, 
Okay, yeah, for uh for Jack this is mostly uh, yes, Paul's mostly great. Okay. Um <laughs> this is mostly about working uh the food tiles over the hammer tiles. Uh these cities really should have been much bigger than they are. Yep. Hundred percent Santo there's no reason Santo de Cuba shouldn't isn't twenty pop right now. That city is insane. Yeah. We do have great culture in this game, which is worth noting. Like 173 is a really good number. I think he has his hermitage up. Um, yeah, but I mean, we built the unique building, right? So uh, that probably synergizes. And yeah, this is tradition of high honor five. That's kind of crazy. It's a lot of culture. A lot of culture. Uh, streamer panel when you guys get the chance. Thanks. Okay. Um, yeah, other than the the food tiles, um, yeah, we're still not working the food tiles. I, I really like this game outside of that. <laughs> Plasma said he well. forgot to save a plant for coal. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, like there's no excuse for why his science is so low. I'm talking about Jack. It's just pop. It's just pop. <sighs> okay. Um... Uh, you want to switch back to Mel? Uh, sure. I mean, who do you want to go to? Mel's about to declare. We can go to... There's, there's 88k in Mel. I mean, I don't think he goes... We could look at Kiko for one last time. Okay. Probably before the death arrives. Yep. Oh, we just bought factories too. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. <laughs> And yeah, we we completely are not seeing that what's happening. Yep. Tragic. Okay, Plasmas is uh, saying something. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is gonna save Kiko. It sucks. I I think Mel is Mel's is just um the, is the strongest player in this lobby except for Plasma, so I, I don't blame any of them for for dying here at all. Um, yeah, and Kiko had a rough game. Kiko had a very rough game, yeah. He is auto, so uh if he has any units, those units are gonna be really good. Mm-hmm. I am just kind of struggling on seeing the have units part. He also has defender, but oh yeah, he's not building any units. So I mean, I do. Yeah, he, he is in the in between three honor players. So top life. It is not looking good for our boy. He's been bleeding a lot with these missionaries just sitting there. Yeah. He's losing like 6 GPT <laughs> or something, which is nothing to scoff at. It's a couple upgrades by now. I mean, 
right, so you see my apologies to chemistry here as Tico, like, I mean, are we still taking schools? <laughs> It's a little sad, but I guess this this is what happens in these games where uh, this, these players are so new that they haven't seen those attacks and they don't know what the signs for them are. Yeah, he's checking, like, he's checking the text, full caravans. Or at least he was looking at that caravan. <laughs> Hopefully he noticed that it gives four signs. Oh, he's taking a scientist. Okay. He took a merchant and thingy. Wait, oh, I'm curious what he bulbs. I mean, oh god, he's so weak. Do you see that, uh, great wall bug? Uh, mm, oh yeah, a little bit. Oh god. Don't give him schools, Kiko. Why are we finishing this opera house? I mean, maybe this is... Honestly, this is not as... Maybe this is not as terrible. The problem is that like, if we can get those units out, these are going to be really strong. And we just what need units? the units. What units? He's not building any units. <laughs> He's building a pike. Yeah, we're building pike. I don't know. Do we have land snack policy? Maybe we can buy some of those. I don't think we need land snacks. But they they just get melted by Artie anyway. It, there's not gonna be any Artie for a while, I don't think. You wanna go back or, to Mel? Sure. This. Uh, it's Artie in two. Oh, okay. <laughs> Probably in three, actually. I don't see, yeah, I don't see Oxford. Mel is very unhappy, though. Yeah. I or know. will be. And he's going to be fighting into, like, a 25% combat bonus. But that is a lot of units. Yeah, I think Mel's making enough to end the game. Yeah, I okay. Yeah, looking at Mel, I I think this this is gonna just work pretty easily. Yeah. Uh, like the one worry that I do have uh, for Mel is whether he knows how to fight. It doesn't matter. No one does. Well, it, it matters a little bit because if you don't make this quick, uh, then uh, Kiko might like get some units up and get to the attacks and. Fighting into like a twenty five percent combat bonus on equal pack uh is gonna be pain still. That's true. Um what happens is I think Plasmus starts using some of his diplomatic abilities. Yeah, uh, Plasma has Plasmus has been talking to Kiko. Maybe he also gifts some units. <laughs> no, nobody said that that's not allowed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, and Plasmas is just saying build military. <laughs> Polinke is still gonna finish this factory, but yeah, not uh, enough. Are there autocracy policies that like help you immediately? No. Probably not really, right? It's like elite forces, kind of. Yeah, I guess that's. I I just I did include that, right? Yeah, I did include that when I said twenty-five. 
that's about yeah, it's it. It's almost like you'd prefer to be freedom to just have six guys. Don't say that near Ashwin. <laughs> Kiko needs I mean, to GA. Um, he's in a GA. He needs to bulb his stuff, though. I would agree with you there. Yeah, I assume he like kind of expects this to be coming. Oh, there is a merchant. Okay, that sounds good. Unfortunately, you can't get to Commerce 5. Like, if we got to Commerce 5, that would probably save us. You think? Mm, I think that's enough money where you can like buy units. And... I mean, I guess you need mobilization too for that to like, actually be enough money. I don't know, but... Koopa. I don't know if I'm sold on that. <laughs> Mel Sukhoi Gold also CS allied to him? Yeah. It was a pleasure. <laughs> and the salute from the person that's gonna murder you. Three hundred and thirty seven. Uh, Let's see if he does. And it's not like Plasma's gonna do that. Yeah. Yeah, no, Plasmas, you can't build that. What's Plasmas building? Barricada. No, I guess it doesn't matter that much because nobody really cares about it. <clears throat> what he should have done is have uh, Kiko build it. Yeah. Does he have Oxford? Is he is he just not using Oxford? Uh, I don't think so. His tech is queued up, so. I don't think he's going to be using any of that. This is a lot of artillery and not a lot of cav. Why are we building military academies? Uh, good question. We're honor, I suppose, and we're planning to go auto. But, eh. but we don't know if we're going to get it, and... They're so expensive for nothing. We should just be pumping calves. Or cannons. I mean, they're half off. They're not that expensive. Yeah, 
That's true. I like how Plasma's just like casually added what forty two pop to his empire. <laughs> you wanna look? I'll, let's look at that real quick. Is he happy? No, <laughs> of course not. I mean, he just added forty two pop to his empire. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's really difficult to be happy when you do that instantly. I wish he did. Oh, and one of these cities got a pop ruin. I wish he spread. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, he has more. Oh, God. <laughs> Terracotta yeah, clowns keeks it over the OG. Right Can you buy a CS or something? Is there any merit meritocracies? Mm, yes. I'm telling you. Probably go buy that. We're paying five x plus five order two when we do this, so pretty good. I mean, you'd prefer to be order free with factory science, but honestly, I, I'm happy with yeah. this. I'd be happy with this. Yeah. No one's piety. Except oh yeah, plasmas cause pla and plasmas can't build it. Yeah. Glossin, we need to fucking do that video. Classes, what the fuck, man? You don't have. You're just gonna get shit spawned on you. You need. You need a unit. God damn it. He's he's able to build one wonder per era. The exception was. Um, he was able to build two, two coastal wonders because he's the only coastal. Oh god, he did settle the Petra city. <laughs> oh, what a city. Alright, yeah, we should probably take a look at the war. Yeah, let's switch to the war. I don't know why we're still here. Alright! Okay, so this is a slight thing that um, I'd be concerned about. I'd point out is that uh, we let our cannon get slammed, and we really don't want to be doing that. Mm -hmm. We would really like to be taking the styles of Cav, and yes, these are pikemen, I don't care, cavalry slam pikemen. They're really good at doing that. Has anything happened? Uh, it just started happening. The city of Kikau is a little tanky with 76 strength and great wall, and we did not Oxford artillery. That is gonna it's 51 be strength, what? Problematic. Oh, it just bought something. Yeah, that, I mean, that is a lot of strength. Like, the cannons are gonna take a while to take it.
<laughs> Maybe did escape with the cannon. Two shots. Oh, God. Yeah, we really just need to push these things forward, uh, push these cavalry forward and try to surround the city and try to get like five or six cannon shots on it in a turn. Anyway, this city has like uh, 325 hit points, assuming it has a castle. Uh, and, uh, yeah, the, those were doing like 40 each. Mm -hmm. So you probably need, uh, I don't know, 12 cannon shots uh, to actually get there with the healing that's in between. That was like three turns. If we get a lot of them up. We should definitely kill that spear and then take that worker and uh, get cannon shots from the other side of the river too. How would you defend this? Let's look at Kiko. Um, hmm. Well, I would not defend Tikal. Uh, that, that's not going to work. So I would try to set up some uh, line of defense at my capital, but that's so rough because it's so flat. I mean, I like the fort on the bison. Uh, I think we do need to hold that. I don't know where the other holding point is. Um, or maybe... Uh, huh. Maybe we just hope that Mel does not uh, know how to pillage roads, and we just get to uh, build some uh, knights and then uh, cow and, uh, knights and lancers, and then upgrade some of those to cavalry, and then uh, just cycle uh, all of the knights through behind the cap and hope our cap can, can hold out for long enough until we can uh, lancer and knight slam all of the all of our opponents front line and actually take the files but that's very ambitious yeah like this this is looking really tough to defend <laughs> yeah, i will say i think it's doable yeah, I've I've seen. Uh, more it's just, I I. Unfortunately, I think it's more about the other person fucking up than it is you doing well. Yeah, and like, I think this would be much more defendable if Kiko like actually had manners. But mm -hmm. as it is here, we we really don't. I mean, I really like the forts. Like, you're not letting our opponent go past the city. I don't like the musket slams, though. Yep. I mean, I, I think people need to realize that, like, muskets are more of a stall unit than they are about a, like, return fire <laughs> unit. Um, yeah. These timings look somewhat reasonable. Honestly, exactly how new are these players? I think Mel has played a couple NQ games, which is um, definitely an advantage. Um, I, I Kiko played in the last one, and then Plasmus is Plasmus. Um, Panda's played a couple NQ games as well. This was kind of just a spontaneous game that formed today. So it wasn't like a pre-orchestrated one that I was really like watching. I, I, I think Mel had the best game, but it wasn't like so outlandishly better than everyone else. I don't know if you feel the same way, Kuba, but. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think Mel's game was like that much better or is that much better. Yeah. And 
it's like what it it was like a hundred a hundred and two calves like that's that's okay it's not <laughs> like it, it's great for a new player you know like this it, it's not like it's something that would win you in a new game a lot of the time even I do think Mel is executing this war pretty well, though, uh, as well. Sierra, uh, because Tifal will fall next turn. Sierra, you don't understand. Everyone watches my videos. So we all kind of, like, made a ton of comments about them mm -hmm. Oxfording. Uh, they're not going to Oxford like that anymore. Yeah, like, the, they're going to learn very quickly. <laughs> People are telling them what they're doing wrong. It's not like, you know? Yeah, yeah it's just like, like these people probably all played 10 to 20 uh, single player runs. Some of them, some US of them way, way more than that, man. Yeah, probably. Uh, at least 10 to 20. <laughs> And some of them like a hundred and uh, uh yeah uh, they they are practicing a lot and they're trying to get better Yeah, and uh, this is, again, something that we brought up the last time and something that uh, Mel is doing, which is saving units. Uh, it's really good. I will say, the last time, um, it was a little unfair for, for Kiko because he was kind of getting teamed. Uh, yeah. But uh, no, I, I agree completely. I don't know if they play the meta. Like we have a Liberty Commerce here. Did they just what what's the videos and like Ryan had a video on uh, what policy choices are popular and what you're supposed to play, right? So mm -hmm. they're probably gonna do that. Comboing these calves lands nicely. Good stuff. Is Mel just going to go artillery further? I think he think? should. And uh, if so, where? Is it to Panda? It's to Panda. It's definitely to Panda. And Panda has zero units right now. Okay, well, he has three, four trebuchets. This is <laughs> better than that. He's also like frail, super frail, and just get absolutely rocked in happiness. Let's look at everything real quick. So we're seeing... Um, fires... Teching schools right now. Jack is building his fax. He's teching schools as well. And then we can look at Panda real quick. Panda is also teching, is building his schools and teching metallurgy. Yeah, I. 
I'm kind of worried for Panda's position here. Looks to look at the Sioux player with decent science. 242. He's he's struggling. He's on the struggle bus. He got three settlers stolen this game. Yeah, it, it was tough times. It was it was tough times in Sioux land. Curious as to why Mel didn't Oxford. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I'd <laughs> say finessed. Yeah, I mean the the third the third settler steal was definitely more of a finesse. I I will agree with you on that. <laughs> abandoned. <laughs> One of them was abandoned, but we're, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. My cities were stolen. Maybe. Is that what's happening to Palenque right now? It looks like it. Hey, that's what's going to be happening about uh, 24 hours from now. What? Or maybe a little more, more than that in the... Uh... In these tournament games. What is Hawks is gonna have an aneurysm? No, I mean cities will get stolen back and forward. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we general. I guess we do have a general up on uh, our enemy, so that's fair. I don't think we need it to, though. Let's make this pretty quick. Uh, except for if that happens. Um, Good counter, General. Did... Yeah. Uh, uh, this is kind of wasteful, or it feels kind of wasteful now. I agree. But I, I suppose we'll be fine. Did I tell him to install EUI as well? Uh, no, but I do have a video going up very soon. Actually, let me just post it now. I, I have it already done. It's just how to install EUI. They're doing the hoist shake. At least it's not the Solex shake. Then we'd have a problem. Mel is smurfing. Mel, it, Mel is doing really well. I, I think if we do an intermediate lobby, they'd fit in. I think in the beginner lobby, they're a little, a little above the pack. But again, this was um, more of a spontaneous game. And I think I think it, you know, I don't I don't think anyone's ear. I mean, Fire Streak is definitely having a tough time. But, yeah, but like this is not Fire Streak best or Fire Streak's best for performance either. Yeah. This is, this is like like if you're a. Uh, When's the next Maya unit? Uh, one twenty two. That's it's a while. It, 
I don't think that's going to happen. Gotcha. Heal, heal promo, heal promo, heal promo, heal promo, heal promo, Kiko. Heal, Kiko. Kiko. He's got him. Good shit. How many units left? Let's buy some units. That'd be a good idea. Yeah, I don't know about this trebuchet. Okay. Nice. Mouse good. He's building a treb, though. That's a little sus. Just get him run over by a calf. Yeah, I mean, we just don't really have anything. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I, I think if he prepped a little sooner, not even that much sooner, just a little sooner, would have been a different... I, I think he probably still dies, but much, much more taxing. I mean, if we like, if we have pikemen, like at least pikemen in the forts in front of Kikau, like this is all the. We did settle Kikau very defensively, not very, but as defensively as it gets in that terrain. Man, look at Mel, which is like rocking around these cannons. Uh, this is. That, that's some skirmish technique right there. What do you mean? I, like, look at how he's wrapping around the cannons into, like, Chichen Itza and, like, around Palenque because he sees resistance on, like, the right side. He's just, like, pushing the units in. Yeah. Yeah. Like, this is really, really good technique. <laughs> Like, do you know these players when you like when you were uh, getting that uh, first game going? Like, did you? Yeah. So, the first game happened two weeks late, right? Oh. Yeah, because the week after we were supposed to do it, because we couldn't find a sixth, we were stuck at five. The week after we were supposed to do it was Easter, and then the last weekend was. Um, the EU, the first lobby. So the first lobby was two weeks late. Mel was originally supposed to be a part of that first lobby. So they've been practicing for a while. Um, who else was a part of that? I don't think anyone else here was a part, was supposed to be a part of that one, but a couple people from the last lobby were. Yeah, I mean, Kiko was a part of that one. Um. No, but I'm saying he Kiko wasn't supposed to be a part of the first lobby ever, like the, oh, the original right. first lobby. But yeah, If they are actually, like, if they put in the the time to practice, then uh, they're gonna be really, really good, right? Like, yeah, no, I mean, I, I don't. Not, like, no, it's not that yeah. hard to be decent. That's it, right? And that's kind of the whole thing I'm trying to prove here, um, is that there's a lot of people. I'm not gonna name anyone, but there's a lot of people that play in NQ religiously. And they play very poorly, but, um, and I, and I, and the problem is there's this like theory that the barrier to entry in Civ is very high. When in my opinion, it's not, um, when you're new, like a game isn't six hours for you. It might be for the other people in the lobby, but it's certainly not for you. 
So yeah. it the games don't take the time that people say they do. That's the first thing. And then the second thing is like you get like people that have like been playing the exact same way for literally years and they're just like not great. Like <laughs> they they do the same thing. They don't learn anything. They don't adapt. They're like weak players, but they'll bully new players out of the game and it's so toxic. So the whole point of what I'm doing is like, I just want those players to get shit on by a complete noob. And they're the, they, they have been, they literally have been. And it's like the greatest fucking feeling ever. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not talking about Sierra. You guys are crazy. All right, Sombrero, shut the fuck up. I mean, just like, I, I genuinely kind of think about these players and like if they play tournament games, I, I will be probably more afraid of the names that I've never seen before than the names I wreck, some of the names that I do. Not all of them, obviously. But... <laughs> Not you, Smooth, you fucking moron. I, I've... I've never said I'm not toxic. I have never said I'm not toxic. Gauss? What is that? I have no idea. Probably some British thing. <laughs> Probably some British thing. Yeah. That makes... That, that sounds about right. <laughs> Slang for someone from Liverpool. Oh, and isn't that that place in England? <laughs> Hmm. Among Us. Oh, God. That sounds even worse out loud than it does. <laughs> Among Us. <laughs> Among Us. So dumb.
funny enough, even like despite all of the things, Plasmus is probably gonna win this game. Probably. Felix is such a good position now. Just uninteractive. Hey, right, I'm big noob. When, when is my invite to be on your lobby? Smile. Shut the fuck up. Why do you guys want to play in these lobbies? Like, I know you're trolling, but like, I, a part of me thinks like you actually do. No, Jazz. When give me coach tag? Never. Smooch. Jazz, you could probably play in the intermediate lobbies. Yeah, Jazz, you could play in intermediate lobbies. <laughs> Why bully? <laughs> That's true. I mean, I actually believe that, Conrad. <laughs> I, I genuinely, Conrad. I actually believe that. Conrad, how about you? We invite you to the beginner lobby, but you're not allowed to build any units. Actually, yeah, that's a good idea. You can play in the beginner lobby, Conrad, but you you're not allowed to build any units at all. Except for workers, you can build workers and settlers. Okay, that's fine. So, I, he's reforcing him freedom. The only defense is a high city strength. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can only defend with city shots. Um, I, he can take foreign legions. He can defend with six units. Yeah, you can't build units, but you can you can you know acquire them through Petro or Austria. <laughs> yeah Austria <laughs> Austria. <laughs> no, you can't buy units either. That's cheating. I Honestly, actually, I'll make yeah. the exception. Conrad can buy units with faith as long as it's not Madagascar. You could, if you get to play Austria, you can make it as a challenge where you're only allowed to build scouts or whatever. All right, let's see um, Mel's position. Oh, what the hell? Oh, he's not. I guess he's trying to. I hope he got acoustics. So he doesn't steal that. Why the biggest issues you have to ban war before industrial? Oh, true. No, Conrad, dude, Conrad got like 108 labs in a tournament game before. What are you talking about? Like, he's not, he's, his sim is good as fuck. Yeah, when, when he knows how intercepts works, it seems pretty good. What the fuck? Why did my second monitor just, like, turn off? There we go. He got 108 labs on lib. Yeah, dude. Conrad shit on Achilles. Okay, well, we got acoustics from this gap. We can steal um, whatever it's called. Uh, we can still steal uh, architecture and schools. It's fine, it's not ideal. It's acceptable. Yep. Also, these Mayan cities don't have any happiness in them, so uh, yeah. <laughs> that is kind of rough for, for Mel. He really actually needs ideology for this.
don't know, Jazz. These guys don't really know how to war until oil, usually. Dude, what? GG, guys. GG. GG. Alright. GG, Kiko. How's everyone else doing? They're all, everyone's going land ships, it looks like. Yep. That's How are we stagnating this city on trad? Ah! Oh, oh my god. No. Can I make an expo with oil? Okay, so we got Commerce Order. Okay. We have Honor 5, Trad 5, Ratchet 1, Freedom 2. Okay. Plasmus is Order 3. Their settlements with 41 happiness. All right. Well. <laughs> and now who's winning? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Unlucky spawn. Uh, we'll talk about it after the game, unless you want to talk about it now, what you could have done. Um, we thought your spawn was a little tricky to play. Uh, I it, it was very clear you were unfamiliar with Maya. That is probably one of the hardest sieves in the... Kuba thinks it's the hardest sieve in the whole game. Um, it's hard to It's hard to disagree with that. So... We were a little surprised you wanted to play it, but. I, I mean, like, Maya is fine if you don't, like, Maya is a fine sif if you don't know that it's really good, because then it's just like, uh, yeah, that, then you just don't get that much benefit, but it's fine. Okay. Jazz, you are the only person that has said anything about that. Yeah. And uh, like the the where Maya gets annoying is um when you know it's really good and uh, you don't know how to uh, how to use it well. Like when you're not really getting the bonus, and you feel that, but you don't know how to get the bonus. It's just the feeling that it gives you the feeling that you're not playing it optimally because it's supposed to be so good, but it isn't <laughs> sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am always quiet. I, oh yeah. I, I almost believe that this is the way I speak other than uh, not just any anything related. I think to I have Kuba on 200% too. Yeah, that probably is true. <laughs> Kiko, I also just saw your message. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, to answer your question, Soldier, he definitely got a lot of his Luxes up, but it was mostly the policies he took. Yeah, I assume this is double happiness in order. What's the build order? I don't have like a set build order i just click overflow building non-overflow building overflow with building non-overflow buildings and i just let them be and hope the overflow works out yep because uh, you could probably min max it better but so much clicking it's not worth it okay it's for settlements i have a fixed order let's hear it Now, Jazz, the, the trick with uh, com it, the trick is you don't go commerce, you just play liberty and whatever honor or patronage or pretty much whatever 
and with order, and then you go land ship someone, and then you click skyscrapers, and preferably you, you land ship a commerce player, so that you take Big Ben, and then you buy stuff in their building, in their cities, and then their cities are instantly running. So it goes lighthouse, then shrine, then uni. <laughs> I'm not wrapping that. Kuba can wrap it. <laughs> I don't know how to wrap. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> so have you read Resettlements? I think you spawn with the right monument, yeah. Yes, you do. You wish you got cysteine plasmas? Yeah, probably. I'm sure you wish you got Arth uh, all thing too. That's how you get good uh, as you try things in single player. Oh, wait, we bought schools or whatever. Instead of stealing them, yeah, that's really bad. Maybe he didn't know we have that he's got schools. He's um, stuck on freedom, which is very good for the lobby. Mm, he's not. He just could like not click freedom. He just could. Why are we Why are we working all those one food tiles in Branton for not just? The... Did you see that? Um. Yeah, I saw that. Instead of the specialists, we were not paying attention. I assume, and the city grew while we were worrying. Dude, that's like six tiles we're working there, which is water. No, well, setting up for war is also time consuming. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> Sus. I, I love how Plasmas is like whispering now about Moore's being building grenadine calves. <laughs> is it that? In such a plasma thing. <laughs> hey, I know you're killing someone right now, but you should totally you know take what? care this of this building... other guy. Also, this guy is building the unit that's obsolete to your unit. <laughs> <laughs> that your unit just shits on. <laughs> I mean, they don't know that. Plasma should be forced to give Maya four islands. That'd be funny. Honestly, even if Plasmas did that, you'd still be winning. Yep. Probably. Let's do a pit stop. Let's check it, Jack. Jack's building his unit. Why why do these people always build um that unit? Like mill academies? The mill academies. It just doesn't make sense. I guess he's honor, but still. Well, yeah, he's honor, that's one thing. And like you don't um uh, I feel like you don't realize if, like, if you don't know the reason why barracks and armories are good, you don't realize why military academies are bad. Like, you don't, if you don't know their breakpoints, you don't realize that they don't actually give you a promotion. Mm -hmm. 
Because if they gave you a promotion, I'd be building now. <laughs> he's been stagnating the city forever, man. The city, he's, he's not working the fuck. That has a man deer. You're not working the luxes? Uh, yeah, uh, this. I think Havana has not been working the sugar, too. Guys, don't look. Don't look. Don't yell at my kids. Shut the fuck up. What is Plasma going for for settlement? Well, he can't battleship people because he can't declare war. He can't just like go to space. Mm -hmm. And I said that's his but That is what he's gonna do. It is a little hard to go to space under settlements because these cities don't spawn scientists in time. They do if it goes long enough. Yeah, but it's it's difficult to go to space under settlements. Yeah, I agree with that. The point is they can't touch them yet. Who's winning? Plasmas is winning, which is kind of cringe. Yeah, he should have done tourism or something. Yeah, yeah, do tourism or something else that's shit, you know? Yeah, that, I think that's what I would have done if I had to fill the slot. It's, I would have done some tourism and hoped that somebody kills me. Yeah. Let's see what Mel's gonna do. Think they're just gonna sit and sim? Um, probably. Uh, Kiko, I'll publish it after the stream. I mean, they're building schools. Usually, when they uh, when people have uh, going like keeping on going undermined, then. Uh, they would, uh, then they would keep on building units, right? True. <laughs> Let's see what Panda's up to. <laughs> Still unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> what honor policy do you think he didn't take? Um, I, I think I know. Me too. And I'm concerned it's that one. <laughs> oh my god. If he didn't... It, uh... I mean, I hope he didn't take this one, actually. Me too. But I, I know for a fact he didn't take the fucking happiness. I, didn't we see him take this one? Or was that the other person? That was um Jack. All right. Wait, why is there an island, like, next to Moors? You know, I don't know. Check Discord. The mongoose lives. What? What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck? He's in this game, Con. God.
Oh, uh, Panda is approaching the castle wonder though. I I hope he realizes that this wonder is really good. He's for got him. a he's got a he's got an NG. I hope so too. <laughs> this is the worker that Blasphus is talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I I'm bad. Con, please do a better job than me. What is going on in the sea event? I feel like I haven't been there for a while. Oh, Sue is getting dissidents. <laughs> the fuck? How? From 16 tourism? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, Sierra, is this, is this what you were hoping for? <laughs> Holy shit, there's no way, man. There's no way, that's real. <laughs> there is no <laughs> fucking way. <laughs> Holy shit. Nice mechanic. I mean, dude, come on. Nice mechanic. Like... <laughs> I feel like this is... Please tell me we have opera houses before we are voting these stock exchanges. But I have a feeling we don't. I can honestly say I don't know. King's Day and NG, huge, huge. Okay, okay, another tech steal chance? <laughs> Alright, let's check, uh, let's check Jack. Oh! Oh! Wait, did we just declare war? I, I swear I saw him declare war. He declared war on Maya, and now Maya's no more. <laughs> Suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He does have... Uh... Wait, are these also gorillas? Yeah, these are also gorillas. Just worse ones. Yeah, he was going for the fucking snipe. <laughs> yeah. He was going for the snipe. I mean, honestly, if a gorilla snipes the city, are you really gonna kill like, a gorilla? <laughs> I mean, I know, that's so funny. I mean, these are single player people. They like, they they are not aware that this is a bad thing. <laughs> Eiffel will make up for no hermitage. Is that right? Friend, ooh, ooh. <laughs> That that's that sounds like Khan's people. Ah. <laughs> 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 
I'll sell Mounties in my attic. Jeez. Yeah, kill Korea. This uh, this plasma guy must be stopped. Yeah. This plasma guy is gonna have land ship soon. Yeah. Actually, it's kind of hard to offer land ship on this. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Or does he plan on killing Korea while probably bringing units and hoping that the cities die? There, there really isn't much more going on than that, I imagine. <laughs> Wait, who made this move? Did you make this? No fucking way! Wait. <laughs> Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. That's so funny. This is good. This is great. <laughs> got two spies in, in Korea and he's getting both steals. <laughs> That's so funny. Alright, let's look at Panda again. Oh yeah, it's it's a big turn for Panda coming up soon, or maybe now. Or, wait, we're at 17. That, did we get the wonder? I honestly can't help. I feel like we had to have. I don't see it though. Can he build oh, no, it? We are doing. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no yeah. look at Mauricia what do you mean what happened look at Mauricia yeah we engineered that thing <laughs> that's an engineer See the part that that's wrong with that is that Cordova could also engineer it. <laughs> yeah, Cap could still engineer it. In fact, you could probably undo that, and the Cap would build it faster. You know, we'll probably get a fucking. Why aren't we working any unis or schools? I guess. Okay, I guess that's that's one of the cities we took. Yeah, that's actually fair to not work unis or schools. We should really like look at that 14 in Murcia and say that this is not okay and maybe it should be faster. But I guess that's where you connect your uh, your little micro things to what you're doing, which is. I mean, Mauricio can probably build this in like three turns if he changes his tiles. More like four, but yeah. 
Oh shit. Nothing's happening. Nope, nothing's happening. People are trying to team Mel. Are they? This actually kind of reminds me of the first game where uh, people were really focused on Kika, and uh, in the meanwhile, just. Um, who was it? Who was in the Netherlands? I don't remember it's what his name Gogula. was. Gogula. Yeah, the, that person was uh, simming away in the corner. And uh, just run, like, got to. Uh, Really high techs. Oh wait. <laughs> Did he just like get bribed and then immediately made peace? <laughs> I got bribed. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, this is this is the good shit. <laughs> my horses back. <laughs> Bribes with two horses. And now the no, the died. spy <laughs> died. No. <laughs> oh, it's tragic. And it's... we didn't even kill that fiery in retaliation. Yeah, maybe get a new fucking potato, bro. <laughs> Damn, these are all so laggy. All right, look, look, look at fire streaks. Fire streaks is just vibing, bro. We clicked labs. We're <laughs> chilling. <laughs> Nothing bad can happen. Nothing bad could happen. Here. I just love how we have dissonance. <laughs> I mean, honestly, we are going to buy all of the labs for 500 each, and it's going to be great. Dude, I just, I've never seen this before. <laughs> I've never seen that. I mean, you must have not played Liberty Commerce. This is how Liberty Commerce feels. Without Sistine, probably. Yeah, th like this is not. I, I don't think he's even playing this like particularly poorly. This is just like Liberty Commerce life. <laughs> and he's obviously slow because things happened. Things happened, yep. Alright. Um let's look at plasmas. Seven fifty science. That's pretty that's pretty good, I guess. I don't know. Pre labs. Mm, yeah, going go. He ended up settling that desert piece of shit. Yeah, I, I don't get why he settled it there instead of like more with the treasure fleet piles. Yeah, like on the hill or something. Maybe he needed maybe he really wanted the the ivory? I don't know. Nah. It's wrong. It's a free tech when it's there, and it's also an ability to general and beer cap. 47 happiness later, we needed the ivory. Yeah. Especially with that ivory that we have on an island, too. To push natural, duh. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I mean, we are pushing the natural. No Krakatoa equals ear. True. Jesus Christ, Jazz, not you too. Just pick the hammers. 
Let's pick the hammer so that's a good person. I'm curious what you think how you think this game is gonna end. I I remember how the last last one ended and I was just like any prediction that they make will be probably <laughs> wrong because it will be something stupid that happens. <laughs> Do you think they team Plasmus? Like, I feel like... I feel like they... they I feel like they will. And they've been talking about teaming, but... I don't know. Like, the predictable thing is they, they team Plasmus, they get obliterated because Plasmus is going to get lanes or whatever. But, I don't know. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, they, they will try to team Plasmas, it won't work, and then also something stupid will happen somewhere else. Which I am not gonna predict what it's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> My money's on fire streaks. He's got it in the bag. Trust. <laughs> Why are y'all worried? <laughs> Can I come watch? Haven't you been watching this whole fucking time? Let's see what happens here. We haven't looked at Mel for a while, right? I, I was on Mel for a little bit. Oh, oh, Mel is murdering. Oh no. Mel's murdering Panda. Oh, no, the Neusch. No, the Neuschwanstein. No. <laughs> Yo, thanks for the follow. Maybe they team Mel, actually. Honestly, from Mel's perspective, this seems like a good play. Yeah, we're just not aware how much science this wall of rifles is making. I feel like. He is not that guy. <laughs> Carpaggio, he is not that guy. Did Panda unqueue the, the thing? No, no, he's still building it. All right. What a chat. We've got this. We are building Hydro Plants in Mill Academy. So I don't know about that, but. <laughs> and we're going replaceable. What could go wrong? I mean, that's Gooey's. Pumpkin. I guess. I'm going to ban him if he loses this. Huge stake, huge. What's up, Romania? How you doing? Can we please build some fucking units? Now we need this noise. Actually, the, this attack makes noise finish quicker. Yeah, because they stand on all of our food tiles. <laughs> we reworked the tiles that we should have been working this whole time. <laughs> Shouldn't he just spam calves? Yes. Uh, one calf should do it. Building hydro plants while calves come in. Classic vanilla Civ moment. I mean, in the vanilla Civ, this was fine because you would get infantry and <laughs> calves suddenly can't do anything. How long have I been playing Civ 5? Not too long. 
like two years, three years, something like that. Yeah, I've been around for like way longer. It's been like nine years, probably. Boomer. Are, am I not like younger than you? You are. I'm 25. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind research lives in the tournament matter. First person to build a hydro plant dies. True. Yeah, dude. It's all it takes to win the championships. I'm telling you guys, it doesn't take much. Just try watching my videos. I, I don't think <laughs> I was quite 12, Jazz. I, but I was in like high school. I think I was in early high school. Can't wait to do Gao's Pokemon card. Dude. The ability has got to be Clausewitz. That's got to be the ability. Okay, cool. Oh, we're doing the thing where we're switching all of our CDs to production. Cool. Good deal. Good deal. It's like these people have never read Art of War. Cool. Oh no, the, the mice is not gonna finish. Why haven't we flipped these? Why haven't we flipped Chichen? I guess he. I guess he's just hasn't gotten around to it. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff to do. In okay, I have a question. In hindsight, do you think that him building or generaling in was actually worthwhile? Um. Not the first general, but the counter general, probably. Okay, I, I I would agree with that too. Yeah, it's, like the the first general is never worth it when they're dying so badly because they're gonna general anyway. Mm -hmm. You've embarrassed yourself. <laughs> yeah, Jazz. I don't know if you're gonna recover, bro. You're, <laughs> how are you gonna recover? You just just you're just done. You're just done for. See ya, idiot. <laughs> it's fucking over. Oh no, the grenadines are all dying. No, what? The grenadines? I thought they were good. <laughs> Dude, it's amazing how bad that fucking unit is. I, I don't think it's that terrible. It's Compared to a Lancer, it's not that terrible, right? Oh wow, we're really <laughs> we're really setting the high bar here. I mean, it's not worse than a Lancer. It's usable. It's just grenadine is good. You don't want to put it on the front line. <laughs> it's not a defensive unit. You're right. It's a chariot that gets shredded by the main unit. Why can't this man learn to press the B button? I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people don't know the hotkeys. Yeah. Doesn't like Azuso and Smooth Tilt? I, I think Azuso and Smooth Tilt will play uh, by pressing the all the buttons. By press without pressing the buttons. Uh no, with pressing like all of the buttons, no hotkeys. Oh, yeah, that's fucking stupid. Some might say that's even suspicious. Zero. I Never <laughs> use them, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, Zero. How's that point looking now, bud? <laughs> Zero, I 
wanted to press Conrad yesterday, and then yesterday he said that impies are bad. I was like, okay, I don't. Try yeah, to fuck, it. dude. Then we were raiding. We were doing a tier, our tier list, and Zulu came up, and Conrad goes, honestly. Impies are overrated. They're not even that good. <laughs> and everyone's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Who the fuck said this? <laughs> Who are you? And what have you done with Conrad? Like, I don't know. That was so weird. Useless anti-tank rifles. Are you high? Well, okay. Anti-tank rifles are a hundred times better than grenades. So true. Impies are overrated. They're not an expo. Yeah, I mean, so, he, something like that. He did say that he would rather go expos than impies. Yeah, that was sus. Oh wait, Eep just released a, a new thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I did not know that it was happening. I'm probably the only person, but... I'm sure most people in chat didn't know. Oh God! What? What have you done? What? <laughs> oh wait, Bolivia's like fucking not garbage anymore. I like that. Fine, we'll look at it on stream. Yeah, I'm, I'm just excited. <laughs> All right, the main change this patch is the way text deals work. And I, I think this change is very needed and very good. Um. Okay, so I still get to steal tax. Uh, uh, so I still get to steal electricity for free when I murder the freedom person. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Come on, we're not, we're not, we're not animals here. <laughs> yeah, and then seventy-five percent of replaceable too. Mm -hmm. All right, that's fine. Um. They made it Vietnam is not bad. Uh, or it doesn't end the game. I, I actually kind of like this Italy change. Um, yeah, City of God got changed. I think that's really, really important. Oh, okay. I'm not that far in. Oh, wait, you can't. Wait, you can't first move anymore? Yeah, I don't know how that's going to work, but. We did experiment with that a little bit. But... The honor change okay. is also very needed. This was definitely a good good compromise compared to what was. Arvius is. You know that Arvius is going to do an OCC hero, hero epic shit with. Yeah, this. for sure. But. Um... I mean, this is much better than the alternatives. I can promise you that. Probably. Um. Wait, Viet Congs are impies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're impies now. Oh, that's funny. All right, I like that. But yeah, um, I think it's, it's a small patch, but I think it's good. A lot, most of it's bug fish, fixes and shit. But the, the honor change is huge, and then the uh, the text deal change is huge. So it, it should make tournament a little more hey. interesting. Hey, wait, this, oh, how does it doesn't have any specialists? It makes me sad. That was like the cool thing about the, the building. Dude, City of God, if that original thing went through, 
Oh my fucking god. What was the original thing? What it is now, but you also get a free profit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was about I to... am interested by this city of Nord. I think it's pretty good. I think it's a really good um like it and Apo do different things now. Yeah. And, and I think that's good. Yeah, I, I like that a lot. Like, I think with this you can have two genuinely good religions, one with like more profit planting stuff with City of God and Messiah, and then you have can do Apo where you don't take any faith gen and you do like a lot of the like normal sim type shit. Yeah, I was released I, I today. Like it was released like two minutes ago. Oh, and engineers are removing railroads as fast as that. Cool. <clears throat> so. But yeah. I think it's a good change. I think it's a bunch of good changes in general. Oh, and you you will miss less policies with honor. That's cool. What do you mean? Uh, the game will actually send you a notification when you get enough ultra mid mid turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's kind of stupid that he's running through Panda here. I know we haven't been talking about the game at all, but... Yeah, all right. What's going on? Um... Oh, uh, we got Prora. We did get Prora. We got a lot of stuff. We got a city. Yeah, I mean, I expected that to happen. Ooh, Iron Fist? Wait, was it Iron Fist? I thought I clicked Total War, but I could be wrong. You wouldn't do Iron right. I, 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 I mean, I, I, mean, I know he's... Very it, Iron Fist on Honor is very suspicious. I'm pretty sure it was Total War. This is so annoying when you're fighting a, a castle sieve, or like, these cities actually don't die to artillery instantly. I mean, they do. Not in, They don't die in one turn, but they'll die in like three. Yeah. But it, it, I mean, it, like it is, it's, it's significant enough that there. like, it'll slow down the attack where the guy could actually potentially build put units in front and not let you cap it. I, I feel like it's one of those things where it's good against people that aren't that are that, like people that are kind of trying to hit you really fast with not many units. Yeah. Tell Plamison to sell buildings. What? Turks, your guy is winning. Are you proud of him? Yeah, I agree. This guy is good. Yeah, I, I would. What I'd love to see here, and what I think a lot of, but this is something that only very experienced players do. From what I've seen is uh, starting to build up a navy uh, for plasmas from all of these coastals. Is like, if you build like twenty uh, frigates and upgrade all of them to battleships, it's actually kind of hard for the coastal guy to deal with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially because like the coastal guy usually doesn't expect it, and like you're, he if he has boats, they're all with wrong promotions. So it's like it's really annoying. By 
suddenly you're fighting someone that has like 50% combat boost on you. It's really scary. Agreed. Agreed. I mean, we're we're pretty close to to land ships. You know. Yeah, I I wonder if if Mel just like swoops them out and then goes into plasmas. So he can't fight like plasma. He can't kill plasmas, right? I mean, I don't know. I don't think so. I think plasmas is gonna have much better tech. He's gonna have planes and stuff. I mean, it, let's just it hope. It depends how many generals he gets. I think. Like, plasmas he... is at nine hundred science. He's going planes. Yeah. Okay, that should be good. It was like if you general into plasma six times or something, then you can do it. That's true. It's very true. I think he can kill another two guys. I think he can kill both Sue and uh, Cuba too. I mean, Plasma shouldn't be in this game, right? So... In that regard, yeah, he like did win, I think. I mean, frankly, Mel is playing extremely well. Like, I, Ooh, I three tech. What do you get? Oh my god! No way. First of all, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Yeah, it's dumb. Just let him do it. Yeah. I love how Panda just like throws the phone line that side and just throw it. It's so funny. And the part where Plasmas is supposed to not attack is actually kind of relevant because he can't just like... Yeah, he's not allowed to declare them. war. Yeah, so like Iroquois really can pick uh, their movement here. Obviously he can't wait too long because Plasmas is just gonna go to another planet. Mm -hmm. I mean, ve no, very relevant. Like, Plasmas doesn't need his cap to win. Uh, well, assuming like, you're assuming that um, Iroquois doesn't hold all five other capitals. Which yes. he might. No, I mean, I think there's a good chance he does, but I guess we should probably check out how Jack's doing. Yeah, let's um, check Jack. Oh! Oh! Oh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> we completely missed that. What the fuck? <laughs> this is a great play from Jack. Because he gets he steals all the way up to labs. Oh, Pr yeah. Pretty much. Does Firestreak actually have labs? Sleeping casters? I mean, there's plenty of stuff going on. Yeah, we needed to talk about that mod release. That was important. At least for me. He's not Russian. What the fuck? Modern release does look really cool. 
I think it's definitely a step in the right direction. All right, I guess. What do you guys want to watch? Do you want to watch Mel or do you want to watch this? Love to give some love to both, but I out of the we, we saw Mal fighting a lot already, so I think uh, Jack also. Yeah, I think there's, this, there's this is going to be more entertaining. Yeah, and Jack wasn't listening to me about having three ranged units, so I I don't know why do we only have four artillery, but <laughs> mm -hmm. it's fine. Oh god, volunteer army. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Alright, just just slam these gorillas into cities. Come on, bud. Do it. You don't need artillery. <laughs> uh I mean, how much do they think you think they do to the cities? Probably uh, like a lot, a good bit. Yeah, <laughs> dude, fucking Gatling versus Gatling fighting. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> you only see this shit here. I swear. We have four artillery lined up on that 34 strength city without a wall. How long <laughs> do you think it's going to last? <laughs> hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Probably like two artillery shots. Let's see Jack's perspective. They're not even good for defense, they can just be annoying. Like, very specific land with, if you have, like, Toa or something, they can be good. But, for the most part, they're just pretty shit. What do you invent? I mean, this is. I'm going to answer something really cringe here. You def you use already cap. Or it's, you get land shifts. Or, or you get land shifts or planes. But that, that unfortunately, like, like nothing can really stop already cap unless you have something with a very large tech lead. Yeah, uh, rifles are also kind of useful. Like. Rifles swapping and ports. And it use. the the main thing that beats already cav is superior sim. Um, because you can definitely out hammer it. As long as you're like getting you're you're killing their front line and eventually they just run out of front line because you killed it all. But other than that, yeah, there's not much you can do. Pikes are like as good as Gatlings though. No, not for soaking arty shots. Because you can get double cover on uh on Gatlings and then they'll fortify and they actually have really high combat strength, so they're they're a quite good defensive unit. Um Don't Gatling cost like more than cavalry though? Yeah, they're, they're, they're that's the problem. I mean they're super fucking expensive. Yeah, they're they're so inefficient. It's just like they're, they're they're not bad unit, bad unit combat strength wise. It's just really expensive. Uh, 
All right, I want to see it move smooth. was necessary for the call. <laughs> Bummer sacrifice. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, you can read Solex? Jeez. Hey. I don't know. Why, you Why do you Solex? care? It seems great. Why do you care? Like. This is just. This is such an annoying UI thing that you didn't see it. Okay, so like, well, you're the only one, so uh, you can shut up. It's like a, it, it's such a small thing, man. Like, who gives a fuck? Yeah, I I like quality of life improvements. I like how uh, Jack is getting 400 culture for Jack, by the way. Yeah, almost five. Yeah, it's like... Uh, he needs an I excuse to sell like shit. freedom, but... I would love to like make a script that micro cities perfectly for me. I'd probably get banned for it, but <laughs> that'd be such a good quality of life change. What do you mean? Fire Axis made one, Keck. So, how does Jack win the game? Um, have uh, May have Mel fight uh, Plasmus for a long time, and uh, then just like kind of push him out. <laughs> Seems like a terrible answer. Or maybe join in and then like, <laughs> kill Plasmus. You can't kill Plasmus, though. That's the problem, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you can. Uh, how is Diplo looking? I don't know. Can, I don't is think there anyone, a way? I don't think anyone has any CS. <laughs> 
Yeah, so you could think about that, and maybe there is a way to sneak in bit low, like build oh, all of that. Oh, here, up. Plasmus is going uh, to start taxing soon. He, he can't, still. Why not? I was allowed to declare war, unless Iroquois declares on him. That is true. I think, I think these are defensive units. I mean, isn't Plasmus, like, of the biggest Gao clan, and Gao would have defensive, the clan with defensive units here, so... Probably. Yeah, this is just the, the Gao school of thought. He can't, but he can defend himself. I'm falling asleep. <laughs> Yes, his 40 happiness disappeared. That means he grew for all of it. <laughs> oh no, he gained 40 pop. <laughs> <laughs> what a disaster. Yeah, that sucks. Great Mosque is there, but he's not allowed to build it. It, was, it yep. definitely was fast. I mean, the, the explosives grow every three to four turns, and if there's like ten of them, you know, yep. uh, you do the math. It's pretty stupid. He's not allowed to build wonders. He's allowed to build one wonder per era. So... Yeah, 1k signs and 11 is no ratio. It's a lot. I wonder what his pop is. Can I? Let me see. Let me ask him. Yeah, also, the Korea is really good at this shit. <laughs> yeah. A little too good. And he has so many circuses and coliseums still to build. Two hundred pop. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> it's good. Some good shit. Oh yeah, Panda did say that he needed to go, like, soon from now, I think. He asked if it was going to take six hours, the game. So we're five. We're, we're, we're in five. So... Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Yeah, I mean, he's completely dead. You don't think the City of God change will last? Maybe. Maybe the numbers are a little too high. It used to be 5. It's 9 yield now. It is bad yield still. Food is not bad yield. Uh, faith is a bad yield. Faith is, science faith, is a meh yield. Faith is a bad yield. And science is also a meh yield. I agree with you there. 
And also, like, food has strong diminishing returns, right? Yeah. See, if God is broken. I mean, what I... What I do think uh, is going to happen is there's going to be a bunch of Vatican and Madagascar players in these games, and I'm just going to click like Maya, and I'm going to beat them to religion every time. <laughs> Take City of God. He just told me, apparently they just put up fucking World's Fair. Oh, exciting. That's so stupid. This is why you don't build your fucking <laughs> military academies. True. Fair point. Very fair point. Everyone's coming. <laughs> Blame passes, yeah. Yes, plasma stream sniping. No, I just I gave him permission. This also isn't an NQ game. I know. I'm talking to Gal. Oh. Well, you can ban him on your own, uh, Gal. Yeah, you can ban him on your own. Oh my, wait, I just realized Plasmas is minus 19. What? No, Plasmas. Uh, Panda. Plasmas is not minus 19. How is Panda minus 19? He's lost so many pieces. <laughs> what? I don't know. Why does Ashwin hate here. freedom or honor? Definitely freedom. He 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 has the highest win rate on honor, man. Yeah, Ashwin is a, every proper NQ player actually likes winning. <laughs> I I know he doesn't like it, but he 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 re, it he doesn't like it. Yes. But I can assure you, he doesn't like honor. He doesn't like freedom more. Now, I want to see you playing some freedom in the tournament. I'm looking forward in to my this. lobby, ideally. <laughs> Yeah, uh, complete freedom. Oh, is Sue dying now too? Oh, they, he just died. God damn it. Yep. This is the weirdest war. There's literally a crossbow standing there. <laughs> I think with the spoils nerf, freedom got a lot better. Yeah. I don't. I I don't think I agree. Why not? Because I can still go land ship and steal electricity and replaceable. That didn't change. Dude, who gives a fuck about that? Come on. <laughs> I mean, unless you're going land ship with freedom. That was a. 
game yeah. that ha- that 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 definitely was a game that happened. Yes, I I would agree with you there. I w- <laughs> I would love I I don't even know what to say. Your game was so it was a game. I... <laughs> it was a I, game. I yeah, I, I'm definitely so a different, definitely a different type of game compared to the last one you played. <laughs> yes, you did. You did lose two settlers to barbs. That did happen. Yes. Definitely a lot different than your last game. This guy is teching optics. God damn it. <laughs> My religion was awful. First multiplayer liberty experience, and yeah, it happened. Yeah, okay. Dude, if it's your first fucking liberty game, honestly, it wasn't even that bad for multiplayer. Yeah, it just. It happens. Yeah, like you, you make one mistake, and I we did. It wasn't like the the Kiko thing with uh with the last game either. Like we didn't expect this to happen. It was just like a random barb in a completely random spot that stole one of the settlers, and then everything fell apart from there because that's what usually happens. Because you, like you tend to panic when you lose a settler. Yeah. Very normal. Understandably too. Yeah. Yeah, you saw. Um, you could have asked the other guy to return it to you, which is definitely a thing. <laughs> you can't. I mean, you can get carriers eventually. I mean, you're, this, you're eventually going to need carriers. And honestly, yeah, build up planes over there and depending on how much oil you have, you might need re- you might need refrigeration, but and then there were three. Did you? Okay, so it's turn one thirty two land ships, I think, because he just got oil. I don't know if he's got combustion yet or not. Hmm. Well. Did he Oxford? He still has Oxford, right? So he can have it. That's true. Actually, we didn't see him queue up Oxford. Uh. Well, no. You. I mean, if you don't see anything over there, you have to have an escort unit. You, at the time, you had a spear fortified just in Narnia doing nothing. So. That was kind of the mistake. Um, it's like, so. I you Your land wasn't very good for Sue. Again, I would not, uh, like of all the civs to play, like Sue is very hard, similar to what Kiko is going through with Maya. Like Sue, Sue very much changes the way you have to play the game um, where it's not very intuitive. Like, for instance, an obvious example was on coconut there is just 10 times better than everything else. Um, there is a good case to make where you move your cap onto lapis so that you free up a TP in your, in your cap room. So there's, there's a lot of different things you could have done. Um, we talk extensively about it. Uh, I think you're, in terms of like your recovery, I think after, after like all that stuff happened, if you ignore like, the first good bit of the game, I think you played pretty well and you were simming out and you were, you know, I I agree with you. I think going labs was the right play because at that point you didn't have a fucking choice. Um, and there was the only chance you won the game was to go labs. So I actually kind of, I actually kind of like respect that play. Yeah. Like the, the mid game, 
definitely recovered. Your pop was comparably well. It well outright it was comparable to the rest of the lobby. And I mean, no offense to you, but that should not be fucking possible <laughs> with what happened in the beginning of the game. So um, I think I think you did you did a good job coming back. Um, you you you're, you know you were building the right buildings. You were improving the right tiles for the most part. I think. You know, you did a good job there, but... Oh, yeah, you did chop Tundra deal, though. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's the other thing. We, we talk a bit extensively, but never chopped Tundra deal, never chopped hardwood, uh, for the most part. Yeah, I, I in my guide, I say chop everything, and... Look, I, if you're going to chop... If you're, either, if you're either chopping everything or nothing, you always chop everything, in my opinion, right? Like, but... Um, that's not how it works. So you you could have, you could have picked something else. You could have you know not chopped everything. I, I again, I, this, these are small things. Yeah. I think in general we all, we can all agree you played you played out of your position well, um, much better than we would have assumed. Your early game was atrocious, but you did a good job coming back. And you know, like you got unis. Or no, you got like factories at like not a completely terrible time either, which was like, you know, like, it, I mean, surprising compared to how well some of the other players were, were, were doing, right? So, yeah, I think, I think you did well. I, I think everyone, I think everyone in this game, compared to like the last game, I think, um, I think everyone played, played pretty, pretty, pretty well. Um, so I, I, w I was impressed. And then, you know, I mean, Plasmus being in this lobby is kind of stupid because Plasmus obviously has a lot of experience. Um, but, you know, M Mel's been playing extremely well. I think Panda had a good game. Jack, if Jack is conceptually like doing like some some of the right stuff, I think he's just he's failing in some of the parts that you actually excelled in, right? He's failing where it comes to growing your cities and building the right buildings. Um, but he, he's doing a lot of like the macro stuff, correct. And stuff like that. Is there a VOD for this? Yeah. I'm going to post the VOD on YouTube and I'll make it available on, uh, on Twitch as well. So, Hopefully it's helpful. Yeah, Jack is a hammer monkey. That's for damn sure. So. Yeah, man. Damn, plasmus is a lot of oil. <laughs> yeah, then, then we just we just go like straight to fucking carriers and just set up a ton of carriers, and it's impossible to push. Yeah, carriers, B ships, planes. Yeah, plasmus won't re plasmus won't resettlements. He's cringe. Yeah, you you. It's a reps thing, right? And I, I've been told to make a guide on barbs and stuff, and I think I think one is definitely necessary because it's undoubtedly one of the most important things about the game is understanding like proper barb management and um, like how to use your units more efficiently. Because those are kind of things like you watch on stream, like if you watch me stream or something, you won't realize. And I, I won't even be thinking about it, but like all of the different things I'm doing with my units that aren't intuitive um, or, you know, maybe they're, they're intuitive, like after the fact. Um, but things that kind of help you navigate the early game a lot easier and a lot more efficiently. So... What do you want me to do? I don't know. I want you to not... Def You're not allowed to declare war on anyone, so... 
somehow you got to convince them to kill you. But is plasma allowed to war AI? No. What? No, I, I, I think resettlements was the play for you, 100%. That was probably the best play. Ask for ear. I don't think asking for ear is good because then Mel just wins. I, I, I like I like the fact that Plasmus is in this game. Like, I, I think it makes a fun end game, right? Like, if Plasmus wasn't in this game, Mel would have just already won. And, and that... Uh, Yeah, I don't understand how Plasmus' GPT is so fucking low. It's actually kind of bizarre. But, um, no, like, think about it. Like, I, if Plasmus wasn't in this game, and then Mel, Mel, Mel is clearly the player with the most experience other than Plasmus, right? Like, I think everyone else in this lobby um, is genuinely, like, new. And, but Mel, Mel has played, like, some games, right? And it's not so like there's a big skill gap I think in the lobby. So if Plasmus wasn't here, they just run away with it. But now they have to play differently than they would normally, and I, I think that's good. Not just for the whole lobby, but like for them individually. Yeah, plasma streamer panel, please. You all want me to go labs. Yeah, you need more money, dude. Like, yeah, your sim's good relative to the lobby, but you, you, like, if you're in a real game like this, you're, you're fucked because you have no cash. Yeah, like these explosives actually need markets, and they want banks too. Yeah, I think you're building units too early. Let's check on Mel. Okay. <laughs> Best friends. Wait, is he playing? Is that refrigeration? Uh, that is refrigeration. What did we declare war on? I don't know. Uh, if I was Mel, I don't think I want to be teaming up with Kuba, though. I think I want to be um, killing, killing them. Um, I mean, I don't think they realize how weak Cuba is. Yeah, that is fair. So. And, like, do you have all the time in the world to flip these cities? I guess they both have oil, so you probably want both of them. Well, actually, you probably liberate part of France because it still gives you the oil that way, and also gives you more money. Because 
you can tribute it immediately. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. Need Valencia for a border of Cuba? Yeah, maybe. Uh, you have a border, though. You have a border at the... Uh, whatever city. The Maya city that you took. And it's actually a good border because it leads like straight to the cap, too. Right, and if Mel is actually getting land ships into it, then you probably do have a game here. And I, he's not building triplanes, though. He's just building bombers. That that's not good news. He is flipping all of those cities, actually. That is an impressive amount of micro that this guy is doing. Yeah, I, I love that. Like, it is so hard to like, find time in your turn to flip all of, your, all of those cities when you're finishing off a player like that. The problem that we're going to run into is there's a bunch of ironclads uh, sitting right on the uh, Iroquois borders. And uh, yeah, I I don't know how are you going to deal with your cities being blown up. It just does not sound very good. We only said that Plasmas is not allowed to declare war. Uh, we did not say anything about taking cities. Alright, we need more oil. Okay, we have a little bit more oil. Maybe that's good enough to have 11 now. We need more roads there, though. And we need to buy that forest style because that's a road. Does dropping nukes count as declaring war? Yes. 
How is game going? Uh, the game is pretty interesting, Ashwin. Um, we um, uh, we had Mel seeming really, really well on Uruguay. Uh, we had uh, Kiko on Maya uh, get artilleried after he found out that Maya is an incredibly difficult sieve to play. Uh, Plasmas was not allowed to build uh, more than one Wonder for Era, not allowed to declare war. Um, oh, I would li would have definitely liberated that over puppeting it. All right. I'm uh, back. Yeah, he did puppet this. Yes. Um, and uh, what else? And uh, we had Jack uh, kill uh, Sue. Uh, just. Easily, uh, with artillery, yes, yeah, not liberated. Kind of sucks because we really need happiness now. As uh, as Iroquois, yeah, this this is gonna suck. <laughs> This is really gonna suck because I don't think Uruguay has any uh, way to fix this happy right now. Or maybe with this policy? I guess you can get the constabulary and police station policy. It'll be fine. Uh, how ready is Plasmas? Mm, yes. Plasmas is very ready. Yes. I mean, these are rifles. Uh, and Plasmas does have no money. So, uh, maybe? Like, maybe this isn't completely over. Especially if he's gonna get the... Uh, hit from the north, too. Yes, yeah, he has like eight, eight to ten battleship upgrades. I don't know if he has merchants. Yeah. Uh, he he actually was in here for a bit, and he said that uh, these planes actually can't get rebased until he gets carriers because they're so far away. <laughs> Or he gets real bombers. Yeah, real bombers get there too. Plasmas is also unhappy. I guess that's why we see him reworking all of his styles right now. Fifty-four. Yeah, he's at fifty-four. What the fuck? Fifty-three GPT. Yeah. I hate that. Like, that's. Like. Yeah, if you. If Plasmas is playing against strong players here, this is really a problem. Like, he can't upgrade these into infantry. Nope. These are gonna stay rifles. Oh, he has a merchant, right? 
And he's just allied that CS that's on the border too. It's actually really good. I mean, it's barely allied. He can't tax. He can't declare war. I mean, if uh, Iroquois declares war, he can instantly tax. Mm -hmm. World ideology freedom. Oh, isn't that fun? Everyone gets unhappy. Not Jack. Yeah, not Jack. That's true. Plasma sees Panama. I would agree with you there. Uh, he did take Kremlin, Ashwin. That's probably a better one than Panama. What? It's close. <laughs> Yeah, would, would you rather have an engineer and a scientist or a merchant? I, I wonder. He needs um to make battleships, not planes. Mm -hmm. I mean, if he just makes a carrier, they can get there. I just mean in general, like them. he can't upgrade them, right? So it's like, um, I guess yeah, you're not generating money while fighting, so that's true. I mean, maybe you could tribute something. And you know, not being up, able to upgrade things is mean. Mm -hmm. What Mel really needs, though, is roads. Where are the roads? Now, I just realized, looking at this, that um, Freedom actually got a stealth nerf uh, in the next patch because uh, engineers are going away, so order is buffed. Wait, what? Well, engineers are always a pain to get for order because you don't really have money. So you like, have to like actually build them or like spend your <coughs> precious upgrade money. Just hard bit them. I I mean I do that, but they're expensive. <laughs> Do we have, do we think Jack has planes? Does Jack have planes? Oh no. We don't have oil? Oh that's gonna be a tough time.
Yeah, let's look at your core. No, let's. Okay, so we took um, police station or whatever it's called. Police state. Yeah. Makes a ton of sense. I uh, don't get where are we going refrigeration. That is refrigeration. Yeah, I is it for submarines? I guess. I don't see any oil off the coast, so I have to assume it's that. Yeah, there's one in Aquazad. I know there's one, but like it's just one. We really shouldn't be oil cap on free capitals as autocracy. <laughs> It is, but we were missing one. I mean, the, the restrictions didn't really affect our settlements that much, so... I mean, yeah. What, what do you guys want? Like, a, a game at all, or a game with, with one player that might be better than the others? Spider-Man. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Ready enough. It's gonna be really sad if uh, Baffler Creek just gets sniped with four planes in there. And it does it have a wall? No. Yeah, it might just get sniped instantly. The full stack of planes. Gonna be really sad. You mentioned the tiles, Buffalo Creek's working. I don't, I wasn't looking. <laughs> Instead of specialists, I, I is that I mean, if he wants to grow one more time, I don't mind. Those should be mines, though. But I, he's I this guy's more. played well the entire game. I'm not gonna come come down on him on something like that. More realistically, what's happening here is we just don't have time to micro our cities that much. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he's been just, like, leaving these cities be, mostly, after flipping. I mean, he should really be just taking Taipei here, probably. Take the happiness hit, but it makes it so much easier. Because you're going to war through someone with, like... Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they're supposed to have cover. I 
I mean, I, I, I don't mind Plasmus for doing this. Like, I think yeah, it's, I it's think good. It's fine. Yeah. I mean, the, as I'm saying, the, the real exactly. problem is that yeah. the planes are going to die. And. Yeah, just, I, I don't know what you do about it as well. Oh, we have a triplane. Oh, God, we have a dead triplane. Okay. Alright, it is go time. Plasmus is losing money. I mean, what? Yeah, what? Care? I don't agree with that at all. Plasmus is like, at least when you like have normal games, like you don't. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, I mean that. That's yeah, this is obvious. It, I know, I know, I know. But yeah. <laughs> I, like, oh no. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> you needed to take Taipei, my dude. Yeah, and either you need a navy or you need to not put planes in the coastal city. Yep. It was the sixth stack. So a lot. <sighs> I mean, it's like six land ships, right? I don't know how much is a plane. It's about as much as a land ship. And that's what I need to know. <laughs> I'm with you there. Do you think it, it's in Mel's best interest way for nukes? No. He loses no, by the time Plasmus, he gets nukes. No. Plasmus is either on another planet or he has so much military it doesn't matter. Wait, what are these boats doing in Dark Bazaar's name? <laughs> Why is that getting taxed? I have no idea. Plasmus is evil. <sighs> yeah, we all do. But these are things you only learn when it happens to you. Yeah. You got to get a whole stack of fucking planes obliterated before you realize, oh shit, I need I, I need to need to get rid of that. Yeah. Like he also has to learn like the road situation and everything like that. Like this is when this stack dies, like in my head, like I feel like he should know to just go into Taipei. But he should know that he's not putting plates in there again. That's for sure. He's taking radar. I no, maybe he just doesn't view Taipei as an air base. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some people shoot their entire stack and don't learn. That's true. <laughs> P 
Plasma's tech's really good. He's actually he's at radar, just about. He needs happiness though. And he's losing fifty six GPT. My God. How are you losing this much? How is this happening? How yeah? How, how is it literally possible? Yeah. I, oh, I guess he's he's gonna work all of his treasure fleet styles for hammers because he's unhappy. I don't know. Like uh, his rifles are going to melt. I mean, he, he can take the city all he wants. It's not efficient to have battleships attack the city. Mm -hmm. And also, Pyongyang will just die. Just leave the Grand River alone. <laughs> Raising everything. <laughs> Here, evil Plasmus. Dear God. <laughs> Dude, Plasmus is fucked. I mean, if... If Plasmus capital gets, gets raised, that's very not good for him. I know, care. It was a necessary evil, though. I mean, I, I don't like how houses got nerfed. I, I wanted to see a different. Is the slots are actually kind of. They're broken. What do you mean? I bet they're cool as well. Like you could just remove the culture. I culture. like the tourism stuff. I actually think the tourism thing is a cool idea. Mm, I mean, it's. There's like new different. possibilities now. Yeah, it's definitely different than what it did, but I remember sacred sites and uh was that a painful belief? Uh who's crashing? Is it Jack? Jack are you crashing? Yeah, it's frozen. Yeah, you might want to force close. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. This, I forgot how crazy my eyes hurt, man. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. <laughs> you guys have been going for a while. I know. Usually when my friends and I do like our lobbies with AI and shit, we don't get this deep. There's a lot of clicking. Yeah. It's... And usually if I declare war on one of them, they just forfeit. <laughs> 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 I haven't had to do this. Well, isn't that the point, right? <laughs> this is the no. This is the point. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. That's why I clicked on her. Like, oh my god! <laughs> I'm going Dude. on a run after this or something. <laughs> Don't mind kicking me from Discord. My computer doesn't like Discord when it does this. Sure. Smooth, smooth. I just saw the Ashwin one. trying to nerf the pick rate of both uh, honor and piety here because piety was 
has broken his honor from the last tournament stats. It's just... Yeah, I, I do want aesthetics. No, Piety was a great secondary for Lib. Like, obviously, Piety was a great secondary for uh... Honor, and Honor was a great secondary for Piety, and that's why it did. Hold on. Uh... Plasmus, you can't host, right? I don't think you can. Yeah, okay, just um, make a save, Plasmus. Make a double save. Just, yeah, just double save it. Yep, and then... Uh, you can host a reload and then just leave the lobby so that they can have it. Yeah, smooth. I agree. How is this still going to be really strong? It's so much worse. I mean, I, I'm glad, like, I I do have uh, who am I some joining, sorry? ID ideas, so, like, I wanted to mess around with the ID ideas, so Try, I um, what I for, force close on, um, I mean, Plasma should load, and then he'll leave the game after you join, so that, uh, Am I joining? You should join Plasma's. Plasma, make sure, are you in the fucking game? Uh, you're yeah. offline on Steam. Oh, god damn it. I you've been playing Civ on Steam. <sighs> um, Kuba, do you want to load up a game, join Plasmus's game so that they can fucking join on him? Oh, god. Plasmus doesn't know. Sure. Plasmus doesn't know how to fucking. God. Plasmus, you're a fucking moron. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know how to join a Plasmus, though, if he's not in game. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. no. Plasmus can, 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 can invite you because you're friends. Sure. Uh, are we even friends? No. Okay, we are. <laughs> Yeah, or you could just do that, what Ashwin said. Oh, wow, he figured it out. Plasmus just figures it out. You should be able to join on him now. Cool. The play-by-play -play trick. Care Bear, shut the fuck up. Y'all have so much sass. It's crazy. We're preparing for tournament commentary. Yeah. Oh, oh God. God. Oh, God, what? Uh, Jack can host. Oh, whoops. Jack can host, so Plasmus, you can leave the game. Um, and then, Jack, make sure you're not green. Oh, shit. <laughs> Excuse me, what? They can kick me out of that. Oh, oh. They kicked you out of the game? Up the lobby. Oh, Plasmus, can you go into your saves and just input the save and then upload the save to to Discord? It's probably easier.
Shut up. Only post him double, him double save, save Ash. Damn, did a patch drop while we were playing? Yeah. yeah that's crazy. A long awaited patch, yes. Oh, is it? Does that work? Okay. I mean, okay, Plasmus, try leaving this lobby again. If Jack disconnects, we're, we'll have to do something else. Did you get disconnected, Jack? No. Okay, cool. Nope, network connection totally has been lost. Motherfucker. Right. Okay, Plasmus, go into. Oh. Go to. Uh, documents, my games, Civ 5, saves. And then it should be multi. And then Jack, do that same thing. And then Plasmus is going to upload a save. No permission? What the fuck does that mean? No permissions for what? Here's what we do. I have an idea. Plasmus. What? Okay, all you have to do, Plasmus, go to multiplayer. Start the fucking game and then have Jack join on you. Ha have Jack hot join and then Jack can make a save. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. He said he uploaded the file. Okay. So you could also do that. Um, did you hear what I said? Uh, it's my document. My game, Civ 5, saves. And then multi. And then you're going to put this file in multi and then restart Civ and then load it up and you should have it. Um, we, we, whoever's hosting, we should have enjoy install hot join mod because it's like just so easy and makes it so much better. I didn't know there was one. Yeah, no, it, it it's very nice. Okay, so what? Multiplayer, standard, internet, host game. Uh, load, load game. Load game. And then go to saves, and then it should be there. Okay. You have it? Yep. All right, cool. You would just join on me through. Oh, you can. Right. Let's see if Mel can join this time. <laughs> yeah. Huge. Huge. Try Mel Plasmas. Funnily enough, I think I'm offline too, but I can go online so that you can join up with me. Oh my god. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to be untraceable. <laughs> okay. Don't when your friends trail, know you that know? you're playing Civ at Hop No on banks Civil offline bank. on all social medias, you can't let them know. True. True. Uh, I'm here a person that's working on the internet privacy team. 
Come on. <laughs> I don't, I don't give, give a, a fuck. fuck. <laughs> Ashwin says, I'm glad you're showing the new players how disastrous late game reloads are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it can be pretty bad, but most of the time it's usually pretty good. No, shut up, Ashwin. No, are you still offline? Seriously? I clicked online. I don't know if it... Do I have to do some shit to get it to, like, update them? Uh, can you add Jack Plasmus? And then get invited? Uh God. He's in. Nice. Are you doing there we go. stuff? Or uh, that are it? you free right now? Because I'd like to go to bed. Um, <laughs> I don't want to leave Ryan alone here. Alright, just I just let me know when you're done or whatever. Pop in when you're done or when you don't feel like doing it anymore. No, these these boots are actually getting shot down by by artillery. Arties, yeah, that's actually kind of surprising. Yeah. That died pretty quick. Oh my, that's a lot of damage. Oh, Can imagine if he had roads. Yeah, imagine. I mean, he needs to take Taipei, or else he's not he's not doing this. Cool. I I can see how this could work without taking Taipei, but it's gonna be so much harder. You'll need generals for sure. That just goes one shot. It's <gasps> a rifle. Yeah, but it's still a one shot. It's a rifle. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Ashwin here. With my new Lekma the guide. This one is about. <laughs> How to die to land ships. <laughs> I'm actually an expert. <laughs> yeah? You're an expert? I don't the believe you. Is, I don't believe you. Step one is always, this is really important, playing coast. RV had a lancer in the water. If I were if I were Korea right now, I'd be looking at that general and I'd be thinking, I want it. <laughs> Plasmus is burning everything. This I is. I mean, these, these privateers don't do anything other than this. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I don't think these privateers can take that city though. Apparently, they don't even do this. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I don't think they can take Grand River. Turn 140. Privateer is still relevant. Uh, yeah, the, it's a stretch. The artillery of the sea. I mean, these artillery just five shot a battleship, so. <laughs> is, is Iroquois at auto six yet? Close to it, at least. Streamer panel. Uh, he's freedom seven. How does how does that make you feel? Can we That's like your freedom? <laughs> <laughs> no. But the freedom seven is actually my push. Like, <laughs> what is this? What is what? Freedom. <laughs> He was late. Like he went arty. I think. No, he didn't. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. He was late though. Like both the autocracies were taken already. Take order. There's only like four cities, and orders also were taken. I think. Okay. All right. <laughs> 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 uh, now, now there's a separate question, which is like, how do you lose? Ideology that bad, but I mean, okay. he went architecture and all of these guys just like beeline. Uh... He did not lose order. No, uh, Mel no, was the didn't. last one. Of, last Mel was the last one ticket. Well, Mel is an order. What? Oh yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck got order then? See you and uh and uh what what is this? Oh no, Maya didn't. Okay, maybe there wasn't. Oh no, it's you and Korea, right? And they both went straight factories, so that makes sense. And Cuba did not go straight factories, they went architecture. Oh yeah, and Maya did not go for a seat. Oh yeah, that's right. I really feel like Cuba doesn't have any. Why are we rigging elections? Why are we rigging elections? What the fuck? I mean, I'm, I'm glad to see someone has the Who fucking allies. Who just joined? Alex. All right. So you guys probably yeah. Uh, there's enough. Of yeah. You go to sleep. Cuba. The stream now. All right. Enjoy the rest of your game. Good luck. Um, have fun. Oh, I'll just stop it and I'll. Okay, whatever I'll say. User disconnected from your channel. Wait, I didn't wish Koopa good night. Fuck. Um, Dude, Busan is about to starve. Like, look at that city. Okay, we want to watch. Let's watch Plasma's perspective. It's probably more interesting. Um, Plasma's is a new. How many times are we gonna see? Yeah, it? I've said this at least ten times. I'm done. I've been streaming for six and a half hours. If you don't know now, fuck you. But yeah, I, I think this Cuba push seems a little bit doomed, because I don't think he has anything. Oh my god, he's, he just doesn't know how... <laughs> I, re I regret defending my boy in, uh, in this chat. Uh, okay, I guess yeah. <laughs> well, honestly, I don't know how they work either, so this is good. There's nothing to know about how carriers work. What you just okay? Okay, so they don't shoot. Okay, that's what I'm so confused. Yeah, like, what the fuck? No what are you gonna <laughs> shoot? It's a carrier. That's okay. That's what I'm saying. That's when. That's why when he posed the question, I was like, wait a minute. Am I, am I missing something? <laughs> carriers in Civ Six can actually slam cities and take cities, and you can level them that way. Hmm. You just start cycling them on city. Didn't realize yeah, you were a Civ Six enjoyer, Ashwin. Carrier is exactly what I thought it was. It carries things. Yeah. Well, I'm actually not a Civ 6 enjoyer because clearly carriers are too strong in that game. Oh my god. Oh, the Lancer is... the, the That general in Buffalo Creek is still too far. Damn, I really want that dead. He needs to fix his happiness. Minus 10% combat strength right now. This is kind of, I mean, when you're playing full expo, the two things that you're kind of guaranteed are gold and happiness. <laughs> well, I will let you know. 
He is full expo. Hmm. Okay, is it, is it just me? Busan is actually about to starve. Am I like losing it? That that's about to go to nineteen five. <laughs> You don't want anything except for all of your cities. <laughs> I mean, this is... I think Plasma's going to have a field day when see. Oh, shit. Taipei's not his ally anymore. Oh, my God. And Busan went to 19. <laughs> that city's just going to keep starving. So what's going on here? They're teaming Plasmas? They're teaming Plasmas. Is he even in the lead? Yes. I think he's in the lead, yeah. He's at radar, he doesn't have any gold to upgrade stuff. He's order, so he doesn't have like combat bonuses. Are there the other guys auto? The Cuba guy is playing freedom like eight at this point, and uh the Aeroqua guy is auto almost at Clousy, I think. That's the situation. I don't think Plasma's is in the lead. The king well, making Mel right now. Yeah, that that's probably what's going on. Yeah, I agree. He needs to. Get yeah, look at that. That ironclad flame, forty-five into fourteen with the expo combat bonus. That's like. That that's death. And these battleships are actually like trading bad into already. A pillage. The pillage. I mean, it doesn't cost any movement to pillage, so. Oh no, it died! <laughs> <laughs> I think wasting, uh, I think putting battleship shots, I think Plasma's putting battleship shots into Buffalo Creek is, isn't worth the expenditure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, it looks like Mel's going to win because they're king making Mel. There's still some chance if, like, Cuba realizes, like, oh, wait, I don't get to win the duel. That I mean, this is it's up to Plasmas to convince him that, though. Yeah. We already know how freedom versus auto ends. <laughs> I think we're pretty convinced, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure even if Cuba backed off, Plasmus probably dies here. Uh, I don't know. He can do a lot with um with carriers. No, it's because the B ship shots are or these B ship shots into cities are actually the least possible value you get for the B ship, right? You're supposed to be kind of chewing up land ships in this spot, I think. No, I don't know why he's focusing on a city. That just doesn't matter. Hey, maybe he's worried about getting general, but Taipei will general him anyway, so. I'm surprised Kuba's even attacking, like, like he literally has to do nothing here. <laughs> it's the power of demos, right? You see some, you see these big Explo empires, and they're like, you know, thousand hammers. You're like, oh my god, we gotta stop him, but you don't realize that it's gonna take you 20 turns to get hammers off these islands. Yeah. Auto, auto with hammers is too strong. Can we just there. remove hammers from auto? Is that an well, option? Well, yeah, I think I think the problem is like people don't react the same way to someone going auto. Uh, I can't talk. Someone going auto the same way they do like someone trying to push like Diplo or tourism. You know what I mean? Like if someone's trying to win Diplo or tourism, everyone just starts teaming them. But like if someone like is clearly doing a domination play, like people don't really worry about it till like it gets to their borders. The, 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 it's because you the way you stop every other win con is by interacting with it militarily right mm -hmm. and then once you do that you're kind of locked into dom yeah i mean and I then the auto boy is your natural ally because domination 
players want to stop the faster win cons. Yeah. I guess it's also domination is almost a part of every other win con too. Yeah, all these islands miles away do nothing other than stats. Yep. That's why. I... Oh, my game last night, I, I, I learned that uh, like the guy owning the uh, entire ocean is, isn't really that much of a threat. <laughs> I think Tex kind of fucked up that game. but Yeah. So, I mean, I, I think. Uh, Light would have won anyways though, but there's no reason to attack me there. He had like 20 stealth bombers. Okay, so let's. I'm gonna predict what's gonna happen here, which is the same prediction everyone else is gonna make. Um, Iroquois is gonna break through in the next three turns. Uh, what's um, Cuba is not going to make much progress, and then once Eric was done with Korea, Eric was going to go through Cuba, and that's GG. Yep. I think Plasma just lost another pop. Man, this is such sadness. It's hard. It's hard to play this kind of game. I don't think Plasma's. I was just worried about the wrong things, yeah, but, you know. Like, why, why take that city and go to minus 16? Like, what's the point? This is something Hawks talks about a lot, is that when you're naval warring, your B-ship shots are actually, like, you got to think about them as a precious resource. You only get so many shots per turn. Oh no, city dead? <gasps> oh, where did that cav even come from? How did it? Oh, I'm... on the right side. Like it was cam camping out from Terra. Like, look, the yeah. one's on the fucking. Yeah, the that's gems. so weird. That is true. I, I assume Cuba got a text off of that. <laughs> if he He's taking towards labs. Oh no. Oh no. Not labs. He's got a new whisper on his way out, and I don't, I don't see him typing. Who's going labs? Cuba. Uh, Cuba. This is this particular thing that's happening is one of the reasons I've come to prefer uh, commerce on the coast. It's exactly because these islands, which provide you great demos, are not very helpful when you are getting smacked. They're great they're... once you hit stealth. They're great once you hit XCOM. But until then, yeah. they can go fuck right off. Yeah. I agree. Uh, when you're inland, right? When you're inland and you're playing these super wide games, someone hits you, and you just queue land ships in every city. And your land ships move like, about like 12 move on your own roads, and they reinforce you, and... All your hammers are useful. Here, like, Plasmus has been building military. It's not like he hasn't been building military. It's just that they never get there. Yep. No, I mean, I agree completely. Land promo. Please, land promo. It's so much damage. Land promo got a little bit nerfed, right? It's only 25 instead of 33. More damage would be building happiness. But... Don't worry, he's starving his cities down. That'll fix it. Surely that'll fix it. I want to see Mel's perspective. Mel's like out of shit, dude. No way. Really? Yeah. Okay, how many land ship do we count? I count like I, eight? I count like, what? I count like six. I mean, I count like six on the front line. And then like some behind? Yeah, but he's like almost out of Arties. Whatever, Artie schmarty. Arties are the only reason these battleships are dying. Oh, right. <laughs> well, he's got bombers. The bombers are going to do damage. Hope. Oh. 
He sees a triplane. <laughs> I think that's an artifact. I think Plasma's upgraded that triplane into a fighter this turn. And no, I, I, no, no, no. I, yeah. I, yeah. They, they don't. There's no way they can know that. Sweep? I think if you hover over the city tile, it tells you accurately. Oh, yeah. That was another thing to include in your plane video. The hovering over the city. There's too much to include. This is going to be a three hour long video. The fuck just happened? Even... Crash? What just happened? No, it's just you, bud. No, it's just me? Dude, Discord hates you. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's because you pay, bro. It's because you pay. I guess so. What the fuck? Dude, this is a joke. Seems pretty stale, so I don't know, maybe. I, I still think this is totally Uraquas' game. Too much hammers. Too much combat bonus. Plasmas can't really kick him off the tiles. How does the hover thing work again? So you hover over the city and it shows you, like, in the, this, like, whoa. It just shows you how many planes they have? It shows you the planes, their health, what type. But like sometimes it shows you above the city and that's inaccurate. Yeah, that. So that sometimes occurs in the fog, and that can be inaccurate. Well, okay. What if you have vision of the city? Then is it still inaccurate? Yeah, it can still be inaccurate. What if you have a spy in the city? Um, that can still be inaccurate. However, you're getting vision of the city doesn't matter. Also, Cuba is actually. No, oh, thanks for the follow. What'd you say? Cuba is actually pushing here, like. Mm, let's see his perspective. I mean, he's 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 running he's running out of front line. Yeah, they're both running out. I think real bombers would be big here. I mean, Plasma's Plasma's, Plasma's right biggest now. problem is he just had no fucking money for no reason at all. Yeah. There's literally no reason why Plasmus had zero dollars. It doesn't make any sense. I like what I, I like this sort of pattern of movement from Cuba. Like he's just trying to get everything in. I respect that. Yeah, no. I don't it's, think it's, enough people do that. <laughs> it's good. Focus on what's in front of you. I like I love seeing this actually because. People would go like next unit and then they would move that unit and then they go next unit. Uh, what I don't like is that he has zero roads. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but no, I th I think it's good. Yeah. So so like about Cuba getting units in. Don't like about Cuba no roads and I really hate this teching labs. I don't think you ever get to a point in this game where labs are gonna get you somewhere that you wouldn't get without paying the cost to go there mm -hmm. he is happy though but he's freedom yeah. so yeah doesn't matter and looking at mel i count like seven land ships on the front line i think at least two behind is why is he taking low. Armis? he's liberating it for happy i think what he's not taking it Okay. Hmm. Suspicious. Very odd. Oh no, Pyongyang had the oil. Is Plasma's oil minus? No, no he's no. three. Okay. Yeah, this is looking kind of doomed. You've got... The past land ships are scary. Yeah. I like that phrasing. It's like a past pawn? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, I think it's good. It expresses the right things. Yeah. Like, Plasmus owns less of his own tiles <laughs> than they do. I, I think... 
Is is Urquhart Clause yet? No, still five. It says four turns to get Clausy for Iroquois. So. That's kind of depressing. That means when he gets it, he's going to. Plasma's so fucked. Yeah. These TS are also really causing him trouble. But yeah, he, he. We're kind of at this point where he can't kick them off his tiles. Mm -hmm. he, and he doesn't own enough of his tiles, so he's just gonna get kind of walked around. No, it's, I'm telling you, man, it's just the a money thing. Like he had the pre builds, he had the stuff, he just had zero money. So and he didn't get the pillages off either. He couldn't. Was... Yeah, the you mean the cargos? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, hundred percent, and. The main thing for me, it's like he had so he had like fifteen rifles or something, and he couldn't upgrade any of them because he just had no dollars. And same with like the bombers. Like if he had real bombers right now, I don't think they push at all. I don't even think they're close. I think. No, there there's a there's a, a window, huge there's a huge gap between bombers and great world. No, bombers. no, I'm saying there was kind of a window where even the battleships could have shot for a lot of value. Oh, oh, hunt! Like ignore that fucking city. I think once you take it the first time, like. The like, damage that was is done. Great value capture. That was an insane value capture. Yeah. Especially because it it also told Jack. I mean, uh, told Mel, hey, you can't put fucking bombers there, right? Yeah. And it makes your own like it gives you kind of local air superiority. Also, Plasma's fixed is happy. If you count losing a city as fixing your happy. I mean, honestly, you do. Okay, so this, I think, is the good turn. This is where he's going to shoot with the, the battleships, and they're going to shoot for value instead of shooting the city. He's got a five stack in this carrier, too, so that's nice. Cover, cover. Oh wow, there's enemy caravels in his cap, and Iroquois has dropped a general, which means his arty are going to get road movement, so it's going to be really hard to stop him from arting down Jonju. Plasma's going for that general. <laughs> oh. oh my god, Plasma! <laughs> <laughs> so i want to make a general video at one point and i think it'd be really cool to like actually war someone like war you, one of you guys or maybe like you do it in a real game and then you just show what happens this is why this is a bad general and then you just like get countered and then the guy pushes in all of his units and you just fucking die. <laughs> I, I, I feel like powerful visualizations like that are really kind of good for learning. I've been meaning to cut that war I had with Tex and upload it, which was in many ways very fun. I mean, I, it was fun to watch. But I think it had a lot of that, right? Like, that was one of the bigger general stack wars I've had. Mm -hmm. I just mean, I don't even mean like I, I, I'm not necessarily talking about a big stack. I'm just talking like one big general, like how impactful it can be kind of thing. Yeah. Good generals are good. Bad generals are bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So it just, it, are there already that Cuba has that can hit Plasma's cap next turn? I don't see any. I think they're all four ring. Well, they're all dying. Are these freedom legions or commerce legions? They're freedom. Limited resource. Dude, these city-state caravels are so insane. <laughs> He's at one trade route because they all got pillaged. 
Holy fuck, that's so bad. It's not just that, they're zocking his reinforcements. Mm -hmm. That's the huge thing. Yep. I agree. And that land ship massed by Jonju looks very critical now. Yeah, I mean, you can't hold that anymore. But. Oh no. I, I, I really like this using the Great War Bombers to finish off wounded units. The damage bombers take is proportional to the health of the unit they're killing, they're hitting. So, like you see that the full the the weak bomber attacking the full damage battleship just pops. Mm -hmm. Weak bomber attacking full health battleship, but uh, a weak bomber can definitely finish off a uh, a land ship. And so, in my opinion, like the best land ship value. Oh, he doesn't realize fast hand is on. I think the the best bomber value is when someone tries to like retreat one of their land ships or to like a safe place and then you just get to ping it agree Bomb the Artie. <sighs> With the triplane. Who gets the cap? That's an interesting question. I think even if Cuba gets it, he won't have it. Kids are checking laps. <laughs> when is this think, game gonna end? I, I think these. I, I think somebody needs to. You don't have to go labs. You can go to stealth without labs. You can go to stealth XCOM without labs. And if you're going to stealth XCOM without labs, every oh, single tech can get along the way. Full on hard crack. Tech. More what? people. <laughs> what did you say? My game literally just died. <laughs> oh. Part of this is game assessment as well, right? It's a, it's a three-player game. Concede. It's really a two-player game. Labs don't do anything. <laughs> yeah, to. I'm. I don't know. I mean, did you take a city? I took one, but it's this shitty little one thing. You took his, you, Yeah, you took a shitty city. i Even if we take his cities, he'll have more cities than us combined. Yeah, but it's not really about that. If I mean, like, you're right, but you're wrong, as Galfout would say, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'd have to take his cap. Grab <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> shut the fuck up. Yeah. Plasma, shut the fuck up. So true. What a good point. I mean, it only can really we, counts as the Galfout Realistically, would we be able to take his cap, cap if we his cap I think we probably... Yeah. Yes. Would. I think we would. But yeah. I don't think they would make a difference. Yeah. And he then, has well, yeah. eight other capitals somewhere in the ocean. Eight other, he has eight capitals. Okay, finally, then, like, whisper. Is it, I don't Ashwin, know. you should listen to I, what they're saying. I'm pretty... Do you have fighters and bombers yet? Mega. Uh, yeah, I do. I just haven't... Dude, I've been eyes glazed over for like the last 90 minutes. <laughs> to be honest. I've just been clicking buttons. But I made a shit ton of land ships, basically, yeah, just kind of cool. throwing them at his rifles. But yeah, you are behind in science. But you're probably, I mean, you're Rashio now. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. Yeah, I think once I, I haven't even hit fucking Autocracy 6. 
I'm telling I'm you, the fact that I was Cuba was actually so painful because I couldn't intentionally switch to autocracy later on. Because yeah, I was like, yeah. nah, you're too happy, man. Enjoy <laughs> your freedom. I know. Did you, were you, I was, the only thing I was eyeing is at the end there, you were getting every CS. And I was like, okay, once we kill him, I'm immediately yeah. going to have to be, in, I'm going to, I was planning to be in position to take like four CS. I was planning end. on doing a little cheeky thing, but yeah, again, yeah, yeah. you have more gold was... than me. Oh, the amount of gold you make per turn is double mine. Wow, what? You're getting more gold per turn, but I guess I'm killing units and getting shit oh, okay. to be honor. And I'm out taking Korea now. Yeah, dude, I'm losing my mind. You not tribute. Oh, having one coastal player is so frustrating. I did eat two people, that is true. I mean, this is why we usually do coastal random, but you guys had started the game and I just didn't care, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that he was the only coastal until pretty late, and then I was like, well, "That seems pretty good." <laughs> I didn't even notice he had settled islands until I accidentally clipped his trade. I was like, "Huh, I've only seen four of these cities. I haven't seen the other 20. I didn't steal very many tax plasmas. I. I feel like I didn't at least. Maybe I wasn't paying that much attention, but it felt like I, I definitely didn't get shit. You, you stole those. four techs. I stole four? Okay, I'm fucking crazy then. Yeah. Because I think I was just eyeing he, fucking Kiko, Kiko went. Kiko tech schools before teching Cav when you were attacking him, which made no sense. But... <laughs> That's so <laughs> elite. That's elite. He was just griefing. Yeah, I guess he's just feeding you. I don't know. Yeah, he did not. I kept looking at it because usually when that's going to happen, they realize it, but they realize too late, but it felt like he just never realized. That was sick. But yeah, I'm down to not do this anymore. <laughs> no. GG Korea. Oh. Is that the game? That's the game. <laughs> yes, please. All right. Um, you guys uh -oh. had, you guys were going to shit on him. He's so dead. Uh. Yeah. I thought he would be further ahead in tech. Like the, the okay, game. Mel, like you just trust me. Disconnected from your channel. You can just end the game so fast. I feel like from this. I mean, yeah. Once I get Klaus, Klauswitz, I just fucking have disciplined Klauswitz land ships. I can. Yeah, I mean, you just you both. you know, you do whatever. I just and... don't have any actual sense of combat in the late game, so it's harder. But no, no, it, it definitely just is. Just sheer combat strength. You should have I taken just... Taipei first of all. Uh, there's there's so many things I can True. say about this game. I, I mean, the, yeah, I don't know if I, you guys I, want to I, talk about it now or what, but towards the end, yeah, sure. I got absolutely fucked because I was so fucking, I was going so crazy. I just didn't use workers at all. I needed roads everywhere and shit. Well, you needed to it. take Taipei because at the time, Plasma's owned Taipei. So that means when you're working through the Taipei tiles, it's as if they're just an enemy road. You can't road through that. Right. And then yeah, yeah. you needed to. The reason you need to take Taipei, the, the real reason is... Is because of battleships. I Pla didn't think yeah. about that. Plasma's that. griefed. After he took Buffalo and killed a six stack, right, he never touches that city again. And then he just wait. Like I don't think you push at all if he doesn't worry about Buffalo and just keeps shooting your land ships. Um, also, I don't understand how you got that far in. If you just had infinite battleships, you shouldn't have even got that far. He was actually killing a good amount with um. I've just had with fucking Artie. Artie on the coastline. Yeah, I'm oh, just wow. shelling him down. It, it's because the battleship shots weren't going for value. Yeah. Right. The battleship shots going into Buffalo didn't get you, didn't get Plasma's stuff. Dude, that didn't, that didn't cross my mind for one second. By the way, that he would just take it and I'd lose all this. Shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> See, so this sad. this is this is the thing. Like, it happens to everyone, but it only happens once, and then you never do it again. <laughs> did not cross my mind it's just yeah because i'm just i really wanted to kill someone this game let's um uh, play with let's let, play with who wants to go first game. mel mel or mel or jack destroy me okay let's go to jack can you scroll over jack mel yeah. all right jack you never bought the banana tile what the <laughs> fuck were you doing i i i gave you so many hints this whole time, I said, hey, can you open Santiago hey, like to deer, Cuba? Man? Do you like deer? Did you see the... Do you know why I asked about the deer? No. Because, no. Jack, you were working a mine instead of the deer. They, they have the same uh, amount of hammers, bro. Right. <laughs> I, 
And after I said that, like me and Cooper just like burst out laughing because you didn't change it. <laughs> and then, but like the main thing is Santiago de Cuba, this city should be like 28 pop right now. But I just don't understand why I just stopped uh, you growing just, around you like just, 20. You, you, no, you stopped growing around like 13. Well, in my capital. I don't even know what happened to that one. No, what I'm talking Santiago. Happened? This, this city, Santiago de Cuba is your best city. Okay. Um, really? It should have been. It wasn't, but it should have been. <laughs> um, you were chopping the wrong tiles. The, the main thing for you is you like weren't growing. You were just working hammers. Um, you you just weren't growing. And the, one of the main reasons is you wouldn't buy this banana tile. This banana tile was going to be able to like, take you to you know at least 20 pop. Which one? But like, this one? Yeah, that, that banana tile. He, he never bought that banana tile. He, he naturally grew to it on turn like 110. <laughs> like like and you know th there's like a number of things you, when you watch back the vod or whatever you'll see what i'm talking about but you're working like mines and stuff way too early like you work mines when you have chem for the most part or when you don't have any hammer tiles and in this case a hammer tile is a hill deer right because they're both three food or they're both three hammers so you don't need to work those tiles like when you're in the early game ish, you want to be growing. You just want to be focused on how can I get my pop up? How can I scale up to the late game? That you, your game was really strong, and then it just fell off really hard because you just stopped yeah. growing. So it's all about how you can keep growing. And the main way to do that is by working food tiles, and you just weren't working food tiles. We everyone was like so. It was so funny because, um, uh. Fire Fire Strikes was Fire Streaks was literally just like working like perfect tiles and he was like working a ton of food or whatever. He wasn't really working any hammers. And then you're the exact opposite. You're like, <laughs> dude, you were stagnating on 14 pop. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, your tradition, bro. <laughs> like, um, know, it just felt so bad because it was just like, oh, it's yeah. like a, a non freshwater grassland tile or like a four pop production mine. Or. The banana that you refused to work. You 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 were you were exist. so <laughs> it didn't exist. You were so <laughs> like anti buying tiles, at, and as someone with Stonehenge, that like doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> like you you have the best wonder in the game for border expansion, and you just won't buy your fucking tiles. So that was yeah, uh, honestly with that city that San Santiago one to your the left. Way I settled it. The way I settled it was to obviously catch that. No, 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 no. You, you settled it. You settled it perfectly. Yeah, it was just that, I don't know, in this kind of game, I felt kind of really bad buying tiles. Why? Because you bought a worker. I, know, I felt like I settled really close to him. No, you, you bought a worker on turn, like, uh, like on who? On 35. Uh, Maya? You're not, you're not yeah. that, you're, I mean, you're close to Maya, but, like, this is how it's supposed yeah, to be. Fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, this is fine. I mean... That that city has to come down. It's min distance. You shouldn't feel bad about it. You you always buy the banana. Frankly, I would have bought the third ring. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I wouldn't have bought that. But uh, <laughs> I I I I feel like you know you could have done you could have settled this differently differently originally. I saw the Santo Diego with like Cuba City. I think that's perfect. I probably would have dropped one on the sugar directly south of Cap. But you know this city works. I just would have um, Camagüey works. I would have just put it on on a hardwood. Um, that way you pick up the, the ivory better. Um, you know, you, you have the first ring horse. It's just, in my opinion, just a better city. Um, so that, that's I think my logic settling that was that at that point, I didn't realize that this was the vertical map. So I thought I was in the corner. So I thought that I was going to be really close settled above me. So I, I was just going to do like a kind of square where I'd settle like self east i mean east, honestly your, your land well. your land to the north i don't think yeah he, he I mean, I haven't looked at this but this is the wow. city that's here is just like sure. so shit but somehow you managed to build aya in it and i was just like what the fuck like how is it even possible like, i actually i actually kind of agreed with your altars thing like given what you were doing but i say this on stream the real power and what makes altars good is not the ability to pump wonders out of the cap. It's mm. the ability to pump them out of expands. And oh, yeah, the problem yeah. was your expands were that you were just working the wrong tiles. You were improving the wrong tiles. You weren't chopping properly, in my opinion. And you, you'll see this in the VOD. Like you might not think 
you were doing it like in hindsight, but like you'll 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 start. You'll, I get this message all the time. Like when they watch the vod, they'll be like, "What the fuck? That was I thinking? Like, oh my god, right?" Um, but you'll see what I'm talking about. And I think Santiago de Cuba could have been your best city. This should have been a wonder wonder slamming city. Like this should have built like three wonders. This game with mm-hmm. with altars, but instead it kind of just got like left behind. And your sim overall was was strong and at least relative to the lobby. But again, like the tech part really, really hurt. Also, um, and, and the reason it, it hurt was because your, your pop was so low, right? Um, by the time you turn 100 hit, like there's been games where, you know, someone like Pilu, who's renowned to grow their cities really well, like they'd have the same pop you had in your expands and in your cap on turn 70, but you had it on turn 100, right? And it, it's not a difference in land. It's just like how you were simming. So, it, it, I think your main problem this game was you had a good amount of workers. I think you, you picked the right strategy. I don't, I don't know if honor makes the most sense in this plot unless you go straight arty. Um, but who is your target, right? Like Sue was having a very rocky game to say the least. Uh, they got like, you saw they got two settlers taken, which is just <laughs> yeah, at, at that point, like I, it's like a mental boom thing. Like, I don't know how the fuck fire even managed to play this game out. I would have just shot myself in the head. Um, and I saw his capital. I was like, well, fair play for Yeah, me. the capital. <laughs> I didn't. I found him on like turn sixty or something. I didn't know it was like this. Yeah, it, it's it, his game was pretty rocky. I think he obviously could have played substantially better, but I will say, out of everyone, I think he simmed the best post workshops. Like what he was doing with his cities, how he was using them. Like I think he had the best sim post workshops. Um, relative. Now, I will say, Mel definitely had far and away the best sim pre-workshops and just overall. Um, and, you know, you played extremely well. Um, but, yeah, for, for you, Jack, I think if you go back to Jack City, it's like it, this, your your whole problem was actually like a city micro thing. Like if you rewatch the city micro video what I, that I did and you just like practice like flipping tiles, worker microing, like improving the right stuff and trying to get the right luxes up and whatnot. Like, I think you would have had a much, much better game and it would have, it, it wouldn't, I a hundred percent agree with the tradition thing. I actually think you could have done either and it would have been fine. Um, like I said, you, you have like four cities below you if you want, right. If you want to settle four cities below you, you could have. So yeah, I was definitely thinking at some point, like, Oh fuck. No. I, I, and I think to go you actually lost a turn of production because you were debating between worker and monument. Yeah. So no. And, and, and I mean, and I think that's fair play. Like I, I think it's totally justified to have this, the thought process, right? Like you, you'd, there, but in your spot, your cap was really strong and you, and you just, you know, you could have played either one. And I think I, I personally think I would have picked tradition on your spot. Um, but dude, like there was one point, it was like turn like maybe it was turn 60 something and you were working no luxes in your cap. Like you, you just were not working any of your luxes. And I was just like, what the fuck is going on? Like you were like minus six gold on sugar. And I was just so confused. And then you clicked your city. You, you, and- so you, you think that getting just a kind of base level, not earning, not losing gold is better than working like statistically better tiles. What do you mean? Like you, you were working a th- a three hammer mine over a two one sugar. So in in, ter- in terms of like food and hammer yields, they're the same. Except now you also get three gold plus. When you're in the growth mode, the food's obviously worth more than the hammers. Like you were working three mines when you were like ten or eleven pop in your cap. So you think, like working general, mines in general, working mines until you're like forced to pretty much well, you're building uh, you, you grow like into them you grow into them or you are trying to hammer down something important and something specific right i'm one i'm two hammers off of uh, i'm two hammers off finishing a workshop i'll unwork my sugar this one turn then i'll put it back right so just something like that or you know i don't know like i just grew i need to finish this wonder right now I'm working all hammers. Once I finish the wonder, I'm going back to growth mode. Mm. Staying on growth mode in general is what you want to do. It, that that's how you scale. That's how you keep getting that's gaining how, hammers. That's that, how you get a shit ton of hammers later. Right? That, you just grow big. Yeah, you have to. You have to grow big. You're, You're like honestly. I think you got you got statue right. Yeah. 
your cap right now could be 45 pop. Easily. That's a sad thing. So you got a ton of wonders. Oh like, like, look at this. This is fucking ridiculous. Um, yeah. So I, I actually liked your altars play like because I wasn't sold on any specific pantheon. Maybe you do like plantation culture or plantation faith or something like that. But, I, I you know, I think you took advantage of the fact like Plasmus isn't allowed to build wonders. <laughs> like, OK, like and I see like two Liberty boys like, OK, like I'll just I'll be the wonder guy. And like you were. And and I think that totally works. I think you what just mean he wasn't allowed to build wonders. Oh. I knew he had a restriction. I didn't know that was he, he was like, we had a bunch of restrictions on him. Um, gotcha, yeah. So he he had... Oh, is he not like brand new? No, 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 <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, we, I'm sorry. We just needed to fill the slot because I didn't want you guys oh, waiting. Cool. Um, but I, I think, honestly, the way the role he played in this game was actually really good because it made you guys experience different stuff like that. Um but yeah, like I, I think in general, like you played well in terms of what you did. Your city spots were understandable. Um, I think they could have been a little bit better in some places, but in general, like this is a good city structure, I'd say. There was just some really obvious stuff that you missed, and I think when you rewatch it back, you'll see exactly what we're talking about. But um, yeah, I think obviously I think you played well. So and then the arty kill was so weird that that worked <laughs> so well. Uh, <laughs> you were clearly paranoid that. Mel was going to come for you after killing Ma Maya, which I thought he was going to going to go straight through. <laughs> which, which I think was hundred percent justified. Like I, I think that was a good play to build those units. Like, um, because if he did come for you, he would have failed. So I think for that logic, like it makes it makes a lot of sense. Um, but yeah, I think I think he played well. All right, let's I go. I feel that one thing I, yeah, kind of. I remember you, I think you mentioned it in one of your videos that it's better to continue with a kind of failing strategy than be like okay restart i 100 percent agree else. yeah that's exactly what i thought i was going to do i was initially like right tradition massive science fuck it's not working go for honor get some kills fuck someone else is already way ahead of me in, in that kind of way fuck it we're going to go for culture oh wait we don't have um aesthetics <laughs> We have 40 tourism. Dude, dude, you fucking okay? Like you had like 15 tourism or something, and you were you, and, and Sue was having dissonance, which I've never seen before. It was so funny, but no, like when you when you bulb that great work, like you, I agree with what you said. Like stick with something, regardless if it's optimal. Having a consistent strategy is better than having one where you're just impulsively making bad decisions right like yeah. and i think you kind of experienced that firsthand where you're like like for frankly I, you had no reason to be freedom you you needed autocracy do you think i should have just taken zero free stuff no 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 uh, i'm saying like in a perfect world like you need to be autocracy here you oh yeah you don't bold. I, was gonna, I was going to but it was already taken yeah but i mean that's because you went to for like you went for port like <laughs> you just don't go for porcelain <laughs> Just go straight there. You would have had it for sure. <laughs> um, oh no, I, I got porcelain long after I got. Oh, well, I, I think you went architecture. That, that's my point. Um, like you, you had an early Sistine. You had an early Hermitage, um, at least pre-industrial. So I, I, and then of course, like the the main thing for this game was just not growing. But that, oh, yeah. I, again, I, all that stuff that you can you can get better at super easily. Um, but if you do those things, this game looks so fucking different. And you you might be like runaway tourism player, 100%. Like, oh, definitely. There's definitely a world where I just am an unstoppable, just defensive, like, well, no, no. hundred culture. Well, it, I mean, that doesn't make you defensive. That makes you want to get teamed. But the, oh, yeah. <laughs> the you know, if, if you play the start or if someone like, like super skilled plays the start, they get like 120 or like... Maybe 130 internet, and then you just bulb four musicians into someone, and the game ends. Mm. It, and it happens that fast. The game would end on turn 130. So, oh, wow. like, there, there, that, there's just, like, stuff you can do, especially in this kind of lobby. Like, I think Cuba is a really cool civ in general. So, but, yeah, I, I, again, I thought you played well. Let, let's go to let's go to Mel. Mel, I think, I think you played – probably i mean you definitely played the best out of everyone um i wanted to ask one thing we were talking about why did you put brantdorf brantdorf there and then you didn't settle a city for this for this other copper for the copper yeah uh here yeah 
I don't know. I don't know if I ever would have thought that settling this would be a good city. Yeah, that's that's all thing dream, baby. That's what dreams are made of, right there. <laughs> How does it grow big enough to get all cargoes? Yeah. Okay, that's fair. No, I mean, so if you sail Brantdorf one up, and then you put a city there. I mean, I was also already struggling with unhappiness early. I think. No, well, no. I guess I needed copper anyway, so it didn't matter. I, I was already. I already only had one of my main outside of my cab. Yeah. So, I mean, that was one thing we were curious about. Um, I do think, and what did you think of your Pantheon? Uh, I thought that, well, when I saw my sieves, I wasn't very happy. Because I kind of just, I honestly kind of wanted something like more. Like, I, I thought I was going to cook Liberty, and I just wanted kind of like, just like generic good Liberty sieve. Mm-hmm. And my options were kind of like, ottomans or this and i'm both of them I mean, oh bro, since we bro. can't do more pre-industrial i need to i need I to sh- like i need to show you guys the way of tradition assyria um oh i did see assyria and i thought about it but i mean i'm vastly more comfortable on lip yeah liberty. yeah yeah no, so i was like i would sure. rather pick something that leans liberty and like if i get blatant tradition land i'll just click tradition anyway and probably not sin as well but no no no, no. and 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 that makes 100 percent sense like if you lean liberty and you want to like practice like to play your best game play liberty like of course but then yeah i got i was like i guess i'll go iroquois good whatever and i was like fuck it let's go with the the sick the sick tile yeah no 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 um in general i think so kuba is a huge iroquois believer. he's probably the best iroquois player in the group um sure. and he was watching you and he, I think he was he was excited that you picked Iroquois in the first place, but he's a big Sacred Paths believer over Spirit Trees. I think is in that culture and all forest and jungle. Yeah, and I think in general that was maybe the right play. I you know I'm I'm not a big Iroquois person. In fact, I think the Civs kind of shit. But um, it, it sucked. Like I don't think you had good Iroquois land. Like <laughs> like. A lot of the a good, lot of forest, though, a lot of the good, no, well, like they, they're in the weird spot, right? So one, one thing, I mean, this is, this is Iroquois Pacific, but like Brantford doesn't need a road on that worker, right? Um, sure. Um, because yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. forest, but like you didn't have a lot of these like road forests, you know what I mean? Like it, sure. it just wasn't like, and there's nothing wrong with that, but there, it just wasn't like traditional good Iroquois land. But I think you played it really well, um, especially when there was only one coastal. Right. If there's only one coastal, you play as many coastals as you want. You're not going to get taxed, really. Um, and I and I think you did that great. I I liked your play to go honor here. It was, it was pretty obvious for you. I think the only problem was like Moors should not have been honor at all. And I think him going honor kind of fucked you up in a way, where. Um, actually, maybe it didn't because maybe Maya just felt I like they were so that. fucked. I was anyway. worried he would go into Maya before I could. Cause he was killing CS and shit. I was like, if he like, I don't want him to do yeah. this before I can. Yeah. But no, no. And, and that makes sense. I, we thought you did great. Like you ran through your happiness, like a truck. And that was awesome to see. Like you had like a turn, like 65 circus max or something like that. That's super good. Uh, yeah. I, I did. I was struggling. I didn't even feel like I was growing all that well, but I struggled for happiness for a little bit. I didn't get any, well, like, you, you were, I didn't really you, get any wonders. We knew you were growing well because you had Coliseums up in every single city and you <laughs> were at zero happiness. So, like that means you're growing. Yeah. Well. <laughs> the only, I kind of, my early, early game I thought was pretty bad. Cause I was like losing gold. My science was shit. So I couldn't get any, any no, 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 no. So build any buildings. You were, I, we were watching, I mean, I'm surprised that we watched this game as close as we do, but like I remember you were at minus 16, and that was the lowest you got in GPT. At minus 16, that is concerning, but you were minus 16 for two turns, and then you went to minus one, and that's totally fine. Yeah. Um, you did a – I think Sierra even said, Rai, you teach them well. Like, those pre-roads are great or something because you, like, finished, all, like, a four-ring hey, row. Hey, the I learned same... that from Galpet. Oh, I really? Don't yeah. <laughs> No, I mean, I, I... Stealing credit, Ryan. I'm not stealing. I'm literally quoting Sierra. Shut the <laughs> fuck up, Ashwin. Uh, <laughs> no, but like, no, like that, that, that was super great. Um, True. And yeah, I know. I, I, we think you played really well. I think just some of the... I think your sim is definitely above like one of these beginner lobbies, but you... 
if you play an intermediate, you're going to struggle when it comes to late game stuff. And I think that's kind yeah, of, that's kind of, that's what I specifically wanted. Cause that's kind of, I watched the first one and that's kind of what I thought I was like, I'm, I feel like my sim is good enough. Yes. Or whatever to like, hundred percent. I think the moment that like, I have to like click units and stuff, I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, that's not surprising um, for most people in this group or in most people in, in this community, because I, tell you guys to focus on the first 50 turns i don't say <laughs> because my my, pro, my thought process is i want people that play in queue and aren't here by turn 75 in fact they're probably winning the game by turn 75 and i think mel if you play this game in normal nq you're on par with the lobby if not like winning in certain areas in a normal nq game with this sim. yeah but i think i played one NQ game like I, pl I played just one last week because I was like fuck it because yeah, uh, I was yeah. in the original group that you set up I was in that one there was never any more messages yeah you weren't you it was the game where you were like I will not let Tex win <laughs> <laughs> yeah we were was that game. screaming <laughs> wait you were in that game I, w I was uh Nabatea in that game oh you were right below me oh uh, yeah okay now wait right. was your name Melon no. yes yeah okay I was like who's this rising star <laughs> yeah, my land. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Even in that game, like Alex yeah, is like, who the like... fuck is this person? They're doing really well. I've never heard of yeah, them before. I just, I just think before I play more, I'd like to be, I'd like to be more versed because I do think if I get into a scenario where just like it's unwise to click lib, or at least like even build monument. Like if I put me on tradition, I'm kind of useless. I'm a little okay with honor, but I'm pretty shit. Uh without liber honor i think i can comment on that game specifically your choice to go 60 lib was i think pretty painful for you i i thought you had to click honor in that position i was i thought i that. i got faked out and then i clicked lib and then it was one of those things where i clicked lib and then like two turns later i was like this is a massive mistake you got baited by the nabatea scout uh i forgot what i got baited by but i also that game made me mad because i should have killed russia and i just didn't yeah, or your spawn was time... actually more of an honor spawn than my was. mine was. It was just I got there first. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of intimidated because I was like, I know this guy's name and he's a cad and he's going to click honor and kill all the CS and then kill me. This is going to suck. <laughs> I remember I remember that thought. But I played that game and then I, I was kind of like, I need to make sure I can click things besides Liberty before I play more of these. I mean, if you only can click one thing, Liberty is probably the best thing to click. So I think it's a good one to click. It's it's a pretty good one to click. No, I in all like I I think you you played super super well. It was like a really clean sim game. Even people that were like watching, like I think Turks was I don't know if you know who Turks is, but Turks is like a really really good player, and he was like, this guy's sim. It looks really really good. Like, are you? Sh and then I think Sierra was asking like, are all these players new? Like I know Plasma's in here, but like, I do, I do think to be fair, I mean like I've been playing. For a long time but almost all that is just like me and two friends and three ai mm -hmm. but like I've, even one of my friends is like comparable-ish sim to me but just whenever we get past like turn 100 or anyone declares war on anyone we just restart <laughs> you, know, you never play them out well i would definitely so we've gotten like really fucking good at the first like 100 ish turns but yeah no i mean this this looks clean um I definitely I'm not, I'm not saying it was perfect but we talk about where no, you could have went wrong but uh, I I do think this was this was really well done. Um, in terms of like late game stuff, the way why didn't you Oxford Artie? I thought if you got Artie when you if you got Artie because you got one hundred two, you got one hundred two Cav and you had a scientist spawning that turn and that scientist would have finished all of Furt, which means it was one hundred two Artie, or it was one hundred three yeah. Artie or something, which is competitive in every single NQ lobby, in my opinion. Um, at least most of them. I mean, most people say it's like pre-turn 100, it's good. For some reason, I don't think I have a good reason, except for some reason I didn't want to. I don't actually remember why, but I I mean, I... So Maybe I thought I could kill him without Artie and I wanted to save Oxford, because I kind of could. I, I think you 100% could if you did this war better. Um, yeah. But, I mean, yeah. I mean, you know that. Um, I think if you... The reason I'm I'm asking is, and, and that makes sense, right? You had a ton of money for for land ships and whatnot. 
the reason I'm asking is because you easily could two, you could kill two people if you got Artie because he pops like you, you didn't, you weren't able to pop him. Like this war took like 12, True, if I had Artie, that, like that he, he's easier. just instantly fucking dead. Right. And yeah. if, if okay. you, and then after you do that, yeah, then you kill fucking Cuba or then you kill Moors and they're also instantly dead. Right. Yeah. And at that point, plasmas can't do anything. Right, because I was kind of wondering. I was, I was pretty confident about going into Maya. Like I was like, he's just so unprepared, and he's. I mean, if you like, pressed F nine, Maya had like five hills in all of yeah. his fucking land. Like he was at like I mean, hundred hammers. <laughs> like I was, at this. I was checking demos the whole time. He was like fifteen k soldiers and less than a hundred hammers. And I was yeah. like, okay, yeah, he's just dead. But after that, I got confused. I was like, I feel like I need to kill him, but. I don't know. I, I, was, I loved I your play to go more. I loved your play I was to go a for more. Intimidated, I think, attacking coastal because one thing I'm sure I have even less experience than just flat out wars. Anything involving the coast, mm -hmm. like I'm pretty. The coast is a different shit. is a different monster. It's a and different it's beast. So fucking annoying to play against. Um, yeah, and, and I wasn't people that know how to use like, triplanes. Oh my god! I wasn't confident that attacking him would. Even if it was the right play, I didn't think it would go well. And I was like, I didn't think Moors was as prepared as they probably needed to be. And I had the unit, so I was like, fuck it, I'll just go after them. I mean, so I like going, I like the play to go Moors. I'm just, it, you did it just so late. And I don't understand yeah. how he, like, how he just, died. just died. Yeah, like, it just didn't make <laughs> fucking so, sense. Was, like, I, that should have so eared. That should have been ear. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but that should have been ear. Yeah, it was still Kevin Artie, but I just, like, I think I looked at him, I was like, he's behind in tech, and I, for some reason, yeah, he was using, he was building, like, grenading cavalry, I was like, I'll just kill him. Yeah, I mean, I those, those, the units fucking suck. Like, if you saw my unit tier list, like, all of us hate those units. <laughs> They're terrible. Um, no, I mean, this, killing him was, in hindsight, a great play. I don't know if it sh should have worked, but it, it should, did. Yeah, okay. The, the it. difference it is, yeah, yeah. if you are Oxford Artie, and you go for Maya, pop Maya, and then you go for him, he's 100% dead. Sure. And that's where the the tempo you get from using Oxford, it just pays off so much if you can kill, like, more than one person with it. Right? That's why that you Oxford sense. land ships. Um, you also got a ton of steals on Maya. And I, I was so surprised, like, your land ships came as late as they did um, just because of how many steals you were able to get. Um, but... Yeah, I must have not been paying very close attention. Yeah, you, you were, I like, specifically... I was specifically looking at industrialization because I was like, I wanted to steal industrialization and then build factories. You, and I like killed two cities and didn't get it. And I was like, I'll just tech it myself. So I wasn't even looking at you, the text. I was yeah, it was, it was tragic like, when you bulbed schools with a scientist. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> that's what I thought. When I, I did do that and I was like, I think like I would steal this. Yes. I need schools. I need the science. So I did it anyway. But yeah, what I see like compass astronomy and I don't know, like architecture. You stole like, like yeah, architecture and, um, and acoustics. I... Sure. I think a lot of you're 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 lacking in the right things, in my opinion. So, and that's all just reps. Like in these games, or just normal NQ games. Honestly, normal NQ games are like not the best place to get these kind of reps. Um, they're a good place to get war reps, but going la this late that's in normal NQs is hard because you'll get someone like fucking hoi polloi in your lobby and he'll just completely shit on the lobby. And then it's like, okay, like <laughs> I watched his game like two days ago where he was wrong. It was awesome. Yeah. I mean, was... so, and then like if, if someone, if someone like that's like taking the game seriously, you're going to really struggle and the game's likely scraps or it CCs fast finding balanced lobbies like this, even though it wasn't necessarily balanced because I mean, plaza was in it, but it, it was pretty close. Like I think everyone was competitive even even Firestreaks, who had a miserable time, and I'm surprised he didn't rage quit the fucking game, was still somewhat relevant. And, like, I love games like this because um, you get to see some really f funny stuff, but also, like, everyone has a chance in if they were to play it properly, right? And, that, and that's what's cool. It's like we can, as commentators and as we're watching, when we have perfect information, we can say okay, this person could be doing this, and if they did that, they'd actually have a chance to win. Or they could do this, and they'd win the game or something like that. And sure. in a lot, if you watch tournament games, we'll just be like, yeah, this person loses. Like, they, there's nothing they can do. Right? And and, and then that kind of sucks. But, no, I, I think, in general, like, this is just super good. Um, I think we can 
talk a lot about what Moore's did wrong when he wants to hear about it or when he's back. Fire streak. I'd rather load into your game. I think he's in Twitch chat, but I'd rather load into his game to talk about it. Plasmus, the one thing I'll say about you, like I, I think you did the, I think you did a nice meme with the with the Messiah shit. Like I, I on Korea especially, like that's pretty cool. But, um, like he banned Apo. He banned, uh, Gotcha. Yeah, he okay. we we only allowed him one wonder per era. Um and Great Library and Oracle weren't included. So Yeah. Um But I, I think in general, like you, you just you just ran out of money, man. You like you you just were working the wrong stuff. You didn't have your markets up in expands. Kobe's minus ninety. If you if you were if you had like by the time they attacked, like you had the pre builds, you had the the rifles. Like there's no there's no reason you shouldn't be able to win this. Um, you just, I know you went from commerce resettlements. I get it, but my my point is like, if you had you weren't sending externals out, and when, instead of working treasure fleets, you were working hammers because you were out of food, or you were out of happiness. But the most important thing is actually just the gold to upgrade. Because you you couldn't upgrade your bombers and you couldn't upgrade your rifles, you had two thousand gold by the time they attacked. You should have been at like six, at like at least six k. And and it's just a matter of building mark. Like I think Mega in chat said, you you're making thirty gold in your expands without a market, like, and you had like eleven expands. Like just just do the math. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> so if you're making thirty gold and you should expand without a market, that's like. Well, on average like with with uh with ga or whatever that's like 10 10 extra gpt per city and you have like 10 extra cities so that's 100 extra gold per turn it's kind of ridiculous and i mean treasure fleets and whatnot they're all good like you they had a really good culture game considering you didn't get any wonders so i thought you played fine your strat was good it was just it was really slow and I mean, it's expected you know you're doing three city piety without wonders so of course it's going to be slow but um, yeah, it was just the gold that really hurt you the most. Uh, you got to send external sooner on coast. Um, also, this goes for everyone, and especially Mel, if if they want to like kind of break into that next level ish. You guys have to focus more on city state quests. Like there were so many times where we'd see someone with like a, a city set quest that, quest that was just there that they could one hundred percent do, and they just weren't doing. And I was, I, uh, okay, that's fair. And it's it and like in my opinion and i've been saying this for a long time like over a year but the difference between like a good game or like a great game and like one that is unbeatable in terms of sim is how lucky you are with city state quests and the way you get lucky with city state quests is by completing them the quests because they get they get a re they get a new quest a lot sooner um so you always want to be like completing quests as soon as possible unless you're patro and you're waiting for the 25 i i get it but for the most part, you want to be completing them as soon as possible, especially as early as you can. So, sure. like, the only way you can have, like, one of those lobby CCs to you on turn 55 games is Liberty is if you get really lucky with quests. But the only way to create that luck in the first place is by looking at each city-state, understanding, okay, like, this needs a camp. Do I clear the camp right away? No, this because this camp... Is spawning into this other city state that doesn't want it yet maybe i'll wait and then it wait you wait and then you get both allies or something like that like there's just stuff like that or like you know oh like this one wants wine okay how do i get wine or okay this one wants needs me to find a natural wonder am i asking every single person in this fucking game where the natural wonder is do i know where every single natural wonder is if i don't like i'm doing a disservice to myself because these are all different allies i could have that fixes your all of your happiness problems that that bridges the gap from you know, late early game to solid mid game where you might be out of Colosseums and you need zoos. Well, now you don't need it because you have these allies that helps bolster your culture as you're building key infrastructure that aren't amphitheaters, right? So all these kinds of things like really, and not to mention if you don't have a lot of food, a maritime city state fixes that problem. So there's a ton of different stuff you can do with that. And it, invo it all starts with kind of just like, looking at all of the different variables that you're given on the map. And of course that's like so much easier said than done, but that's kind of 
where you guys should be thinking and where you should be moving to. And whoever is watching this after the fact, like that, if, if you feel like, you know, I'm consistently getting universities by turn 75, but some games are just way better than others. And I don't want to, I don't know why it's probably city state stuff. Um, I will say it's, I think usually me and my friends when we play, we're pretty good about city states, but it's a lot harder when there's a timer. I'll tell you. Oh uh, and, 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 yeah. hundred percent. And I'm not, I'm not saying like you guys should be doing this. Like, no, of course not. But it's just another thing to keep in mind. It's another thing that you have to be doing all the fucking time. And that's why this game yeah, sucks. They're... And that's why it's hard. <laughs> and that's why it's like very difficult because there's so many things you have to be worrying about all the time. So these states are broken though. They're, they're like in... two maritimes on like turn six. I mean, gonna... I'll never stop quoting this game. And Ashwin's probably sick of me hearing it. But I was playing Mauria once. Uh, which is probably the best sim civ in the game, and I had a pretty, I had a really fast start, and I was playing with like Ashwin was in the game, Kuba was in the game, Abraxas was in the game, whatever. I had 275 food and 200 hammers by turn 55. Didn't someone get Maria on their civ list? I was so jealous. I love that civ. Yeah, but like, I mean, I, that was a CC on turn 56 game. Like, it, like that kind of stuff yeah. is only. But the reason it was even possible is because I had two meritocracy allies that were allowing me to keep growing. So it's only like, you need those kind of CS to even have a game like that. Um, something, something I wanted to talk about in case we're not going to get to it is the the I, I got here pretty late, but the late game tech path here. Um, I'm not. Uh, I'm not really down for so you get yourself in this three player game right mm -hmm. um and you know you're going to be fighting for the rest of the game right like mm -hmm. from here on until the end of the game you're building units and you're fighting labs don't do anything for you yes, labs are yeah. not going to accelerate you to like stealths because stealths are too far away that's not happening and you don't really have the spare hammers to build labs either so whenever i'm tanks yeah I, I just i yeah. click tanks I click moderns. Oh, by I the way, stuff. it's almost always tank before radar. You need a really good it. reason to not do that. Um, Fighting yeah, I, towards the end there, my t I kind of, I wasn't thinking very much at all about what I was tacking. I think I clicked on labs because I thought it would be like four turns. And I didn't really think beyond that. But yeah, there's just four wasted turns of tech. doesn't really matter. Yeah, but you don't even click radio, right? Like if you, if you sure. open up your tech path and you click on stealth right now, you notice it'll seriously it dodges laps you don't need you if you're gonna get there you're gonna get there because building those labs is a huge hammer investment um and they're gonna the the science the time it takes for that science to pay off is just really long and it delays you to stuff like moderns or to stuff like second tanks or to rocketry and i think both of you were doing that Cuba the only yourself. reason you ever should have or build labs when you go land ships is you stole them. Sure. And even then, it's like they're really <laughs> expensive buildings. Um, okay. So I will say, though, like going labs in general can be good if there's someone on the complete opposite side of the world having a runaway game and you need to have stealth or you need to have XCOM. Because in that case, like you're not just killing everyone. You know, you, you're doing yeah. other stuff. Hyper late game, I definitely have some, still some base game tendencies tendencies embedded within me. And one of those is labs are really, really good. <laughs> Always get labs, but that doesn't make sense. Yeah, science and luck is really good. And more than that, we, Ed, the way, like, I think this has just got patched out while you guys were playing. But tech steals mean that you can never really be that behind on military techs. Uh, True. The best way Maybe to get, be the best way to get science Imagine, like, every scientist you spawn is a, a city instead. Well, taking cities sounds pretty good. So. Um, that, that did just get patched. And late game techs are now going to be much harder to steal, which I think is good. But. Yeah. Um, does anyone have any questions? Jack. How did, how did you feel your game went, Jack? Um, I, don't, I don't know. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like if this was... Cause it, it, obviously, with this kind of environment, I don't have to worry about getting attacked. 
for mm -hmm. so long. Yeah. So I was building. I mean, the fact that I even got Oracle was ridiculous. I, I don't understand how no one else built that. I got it at like forty nine, something. I, think I don't it was understand 51. why that was there. Yeah, it was really late. Um, I got great library. I, I just got so many greedy wonders, and I feel like in a quote unquote real game, I would have had to build a lot more units. I think in a real game, you're probably dead to Sue if you do that. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's the, not the point. The point is to get the reps late game and get the late. Oh, definitely. I mean, yeah. I feel like I. What you what you were saying about how my chopping was bad. I don't really understand that because you'll see. You'll see. It it, do, it, it do mostly stemmed it mostly stemmed from buying tiles. You 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 were doing the right thing in that you weren't chopping if it wasn't in your borders. But there's no reason yeah. some of those tiles shouldn't have been in your borders. That's kind of where, oh. <laughs> like there there was like three there was two different sugar that you just wouldn't buy. That should have been chopped that would have sped up santiago de cuba like a lot and you just wouldn't mm. and they weren't chopped because you didn't own the tile but there's no reason to not own the tile does that make sense um yeah i think i'm just stuck in that kind of single player-esque mindset of oh the luxury exists to be, get full happiness from the the ai rather than it could you know be a growth tile well it's not just that it's like it is happiness you trade it away um but for you, uh, I mean, I can when we when we you, know, you watch this again, like you, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about because we I spend a lot of time because we are talking. It it was between at first it was between you and Mel having the best sim, um, other than Blazos well, was actually having a fucking miserable time, but it was between you and Mel having the best sim. But I think you played the beginning. Oh, one one other thing before I forget, mm -hmm. you you you'll see this when you watch the video too, but. You were one food away from nine pop or from five pop before you started making settlers. Was I? Yeah. Like oh. you were like, uh, Mel, can you show like one of your cities? If you, if you see this bar, right? This, this yeah. Bar. If you see the, this bar, do you have a UI or no? Yeah. Okay. This bar tells you how close you are to growing. And frankly, I say this all the time, but when I'm looking at cities, I'm not looking at their name or what they're building or whatever. I'm looking at, the green bar and then the orange bar and i'm seeing okay how close is this to full right osaninka can probably grow in two turns if he reworks the tile right now right so like if you yeah, unwork one of these hills and you just like rework one of the farms right boom two turns yeah. so you can w once you like start looking for it you'll start seeing mm -hmm. it a lot more and again this is another just just another thing you have to think about when you're playing this game right um and, and it's, it's just like the sad reality that like it, this game is hard, not because what you're doing is difficult, but all of the different things you have to do. Um, yeah. so you were w literally one food away from growing to five pop, which would have sped up your settlers a fair bit, but more importantly than that, it would have sped up your tech a lot. Um, when you're, I, I say this a lot in the videos, but like one of the, uh, you, you went three, three workers before settlers, which is 100% what you needed to do this game. And I'm so happy that you did it. Um, uh, because if you saw the last, uh, beginner lobby, we had two jungle spawns and both of them went one worker <laughs> and they yeah. were having a awful fucking time, but you went three workers. It was because perfect. Of bronze working. If, if there wasn't jungle, I wouldn't have done that. No, no, no. Go one worker, one shrine. I mean, the shrine is. Sus. Obviously, in this case, I've got Stonehenge. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, this, the, in my opinion, the shrine's not always necessary, but um, especially when you don't have a like clear-cut good pantheon. Uh, like in this case, like w what's your pantheon? In this game, you took altars. Like you don't need to rush a shrine for that. You know what I mean? Or like, what what else could you take? Like, and nothing nothing seems like that important to get. No. Um, so I I love the idea of going three workers. And typically, when I play tradition, I go two, um, but. One of the nice things about going three workers on a jungle start is jungle has a lot of food, right? Like the sugar tiles are three food um, and, and one of them you wouldn't buy. And if you bought that tile and you, instead of working the deer, you were working the, you were working the sugar, like you would have been at five pop. Um, so yeah. it's something like that. Or, or like you were working, and I think this is just like your, your tendency. You tend to work more hammers than food in general. Definitely. And I think that is kind of a mistake. Like, when you play enough of these, you'll see like just how important growing is and how yeah. you should always be at zero happiness pretty much. Like that's the goal. Like 
if you're not was it like 20 (laughs) yeah exactly um but you were working like the two deer tiles instead of like a sugar and a deer and it's something like that where it's like okay maybe he just wants to build this stuff faster but you almost want to slow down your build right you almost want to slow down how fast you're making the workers because that way you get more time to grow and then it works out where you finish the worker the same turn you grow and then you just instantly start settlers right how many turns would you normally wait if you see like i don't know three turns until five pop would yeah you, yeah i'd wait i don't know build a warrior just build like a fucking shrine or something like or like another worker or something you were like my point is like you could have bought a tile micro better that you grew oh, yeah. without having to do that but yeah i, I i'd wait i think going to, from four to five is, is a pretty big deal um Mel would know, considering he was on three pop making settlers, and that always feels like <laughs> shit. Um, but you like so, for instance, this is just something like I know off the top of my head. But when you're going from from uh, from two pop to three pop, and you're working, you're on a flat land, and you're working uh, two two food tiles, it's going to be five turns. But if you're working one two food and one three food, it's going to be four turns. So it's just better to be working. You know, it's you, you're you're gaining an entire pop, like a turn faster, which is making up the hammer difference. But the value of getting the pop sooner is much higher than, you know, you know what I'm saying. So, um, yeah. just for pushing that growth a lot earlier is really really important. Um, and then we we saw the same thing, and it's not surprising given that's your tendency, but like, it's not surprising to see like how you were growing cities early on. It, it, Kiko is the complete opposite player. If you like Kiko will like <laughs> he will be like such high pop for no like this city Palenque was taken right like when <laughs> when he got attacked on turn what was it like 103 something like that yeah, um when he got attacked on 103 he he was like 32 pop in his cap right and I mean it was huge so and the difference is like when you get attacked and you're on 32 pop, you just unwork all of your food and then you work your hills. And then it's like, oh shit, where'd all these fucking hammers come from? Right. <laughs> and it's just reworking tiles when you are working hammers the whole time. And then you need to, you know, stop growing. You're just like, okay, I guess I work one more mine. <laughs> like, yeah. So, and, but your pops a lot lower. So typically you'll, you'll notice like your science slowed down and it's all because of growth. So that's one thing I would really stress working on. Um, and then obviously for everyone, this includes Mel and this includes everyone, but just starting to look at the left and right bars a lot, understanding, okay, like I can finish this building this turn. I can grow a turn sooner or I can grow two turns sooner even sometimes. Like just identifying those breakpoints and when to switch tiles and stuff like that is, is super key. Um, and, and that's really one of the main things that drives fast early sim. Like if you ever watch like me have a really runaway game, it's probably because someone else in my position wouldn't have grown a turn earlier in eight different cities, you know, like for the yeah. first, like for the first, like 30 turns. And then that compounds and then they grow again, a fast turn sooner. And now I'm three turns ahead of them in that one city or something like that. So it, it, it's, it's stuff like that that you kind of have to watch out for. But um, again, I, I will say like, I think both of you had really, really good SIM um, for this lobby and, I, I, I was impressed with how both of you played. Like I, I was so happy Jack when you queued, um, when you queued Iod and expand. Cause at first I'm like, he's just going to queue everything in his cap and his cap's going to be so <laughs> behind, but no, like that, that was great. I think some of your religion decisions were a little sus. I'm not going to lie. Uh, oh, believe me when I entered that in, I assume this is fine, right? Yeah. I mean, you took the best religion, so yeah, you except your Pantheon. Um, yeah. I mean, devout is good. I don't know what your horse situation was like. Usually, you pick devout if you have a lot of horses, um, because the circuses is what gives you the most culture, not the coliseums. Uh, yeah. but I mean, this the real problem with this is Jizya. I I will say like Jizya and Mandirs kind of go together, but frankly, I wouldn't have taken either of them. <laughs> so, but I will say your f- starting religion was perfect. Zakat divine is exactly what I would have taken. I was almost tempted just to not enhance it. No, I mean that's why you built Aya, right? So, well, yeah. obviously, well, that was off. Oh, like in you would have spread first? Is that what you're saying? Well, when I when I made Aya, I I spread with that great profit rather than instantly. 
Oh, why? Use it. Because I had another one coming. Oh, you should always enhance first. In, no. in this case, because this is a, this is a cap religion, right? Like, you, you want to buff your cap as much as possible with this religion. Um, your expanse can go fuck off, like realistically like it doesn't matter yeah. this this is this is the first three were great um the mandirs and jizya i mean they synergize well so i mean that's something but i don't know in general it's not it's not that great i think chichen came really late this game um, it, it was 71 i was shocked yeah i i think moore's probably should have went like engineering into civil this game but instead he did a i i hate Petra expands in general, like engineering Petra and expand just always to me feels like shit. Um, unless it's like a really crazy Petra, but he should, he could have just went like civil and I, and he's got so many, like, look at this river system. It's insane. Um, so the civil farms would have done work on his sim. I think for you, Mel, like I agreed with your, I mean, you're Iroquois, so you want workshops as soon as possible. So I actually agreed with that. I think, you may have teched optics a little too soon. At one point, I was like, "Why is he teching optics?" Like his his build cues in these in these coastals are a little behind anyway. But yeah, I think I wanted. I mean, because it's not even really that good for any of the other three. It's just the really one city. Yeah, it's just gross, yeah. right? Yeah. So no, I mean, again, I thought both of you guys played really well. So. Right. Actually, I know. What, I remember what you're talking about. I was questioning that too. Yeah, because you you I, did I it. Delayed before. workshops for it. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. You delayed workshops, and yeah. I was like, really? Like, so anyway been rambling for a while but i think both of you guys played really well so good job thank you it was a lot of fun yeah cool. i'm glad it went this long most civ games i play end at turn like 50 <laughs> yeah i mean it's kind of the unfortunate reality that i mean especially for new players because if you watch the reputation video which is probably one of the most important ones like that shit's so true where it's like if they don't recognize you, they're just going to slam you because they want a free win because their egos are so fragile. Like, I don't um, – and not that they'll, like – they're less trying to win the game and more trying to just, like, do whatever because there's not a good player they want to impress. It's a, it, like, it sounds so petty, but, like, that's genuinely how some people play Yikes. this game. Um <laughs> Like you, you watch one person, like I'm just gonna use Baba as an example, but you, you watch some person in a Baba lobby and that person will play completely different if he's playing with randoms. You know what I mean? Like what makes sense. So, and that carries over to like, Oh, like a Braxis in this lobby. I need to like try my best. I want to kill a Braxis and it becomes about that. And then they'll actually really try as hard as they can. And then those games are likely to go late. But at the same time, you risk the problem where it's like, okay, Brax could just run away with the game. So, yeah, um, it's it's a weird balancing thing. But I think like a full, you know, full in house like this is perfect. So, hoping to have more of them. Anyway, does anyone have any other questions? Or other, I'm gonna turn off the stream and stop talking because it's been eight hours. Um, Mel, any closing? questions closing remarks no i'm gonna go back and watch the the stuff eventually but i'm, I'm literally gonna go on a walk after this my eyes hurt <laughs> yeah no problem understandable jack anything um yeah i mean here's a a suggestion for your youtube channel sure yeah. there's lots of little mechanics in civ that you just don't know unless you ask and like the done thing like the thing you just do and it's like well why would you do that well you just do it like what like, there's no like what great people i need to make a it, video. i know i need to make a video okay i have it on my list it's just there's so many shit there's so much shit on like here. i like i see i think i think i was watching uh mel i had a spy in his capital sorry uh, I had a, <laughs> he had a great person, a scientist and a writer just sitting there for ages. And I was mm -hmm. like, what? I don't understand why you, you just wouldn't use it immediately. I mean, do you want, do you want an well, answer well, to see, that? There's a reason oh, the, for Well, it. the writer scales. Yeah. So That's what the writer about. scales. So you're at, the writer has like, it gives you a bulb of culture, right? Or it gives you a great yeah. work. The great work is never worth doing unless you're aesthetics. Yeah. The bulb of culture is really good after you have your hermitage up and you're in golden age 
So usually people will wait until they have all that stuff and then they're looking to push ideology policies, right? Typically on a normal land ship attack, you'll have someone with really good culture. They're playing like, let's say like a tradition, like a very stereotypical tradition game. You're wonder whoring, you're having a really good game. You go aesthetic second, not to go tourism, but for the extra great people in the free golden age to scale with your chichen. So then you take aesthetics, you get all the free golden age, you get your free great people, whatever. Then you fill out some of ratio and then you have five writers sitting there waiting for autocracy. And then as soon as you get autocracy, you open it up and then you fill it up and you get all the way to Clausewitz and then you just blow the fucking game open. So that's so very, the, very typical. The bulb of culture is updating every turn. Every turn. I Isn't thought it's that like was the what happened fact, to scientists, but they it, patched it. In fact, it scales with World's Fair too. So if you know you're going to win World's Fair, you wait. And then those are those writers become worth like seven thousand culture. <laughs> yeah, the scientists they only change scientists. Everything yeah. else still, or at least writers still scale. Yeah, because I, I remember the playing. Last... No, uh, merchants, time, merchant scale too. Okay. Merchant scale with era. So for every extra era you're in, you get a hundred extra culture for each, a hundred extra gold for each bulb. Um, uh, artists obviously scale in a different way, but it's a fixed amount of GA time musicians in terms of bulbing tourism they are a fixed amount scientists are a fixed amount the reason you want to hold scientists is um uh mel can you pull up a tech tree please so the way you do an arty attack and i think mel did this i don't remember but you bring chemistry down to one turn and then you switch to metallurgy also mel why the fuck did you go econ uh why did i get i stole it what do you mean oh you stole it Yes. With a, you, you had econ before you had calf. I did not. Yes, you tech did. Econ. Yes, you I did. Didn't tech it, bro. I had the tech, bro. I didn't tech it. I'm telling you, you had Exposed. fucking econ. I did not click. Econ All right, we'll, you'll 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 watch it back it. and you'll eat your words. I didn't okay. What do I need this for? I, that's what I said. I that's I why I asked. That's literally why I just asked. I stole it. I stole <laughs> that it. You did not it. steal the fucking tech. Yeah, that I'm like. I guess he has I some. It. I guess he has lumber mills and stuff. Like, I got okay. it through nefarious means. Yeah. Okay, bud. Um. Anyway, you tech. <laughs> you go. You go printing. You go all the way to gunpowder. Then you put chemistry on one turn. Um. And then you put metallurgy on one turn. Okay. Then you mm -hmm. finish metallurgy. You bulb through chem. You have military science on one turn, and then you have another scientist sitting there for fertilizer. So in one in. In two turns, you went from having neither metallurgy or chem to having arty. So that's why you hold your scientists. And it's stuff like that. Why is that? Why would you not just do it immediately? Because if, the same if, if, and Mel was doing this, I, I really, really well. And this is another thing, just, just another thing. I think actually, no, it was, it was, um, uh, it was Maya that was doing it. Um, Kiko was doing it. Uh, you can you can see okay. Can you scroll over um, over oh, radar? You, like check. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So radar costs five thousand six hundred forty-five. Go to Atomic Theory. Atomic Theory costs th uh, six thousand three hundred twenty-two. Go to Combined Arms. Also six thousand three. Go to Penicillin. Okay. Yeah. So now we know pe other people are in radar other than us because um, it's it's a really big gap between atomic theory and what radar is worth and there's ways you can see okay this person's at unis now okay who entered through medieval and this is super important for entering through medieval and i'll make a video on this too because this yeah, I was is checking to make i was checking to see who if anyone was ever through steel or yeah like yeah that. you were doing that and then i think kiko was checking metallurgy because the the real reason why jack is you can see when people have chemistry uh can you mm. just scroll over to like anyone's land that's not yours so if you if you look at no this is your land, um, if you look at like your land right here, you see how in Santo Diego de Cuba these mines have four hammers. We know you're in chem. Right? Okay. I mean, obviously we know you're in chem. It's turn one hundred forty five, but you can just see like when people are in chemistry just from how many hammers are on their mines. The reason you leave it at one turn on metallurgy as well and chem is because you want to be in those turns for as least amount of time as possible because it's the least obvious people are always checking if who's in chem who's in chem who's in chem who's in chem, who's in chem? <gasps> is this person oh my god they're my neighbor 
Like, you know what I mean? Like, if, if you just bowl right to chem, then they're like, why the fuck are you in chem, bud? And then they're just going to be spamming you with messages, and you're like, ah, uh, <laughs> hammer? <laughs> it's like, and then they're just going to, like, defend it, right? Um, so you leave it at one turn, and then you finish it, because people are constantly checking, like, when people... And this is especially prevalent when you enter medieval. If you have a suspicion someone's going guilds, and you should, what you should be doing is you should be watching every single turn on the right side of the screen, an icon will pop up saying, so-and-so has entered the medieval era. What you do is you pull up the tech screen and you hover over each tech and you say, okay, this costs this much, this costs this much, this costs this much. Okay, this is the first person in medieval and metal casting is cheaper. Okay, I know they went through metal casting. What's the next person? Uh, oh, it's a tradition player. Oh, I can see I can see they have extra food on their farms. Okay, they went through civil. Or you could just, you know, check through the thing. Oh, this person went theology, right? It's really important when someone enters guilds. Because then it's like, oh, they're coming with crossbows. So no. you have again, this game is not easy. <laughs> like I'm I'm flooding you guys with information because I want you to watch this back. Um but the idea is there's so much stuff you just have to be doing all the time. And people do this with every, like in the finals, like of these tournaments or whatever, like I'm checking every single turn, every single tech, who entered through what, what they enter through, why are they going there? Like, does it, Jesus. so <laughs> it's, it's a shitload of work, but like, that's, that's where the part of the game that really, you're going to play in Q, but you'll, you'll, both of you guys are going to improve a lot in the next whatever, however long you want to play for. And you're all going to be really good. It won't take you nearly, nearly as long as it took everyone else that is like trying to help you to get their first win, right? You will get your first win probably within a couple of weeks of you playing, if not sooner. Um, just if you just like follow the principles I'm, I'm like sharing with you. Cause it's, you know, it there, it, it's really that easy to out sim people in this, in this group. But if you want to like push past that and like really not get blown up, it, regardless how good you think you are, there will be times when you are just completely taken flat footed because you just neglected to check who's in what tech and then you'll die in one turn. And it happens. Mm -hmm. It happens to everyone um, it, or it has happened to everyone. Right. Like and honestly, people are getting so good at this strat that um, Hawks came up with where you're overflowing science into guilds and you're one turning machinery and you're yeah let's use the same idea where you put guilds on one turn right and then what do you finish you just finish like you finish optics into and... into horseback into ironworking into guilds and you have so much overflow you one turn machinery uh, <laughs> no like and it, so like there's some, even stuff like that that you can't even prepare for you just have to judge it off of how much gold they have but the reality is it's like there's so many little intricacies like that and so many ways that people can get an edge over other people. You're going to get blown up and it only takes like a couple times where that happens for you to like learn from it enough where it becomes like a force of habit where like, okay, I really need to start looking at who's in machinery. I need to really start looking who's going through guilds. Like this is getting old. I don't want to get crossbow. And realistically, like it doesn't take much to deter a crossbow attack. All you have to do is have like a couple forts and like some swords in the forts then people aren't really going to want to push that. Right? It just sounds like a lot of work. They know you're coming, right? So these are all different concepts that kind of play into how you can improve in general. And if you feel like you're stagnating in terms of like sim ability for whatever reason, there's, I can guarantee you there's always something more you can be doing. But yeah, um, cool. I I'm glad this lobby is just like spontaneously formed. Like I, I want to do one with NA people next uh because we did an eu one but oh this was mostly eu right this is like all eu yeah except you i'm na i just started playing this <laughs> at 10 a.m yeah it's great yeah totally didn't waste my whole day <laughs> yeah i mean it's it's nine in the morning nine at night for me so yeah i get the feeling yeah it's uh it's 2 a.m oh yeah oh bro come on that's nothing plasmus it was it's it's like seven in the morning for plasmus right now that's elite <laughs> but anyway cool guys um yeah max feel free to join um
yeah guys i'll post this uh i'll post this video on youtube i'll post the vod on twitch in case any of you guys want to watch it but thanks for playing cool can't wait to watch you lose your mind over that <laughs> i <laughs> dude, time. it's not even that it's like you're like <laughs> it's so funny you're like add it to my report card or whatever because like, <laughs> because i like gave you so many <laughs> instead of like hey fix your fucking tiles because you're growing in eight turns when you're nine pop like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> but you just you just didn't take it. I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm I'm not gonna hold his hand. Like you can figure it out. Hey, but, if it's you're doing something bad, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stick with it. Stick with it. All right. Anyway, cool. All right, then. Cheers, guys. See ya. Yep. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for being here. This has been a long stream, but I I hope everyone kind of enjoyed it. Um, we're looking to host more of these soon, so. If you're not in the Discord and you want to join these games, these are all these are not no quitters games. They're um, part of uh, my personal Discord channel. If you're interested in playing, join the fucking Discord, and uh, we'll you're welcome to like form games. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks everyone. Uh, let's see who we want to raid. Um, who's streaming Twitch? Who's streaming this game right now? Braxis is offline. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for coming. It's just me. All right, let's let's do Ergo. All right. Thanks, guys.